I'm starting it. Now. Hello, everybody. And welcome to Dungeons and Dragons. Woo! How you guys doing? How you guys doing? We got, this, this is, this is going to be a good one. So, here, here's the shtick for today. Um, good old Vulpixie. A wonderful streamer, content creator, VTuber, has put together a Dungeons and Dragons campaign. Now, they are not super versed with D&D themselves. Um, so we've been helping them out here and there, and, you know, there'll probably be a couple questions that are asked by uh, Volpixie that we can help to answer. So I have a question before we start today. First and foremost, what is your guys' experience with D&D? Give me, give me some emojis in chat. Give me a red emoji for you've never played it, never really done anything with it, no familiarity. A yellow emoji if you're like, yeah, I've, I've seen D&D. And a green if you're like a dice head like me. Like, like, give, give me, give me the spectrum here, right? Um, uh, also, I should have chat available. There we go. Um, okay, okay, okay. So, oh, oh, quiet there, Gav. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So, I'm glad to see mostly green and mostly yellow. So, if, if, if for all the red emojis in chat, let me give a quick rundown. I will say one other prefaced thing is that once the session starts, once, because right now, right now, we're, I'm, I'm muted right now. Once the game begins, uh, I will not be talking with you guys next to, like, any. Maybe, like, here and there, maybe. But, like, the whole point of D&D is that it is a tabletop role-playing game. All right? Also, you can kill the emoji spam now. It's, whoa, ah! it's a tabletop role-playing game. Um, oh, God, they're pulsing. They're breathing. <laughs> oh, ah! <laughs> I'm going to rat flashbang them. Anyway, so the whole <laughs> the whole point of D and D um, is to experience <laughs> experience the game um, through a, a a a. What am I trying to say? We're role playing, and you got me distracted with all these icons. I'm gonna, I'm gonna turn away from them for a little bit. So we're gonna be playing D and D. Normally, it's a game where you have like wizards and rogues and and, and druids and all that stuff. We still have that actually. We still have wizards and, dro and drogues and ruins. Um, all, all your normal JRPG, like, role-playing kind of stuff, right? Think, like, Final Fantasy and all that good stuff. Uh, the thing is, though, we are viewing D&D today through the lens of Pokemon. All right? So, all of our Pokemon, all of our Dungeons & Dragons-related attacks are not rule... None of the rules have changed, but we're, like, if... If, let's say, Hayden, who's role-playing as a Cyndaquil today, <laughs> ah, get off me! Um, it uses a, a uh, Scorching Ray, which is a D&D attack. Um, let's say they use a Scorching Ray. He will perhaps say, I use Flamethrower, right? So, like, there, there is a correlation. <laughs> Just spit on the floor. Oh, God, the drinks in this place are crazy. There's a correlation to, to what the D&D is, and, and and the gameplay is, um, and, and what we're aesthetically doing. So, so that's a little brief translation. To that in mind, um, I am playing as a as a monk whooper. Um, a monk is typically a very punchy punch heavy class. Uh, whooper is not really a punch heavy Pokemon. Um, but I I have some stuff prepared for various reasons, various thoughts and. There's some other things I'm not going to tell you what exactly I have just yet. Um, because, don't worry, it'll be showcased soon. Uh, we, I, I got some good, I, I got, I, I got some, I got some fun stuff prepared here today. Uh, I, the reason I'm not just telling you guys what I'm playing outright is because I know there are people that are in this session that are watching the stream. I see you, Peku. I see you, Amy. I know you're watching my stream. I know, I know you're here. I know, I, I know, I know you're aware of my, of my antics, so I don't want to, I don't want to, I don't want to off myself here, or out myself here, uh, yeah, I, I, I know you guys are watching, um, so for reference, by the way, I'll be playing with a group of people today, uh, Volpixie is going to be the dungeon master, she is going to be telling the story, or setting the scene from which we then roleplay in, um, 
then beyond that, we have uh, Aiden, who is playing as a Cyndaquil. Uh, you may know him as the YouTuber Fyrus. Uh, we have Amy, uh, Amy Yumi, who is role playing as. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. Oh, right, right, right. They're, they're role playing as, as a Paladin Tinkaton. Uh, and they will all do their own character introductions. I'm just sort of doing a preface for you guys. Uh, we have Peku, Peculiarity, who is role-playing as a, if I'm not mistaken, Artificer slash Wizard Reuniclus. If you guys don't know the funny words I'm saying, don't worry about it. It, 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 it won't, it, it's not really important. It's just for the people who actually know D&D, &D, you know, for, for clarification. Uh, and then we have Jakey, who is role-playing as, <laughs> we, we, we have, we have Jakey, who is role-playing as, as, as a Sylveon. I can't see past. <laughs> the Cyndaquil, who's role playing as as a Bard Sylveon, um, and and with all that in mind, uh, that is that is that's what's gonna be going on today. Uh, is this five E then? Yes, this is five E. This is for to clear the air for Dungeons and Dragons terms. This is a five E campaign. We're all level five, um. We have a couple extra items like citrus berries, lum berries, that kind of deal. Um, and that is that is the idea. And otherwise, we are playing in a in a mystery dungeon-esque world. Uh, so that's that's the rundown for the D D nerds here. I got a bunch of dice with me here, as always. I I kind of say before before I hop into the call, because I know everyone's unmuted now. I don't want to take up any more time than I am. But I will just say. I play a lot of DMD. I play a lot of DMD. I'm in a session uh, hosted by actually GG Gabriel Gaming, uh, where we just crossed the 120 hour mark uh, and have done it for about a year now. Uh, in addition to that, I've played since college. Uh, I've done a bunch of stuff <clears throat> with um, with just various friends. Uh, I I I've been playing DMD for like eight years, like on and off. Uh, I just don't ever really... Oh, they found the drawing tool. It's so over for us. Um, so yeah, that, that, that is that is what we're dealing with today. That's what we're going to be doing. Uh, it is a one-shot session. So this is a one-off that Pixie plans to be anywhere between four to six hours. Um, so with all that in mind, if the D&D &D heads could... Subscribe to the channel! Um, if, if the D&D &D heads could, could keep in mind some of those numbers... Uh, and as we stream and, of course, progressively get less and less viewers and more and more new viewers, uh, just recirculate some of that knowledge, uh, when I won't be able to reply to the chats. That would be very helpful. And with all that in mind, welcome to Dungeons & Dragons. Well, good morning, good night, or good afternoon, viewers, depending on your time zone. And this is Failboats YouTube. All right. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna unmute and we're gonna get into this. <sighs> Let's have some fun, everybody. I will see you guys on the other side. I'll be occasionally reading you guys, but primarily I'll have my character sheet on the other monitor. So that's what's gonna be going on. All right. Uh... Hello. Hello. Level 20. Hello. 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 Sorry for the very long monologue I had to do just to clear the air for all D D related stuff. Did you like that I was tracking where your camera was? Yeah, it, it was <laughs> very <laughs> fun. I, I had to try and like bait you away so I could showcase the Sylveon. <laughs> 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 oh, this is very silly Dungeons and Dragons activity. You'll love to see oh, it. Oh, yeah, we can cover you up now. No. <laughs> yeah, 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 wow. find, find them. Wow. Find them. No. <laughs> Everyone take a region. Guard dogs, get them. <laughs> oh, <man>. oh, <laughs> what is happening? Get him, get him, get him, dog him. Okay, okay, get, get that off. Get the dog. <laughs> oh, God. All right. My, my fellow companions, are we ready to begin? I think it's about how we start. I think so. Before more shenanigans. Yeah, let me gather myself. <laughs> All no, right. I can't move him. <laughs> All right. I'm going to, I'm going to, you know what? There's no transition. I'm just going to start playing my music and we're just going to get into it. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm really excited. How do I listen play. to the music? How do I do that? Uh, again? Watch together. Watch you need to open that. Oh, I should. There's a link. I will, I will wait. Does everybody have Watch Together open? Yes. yes. Uh, uh, is this your Watch Together link? This is your Watch Together this link. This is That's my Watch excellent. Together link. Mm -hmm. Yes. Wow. I'm so excited for that. <laughs> I'm glad Where you're excited. Watch together? Uh, there it is. Okay. 
All right. Do we all have our dice? Have we all gone to the bathroom? Do we Did have I water? Yes. I think I'm here. I'm, I'm ready. So I'm ready. <clears throat> My Uber Eats yeah. will be here in like uh, 10 minutes. <laughs> fine. Yeah, okay. I'll be fine. I'll let it get cold. All exactly. Right. <laughs> all right. Without further ado. Oh, oh yes. Well, also, uh, I'm, sorry, oh, okay. I'm sorry to cut you off. <laughs> I just want to say, <laughs> yeah, I, I am totally down with swearing. Because uh, because oh, okay. yeah, Amy Perfect. said it in text, but I should have clarified also for <laughs> everyone's roleplay sake. Yeah, I'm, okay, I'm totally well, fine with swearing on this. Let's yeah, yeah. go, brother. Yeah. Oh, okay. Perfect. I love that. I'll, I'll break All the right. seal. Fuck. Okay, there we go. <laughs> oh, All right. Oh, right. Oh, 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 my God. God. Beautiful. <laughs> Wait, could you hear me? What? He swore like five times. Oh, I missed that. <laughs> I, was, I, just said, I said fuck you immediately after, then I said fuck like twice more, and then you were like, I'm gonna break the seal, and I was like, is he just, is he wow, just, this is hard. What is happening? Let, let, me, let me turn up your audio a touch here. I also might have completely been used to like, oh yeah, he just says fuck. <laughs> for some yeah, reason, it just true. translated as like normal language for a second. <laughs> that's funny. Okay, okay. I'm all, right. I'm all set up. <sighs> My silly companions, are we ready to begin the Pokemon D and D one shot? Yeah. Yes. I hope you guys are ready. This is this is gonna be a good one. All right. Without further ado, it's gonna adjust the volume. Oh yeah, you guys don't. Why does it keep pausing? Oh, maybe because I need to actually push the play button. Okay. Thanks. Perfect. <clears throat> so for those who are watching the DNA one shot, this is set in a world inhabited only by Pokemon. It's set in the world of Pokemon Mystery Dungeon, a very beloved game, and there's no humans at all. Pokemon live everywhere and across the continent. There are mysterious places called Mystery Dungeons. Dungeons can appear just about anywhere your mind could imagine. They could be located in a vast forest, deep in a secluded cave, or even beneath the waves of a tropical ocean. All of these dungeons are unpredictable in layout, changing every single time a Pokemon enters. This leads to endless possibilities of adventures occurring. These dungeons also house aggressive Pokemon who are fiercely protective of their territory, and many hold dangerous traps ready to snag anyone caught unawares. But if you can make it to the end of a dungeon, it is said that untold riches, lost treasures, and hidden mysteries could be waiting for you. The appearance of mystery dungeons on this continent also led to the appearance of exploration teams. These teams of Pokemon banded together to have better chances of making it through the perilous dungeons. Exploration guilds were also plentiful, and it was a great place for teams to gather, exchange information, and earn money through requests on request boards, such as finding lost Pokemon or items. You could even rescue other Pokemon teams in peril. But this story centers around a specific exploration team called, I don't know the exploration team name. Did we decide on that? <laughs> we'll figure it out by the end. Okay, that's yeah. perfect. Yeah. All right, so this story centers on a very peculiar exploration team made up of five members. This is a gold rank exploration team, so they've got some experience under their belts. They're well known. They're they're not really famous or infamous yet, but they're working their way up the ranks. They have just made their way into Treasure Town, a local hub of explorers and adventurers. This exploration team have stopped inside the local Spinda Cafe to take a break on their long journey. The atmosphere is light and happy, and there are many Pokemon sharing a gummy shake and talking about recent findings in the many dungeons scattered across the land. And so this is where we will introduce our characters as they sit down, take a break, maybe order a gummy shake, and we'll go ahead and you guys can take over. Start introducing yourselves. Do we go down like a list you want to like? <laughs> yeah, anybody, yeah, it's, it's, so it's, it's free grabs, it's free grabs. All right, sure. Yeah, like you can. Uh, we got we got this. Uh, well, we got this green blob of a guy, a Reuniculus named Ribbon. Is that how we pronounce it? Um, personally, I prefer uh, Ribbon. Ribbon. Oh, okay. So we got this. We got this jiggly little Reuniculus named Ribbon sauntering into the cafe. Alongside him are his companions, 
Sylveon, which I don't remember the name of everybody. <laughs> we got a Sylveon here. What's the Sylveon's name? The name's Tranquility. Tranquility. I think you go by Quill, Quill for, for short. short. Yeah. Yes. Okay. So we got we got Rebon. We got Quill. We got a little a little Cyndaquil. What what is the Cyndaquil's name? Uh, my 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 my, my name's Sin. Sin, yes. We got we got Sin the Sin. With two ends. It's two ends. Don't uh, oh, do with one. Two, with two ends. Sin. <laughs> we got Sin the Cyndaquil, Rebound the Reuniculus, and Quill the Sylveon. We got a Tinkaton here too, friendly little fella. Uh -huh. uh, hi, I'm Bonkers. I'm always looking for a fight. Bonkers? That is a pretty bonkers name. And then we got a little Paldean Whooper. My name. Love the whoop. My name. Ooh. <laughs> is Gold Bell Lewis. G Gold Bell Lewis? Gold Belt Lewis. There's a T in the end. Oh, Gold Belt Lewis. Okay. Gold Belt Lewis. Wow, he's okay. so cool. Yeah. He's so so cool. Cool. It's having a this nice long gummy cigarette in my mouth. <laughs> what? <laughs> I that wish that I could do just, that. Just spits it out. <laughs> Wow. Howdy. <laughs> yeah, so uh, this exploration team, you guys are all very good friends with each other. So if you want to explore, maybe interact with some of the, the Pokemon in here or order something to <laughs> drink. Just kind of no, 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 ease your way into things I, before we get there. Uh, I'm just like, <laughs> kind of a little stuck. <laughs> uh-huh. Yeah. It's, it's hard to understand. Careful. It's like... It, it, you, you gotta mess up the beauty of this place, the the feng shui. And you can't believe you put the out. cigarette off. To... Yeah, 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 yeah. Don't worry, oh, I happen so to. Cool. I, I I shoot out some water from my mouth. <laughs> like like it hits the whoa, cigarette midair. Whoa, 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 whoa! You need to watch. You need to watch what? me doing that. Don't worry, I did oh. it off to the left. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sure. I, I guess uh, maybe. By the side. Off. By the oh. side. Don't worry, but the water was hit. It, it hit it in the air in a way that kept all the stuff safe. I have also yeah. just realized I'm gonna, I'm gonna have how to trust you in that. I've realized how taxing this voice is on my throat. <laughs> I may have made a grave miscalculation in the commitment I have now taken to the next six hours of this campaign. <laughs> this may have been a very bad bill. mistake. That's the first that sir crossed the bear, isn't it? Yeah, that's right. <laughs> So, how are we feeling you about- You complain about this every single time we go adventuring every... and say, oh, I've made a mistake <laughs> with this voice. I don't understand. And We've been I doing will... this for years. Guys, guys, can we please not fight? No <laughs> one's looking for a fight. Don't worry. Oh, okay, maybe, maybe not me. This isn't the oh. right best setting for that kind of thing. Oh. Well, Why not? I mean, we're kind of trying to be, you know, a little calm around here. Don't want to shake mm -hmm. things too. Don't want to shake things up too much. I'm gonna you know? look around and see if it's absolute chaos already in this <laughs> facility. <laughs> We're standing on a Makuhita over there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he's just, he's just he's shivying. Tall. He doesn't mind you standing on him. Uh, You're like floating above him. Uh, <laughs> uh, how how exactly does the, uh, the the current state of the cafe look at the moment? If I'm, if I'm to take a gander. Oh, every, everybody's just kind of chatting around the tables. Um, maybe you can like listen in on some of the Pokemon. They're just discussing recent adventures. Spinda's just dancing, making shakes for everybody, and then uh, the gambling corner over there with Why Not and Wobbuffet. They're just they're just waiting for people to spend money and you know potentially win prizes. But uh, and then the chat out there is just ready to answer questions if you need help with anything. We got mm -hmm. a brand new exploration team with Squirtle and Charmander down there. And then uh, the Raichu... <laughs> Jump him! Look at that Squirtle! It's a gold rank uh, exploration team badge. Wow! Hey, you look pretty strong! Well, uh, no, you you look like the strong one," said the Charmander with like I don't think you want to fight. Uh, hey, 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 hey! Yeah, fight! I'm, I'm sorry. Yeah. Excuse, excuse my friend here. Uh, hi, hi, hi. We are we um kind of going to rip on. What's our name again? 
Uh, we don't go. We decided on uh, Mystic Mashes. Oh, yeah, sometimes. never mind. We're going with Mystic Mashes. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hi, we're the Mystic Marshals. And, uh, well, we were just, uh, <sighs> we saw you guys come in. And, uh, uh is, are you guys new to the world of adventuring? Yeah, we're only a beginner rank exploration team, but, but we're really excited to be, you know, out in the world and going to the mystery dungeons. We heard so much about them. Oh yeah, that's the spirit. You know, you know, keep that spirit up, and keep... one day you'll be gold ring just like <gasps> us. I yeah, you get to fight huge, scary monsters. Mm -hmm. uh, monsters. They're really scary. Yeah, huge. Aren't are they really scary? Well, well, well do you have advice for too, too beginners scary. like us as a gold rank rescue or a mystery uh, exploration shoot team? First. I can't first. Shoot first. Escalator. <laughs> shoot, shoot first. Are we always going to be picking fights? He doesn't fights? really mean that. When we're in the dungeons, everything could be an enemy. You never know what might jump you. Oh, Squirtle, write that down. Write that down. Wow, okay, he's so I cool. Got it. <laughs> to to kind of like to kind of clarify what my friend means over here, kind of just be a little on the cautious side, obviously, because you, you never know what you'll get yourself into. Oh, okay, Squirtle, Squirtle, write that down. Yeah, yeah, I got it. I got it. Is As we're chatting, her? I'm like, I'm with my huge ass hammer. I'm just sort of spinning it around almost effortless, effortlessly. Uh, yeah, <laughs> careful when you're spinning that. Eh, that's yeah. fine. And then you oh, got the wow. sp So as you guys are talking to this brand new exploration team, you hear a sudden loud thud of something being slammed down onto the wooden table. And it, it's coming from the Raichu and Bee Barrel up, uh, just right above you guys. Yeah, that barrel. And they both kind of have, yeah, they they the BB, <laughs> the the Raichu kind of has an angry, frustrated look in in his eyes, you know, and and the B barrel kind of looks disappointed and sad. And if you uh, if you guys want to, if you, you they're kind of talking that really loud, so you, you can strong. Yeah, you guys can hear what they're saying. The Raichu is saying, "No, we can't go back out there. I don't care how much gold could be out there. The heat there makes the journey unbearable." We almost died of dehydration. My skin was dried like an orange berry. I won't go again. I won't do it. I'm not going back out there. And then the bee barrel kind of says with a heavy sigh, oh, you're probably right. We didn't even <laughs> find the entrance to the temple. For all we know, this map could be a fake. It's what we get for listening to that old Torkoal. Yeah, Just throw the map away. You can get another job, said the Raichu. Whoa. <laughs> Hey, it was nice chat. Uh, sorry, there's oh, something oh, going on over oh. here. Anyway. Wait, oh, hello, little Ray Uniculus, said the bee barrel. He's kind of looking over what? his shoulder, seeing these adventurers, this gold rank rescue team approach. These these guys are silver. Got the little syndical on the table there. I'm, I'm in the <laughs> cup. <laughs> You're in the cup, okay. Uh -huh. You're just taking a, helping he yourself to shake. Yeah. <laughs> the ra the Raichu looks over and he's like, oh, uh, can we help you guys? Like, what's what's going on? Why are you guys surrounding us? We heard there was oh, an adventure like in gold to be gotten. And gold there was a Torkoal. is my first name. And a Torkoal. And a Torkoal. The Raichu kind of... I love kinda, fire types. <laughs> the Raichu kind of crosses his arms. Yeah, okay, you are a fire type, so it makes sense that you would you would like fire types. But mm -hmm. he, he kind of puts his paw down over this, like, wrinkled, old, torn map. And it was that was what he had slammed down on the table, and he says, "Yeah, this this Torkoal, the Torkoal from the Hot Springs, you know, he he gave us this map saying that there was this lost hidden temple out in the desert, like loaded with gold. Uh... But we went looking and we couldn't find anything. And then, like, you know what? We it was just too dangerous for us. We're we're only we're only silver rank. We're we got we got to, you know, make sure we're not doing anything we're not capable of. So." I was well, just gonna throw this map away. Really fair, like, you gotta, gotta know your limits. However, if you don't mind, I think we're a little bit interested in this. Do you mind us uh, Are you? taking a little peek? Are you? Do you mind if I... Oh, sorry. Be Do you mind if I... Oh, sorry. Oh, no, no, go, go. <laughs> go ahead, go ahead. Do you mind if I, real quick, um, mage hand the map up to my face and see if I can recognize anything in particular about it? Yeah, what do you see? Give me an investigation roll. Okay. First roll of the thing. First roll. Oh. Um. Let me check my 
Don't fuck this up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, a lot of pressure is riding on you. Everything depends yeah. on there this There are so roll many right people now. watching. I'll go ahead and guide myself forward as You've well. You've got this. So, oh, yeah. <laughs> okay, okay. We love guiding. Yeah, that's an 18. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah, nice. All right. So the Raichu kind of just slides the wrinkled uh, old map over to the ta over the table towards uh, Ribbon. And uh, his ears twitch and says, you know what? Go ahead. See what you can make of it. It was hard for us to read. Maybe we're not as smart as a psychic type Pokemon, but it, it, it was just impossible <laughs> to find the temple out there. But as Ribbon peers at this old map, um, it's you know, worn down with age, kind of has that little funky old book smell to it. There's a couple holes in it, you know. He looks at the I map. the smell. And <laughs> <laughs> he looks at the map and he can see this topography kind of um, design. But, you know, being psychic type, the Rayuniculus is able to easily decipher where exactly in the desert they're supposed to go and kind of in a general area on where the entrance to this hidden temple is supposed to be. And on the map, there is a kind of an ancient text writing up there. So if you want to give me, I think there's history checks, correct me if I'm yes. wrong. There is a history check, yes. Okay. Real quick, I'm just gonna scroll up. I know I had like the checks for like the different things. Mm -hmm. I just wanna have yeah, that like okay. right in front of my face. There's so much text in here. That's entirely fair. <laughs> <laughs> no. But you can do a his. I think history is a check. So go ahead and give me a history check yes. to see if you can yes. read what's on the map, like the title of the map. You can't mind if I guide myself for this run, too. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Yippee. Oh, I didn't need it. Huh. Uh, let me just. I can check my stats again. This is history, correct? Yes, history. That is 20 plus. Wow, that is 28. Oh, 28. Let's go. Oh, okay. Let's go. Very high number. Wow. wow. Okay, so as as Rebone peers at this map with, oh, holy fuck, 28 is insane. Um, you can easily decipher the the written language on the map, and it says the Sun Temple. Uh, so, if you want to. Sun Temple. Yeah. Uh, so if you want to decipher no. your findings. Uh, what Ribbon does immediately is uh, upon seeing this, and uh, is there any particular like uh, ancient language or rune, etc., on here as well? All, it, all it says is all it says is uh, the Sun Temple and to head uh, directly west into the desert. That's all that you can ascertain. And then there's supposedly like a big X on the map, um, but it's kind of hard to figure out like. They were having the exploration team was having trouble deciphering where it was supposed to go because they can't read topography. Uh, but with what well, you've oh. ascertained, you can figure it out like a general area of where you're supposed to go. All right. <laughs> well, that being the case, then I will go ahead and once again using Mage Hand to lift it into the air. Uh, I will sort of uh, stamp the the map down onto the side of my little gel head. Uh, and then peel it off, so now there's a little copy of the map on the side of my head. <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> like a printing <laughs> service? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> cool. He's going That's awesome. I have your map back. Oh, the Raichu says, oh, thank, thank you. Are, are you guys gonna really try to go out in the desert? I mean, why do you have trouble doing it? Oh, yeah. We're not just gonna try. We're gonna come back and take all the gold that it has left. By the way, Spinda, barkeep, give me two red gummy tummies for these fine folks that gave us a map. Two red gummy tummies coming right up. And then the Spinda starts dancing and shaking a shake and the right. Oh, oh well, thank you, uh, Wooper. You, you didn't have to buy us shakes. It's all right. We, we need no debt. Hand us the map. Yeah, you helped us out a good deal, so we're here to help you out, too. Are you sure that you guys can handle going in the desert? I mean, you got a little Cyndaquil with you. I know he's a fire type, but... Oh, don't oh, underestimate him. This. You don't have to worry he's about me. He's got a lot of fight at him. Besides, <laughs> we're gold ring. We can handle it. Yeah. yeah, don't judge me by my size. That's rude, you know? It's really hard <laughs> to judge you by your size. You are constantly changing it. <laughs> <laughs> I actually have no idea what you really are. Yeah. 
Oh, yeah, yeah. I, I scuttle back into the cup. <laughs> <laughs> He's actually a ditto. He can shape shift. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you are as large as the scene needs you to be. <laughs> Such as I? case yeah, in yeah. point. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I mean, why do you guys have trouble with it? I mean, it was we couldn't exactly read the maps of the Raichu. He kind of looks away to the side. He's like, I, I, I just figured we could follow a straight path out. But Why can you read it? Are you stupid? Uh, uh, hey, hey, hey. Kinda... Yeah, I was going to say, don't be, you don't have to be rude Come to them. Face. Come on. It's just a question. Respectful. Yeah, but it's a disrespectful <laughs> question. you got to be kind. Why? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I... You know what? Good question, actually. <laughs> you want to be good. You want to be good to these people. You yeah, you want to be good, good to these people. What, what they said. We already, they already got drinks. Yeah, yeah. but we've paid them our I'm debt. Moving on. I'm sorry for my friend's behavior. Yeah, you know we're, what? We're very thankful for you guys uh, and the information you've been able to share with us. So uh, hopefully. You guys go on your uh, merry way, and uh... yeah, I suppose we will. Uh, thanks for the drinks, and I guess don't die out there," said the Raichu, with kind of like a, a sad look in his eyes. You know, being called oh, we stupid. Won't. We won't, but thank you for the advice, nonetheless. Mm -hmm. Wanna wanna start mm -hmm. heading out? Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! I have a roll. So, a was, that a, was that an evolved <laughs> Pikachu? That was. Mm -hmm. it's, nah. a, it's a Raichu. Yeah. Yeah. That's so cool. Is he so cool? <laughs> He's so cool. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So the party, <laughs> the party has made the decision to take this old treasure map and head straight out into the vast and desolate desert, trying to find this lost hidden sun temple. Let me see if I can do this correctly. This is the, fir the first Are change of scene. That was a door. <laughs> Seemed very effective for our current situation. That's the map stuck to my yeah, face. I love the map. Like, 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 we're going through the desert. Like, do we go left or right here? Come, come here, come here, friend. Uh, yeah, definitely right. <laughs> looks at your forehead oh, no, for a bit. Change our size. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I got the map. Don't worry about it. Oh, here we go. Now it's now it's proper map. Yeah. Uh, I suppose um, while we're walking along. Wait, um, how do I? How do I also get out the door? Hold on. There you go. Help. You Help. also Help. notice. Help. Just, what's it doing you? Two of you. What? As we're uh, as we're uh, finagling and maneuvering okay. our way up uh, throughout the whole traveling time, uh, Ribon uh, sort of does some some silly little little uh, tricks, kind of making little uh, patterns of, of string um, in their hands or in their larger hands um, as they uh, ritually cast alarm and set up their arcane ward. Ooh, nice. Mm. Yeah. Can I get everyone? Yeah, good to have a, a way just to gonna... just make sure we don't get you know Ooh. followed or something weird mm. finds us. Yeah, in this with the little coiled alarm string, just flicked away. <laughs> yeah, you guys can see that uh, there's a couple of desert Pokemon kind of hanging out. You see like a Mandibuzz Vulture flying above. You can see some Cacnea rolling down at the sandy hills. Some Bramblin, which are tumbleweed-like Pokemon, just off in the distance, rolling in the sand. Even maybe see a Maractus or two dancing to themselves, but the heat is pretty unbearable here. It's pretty it's pretty warm here. It's not so much to like damage quite yet, but um, there's really nothing out here. It's pretty desolate. You can see like a couple of old ruins, um, but you guys are feel free to start exploring around because this is the place where uh, the map is supposed to end. So. Well, I don't feel any of that food, so I start dancing with the Mirac. <laughs> this heat's pretty strong. <laughs> Wait. Ah, it's fine. Is it? Yeah, I, it's I, I don't notice it. Yeah, I can find it, though. It seems pretty brisk out. Brisk. I do see a fountain in the middle if we're interested in taking a look there. That seems... Oh, yeah, yeah. Fountain? I see some kind of weird alien creature in the uh, up north. I haven't seen a form like that before. 
Oh, wow. that's a that that is not. Uh, it's kind of like broken down, crumbled uh, statue. If you uh, want to go investigate it, it's kind of broken into pieces. So uh, I don't know if they're broken up statues. Let's get an investigation to see. <laughs> Uh, actually, yeah, let's have Sin. Sin, do an investigation check to see if oh, you can okay. see what kind of Pokemon it is. Uh, While he's doing that, I'm just going to dunk my head how in the do I, what, is, what is that? <laughs> oh, the fountain's right up. Uh, that is a oh, okay. d20 roll plus your investigation modifier, which you will see on your character sheet. Okay, 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 okay. So there's a d20 roll. Yes. I'll guide uh, you on that, actually. So we'll, you, you can add up an extra d4 to your roll. Okay, so that was a 15. There you go. Okay. And uh, what is my modifier? Add... Uh, how do I see that again? My is it investigation modifier? Did you say? Yes. Investigation. Yeah, so that's yes. so that eighteen. Eighteen. 18. All right. And uh, also, actually, apologies, uh, because I guided you. You can roll an extra one d four and add the total of that on as well. Uh, <laughs> so... Okay. So if that's, that is okay. Uh, that's twenty. Yeah. I, I, I should have. Oh, done 20. Hell yeah. What are you doing? Twenty. Let's go. Very Not nice. Bad. What do we see from That's it? Super awesome. So from uh, from uh, Sin uh, gazing at this broken down statue eroded away by the sands of time and the weathered elements, he can see that this once was a statue of an espion. And there's some writing down at the bottom of this statue. And the writing says... I'm just making sure that the music was replaying, and it did. Mm -hmm. It worked. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, the writing on the statue, Sin can see. The light of the sun guides us all. At the sun's apex, the light will shine its brightest. And that is when we sink down, down below into the sand. The treasure sleeps, and so we too shall sleep to escape the almighty and powerful sun. What does it say, Sin? <laughs> I don't know. I can't read. <laughs> All right. We have no clue what to do then. <laughs> something about sinking, I think. Huh? Interesting. Something about sinking in the sun, and it sounds kind of bad. I'm not going to lie. Can any else of us read it just to like actually tell what it says? I'm gonna just like look up at the sun. Ah! Didn't think that one through. Let's be honest, there's a Pokemon of the sun. Oh, the sun. Oh, it's it, mm, it is bearing down. I'm, I'm afraid that any, any sweat's gonna mess with my, my outer appearance. It's gonna. Oh, it's gonna get my fur. Ugh. Well, don't worry. I saw you trying to dunk your head in this dry river, but I'm not yeah, being able to yeah, help here. Yeah, uh, yeah, there's nothing there. As 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 Gold mm -hmm. steps forward, when 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 his foot hits the the base of the of the fountain, uh, little droplets of water are gonna seep up through the cracks in the fountain and start to get a little bit of a pool going. As I do a little bit of water manipulation here. Ooh, water. Damn shame a dry fountain is. So there's a little bit, a little bit there now. Go ahead. So when Sin looked at the statue and did the investigation, you rolled that mm -hmm. dirty 20. So I'm just going to, if you want to look, that's what you were able to read. You were able to read that and understand that, Sin, if you want to relay that again to the team. I can't remember what you said. I'm going to be I DM'd, so real. I, that's... I DM'd it. I DM'd it to you. <laughs> yeah, so then you don't have to memorize you it. You can walk back over to the statue. It's okay. Walk, walk back okay. over to the statue. Yeah, yeah, What did it say? What did it say? What did it say? Okay. It says, The light of the sun guides us all. At the sun's apex, the light will shine its brightest. And that is when we sink down. At high noon! Oh. Incredible! No, 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 it's, the, it's actually the opposite. It says down, down oh, below. I, no, no, into the sand. We sing down, but the the sun is at its highest. Oh, oh. Well, actually, oh. actually, oh. so so Wooper, huh? since you made that observation, can I get a? I gotta look. I don't have the things memorized. Oh, good. I have oh, you're so open. small. Um, <laughs> so which, I have so many browser tabs open. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Gold does a little like let's see little I need a, pose there. A wisdom off of it. check. 
A wisdom check, Wooper. Wisdom. Oh, oh no, actually, no, no, yeah, wisdom, because it'll be perception. Oh, it's a perception check. Oh, perception. a perception yes. check. I need a perception okay. check to see. You have a big old D20. Oh, what oh, time of day it is. <laughs> We're gonna use that heavy ass D20 I got. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> That is going to be a 21. Holy oh. crap. Okay. So oh you are God. able to see that it is a little past. It's like well into the afternoon. So the sun is past its apex. And then if you, uh. since you're right by the fountain, we're on the map right there, you can mm -hmm. see on this fountain at the very top most part of the spire, there is a gem there and it's kind of shining with this light. You said it was just past the apex, correct? So we, we potentially it's might've like, missed the time? Yeah, because it was at the sun's apex. You might've just missed it, yeah. mm -hmm. Damn. So, so. <laughs> Take with that information what you will. The sun is past its apex, and the, the light is not its brightest. Mm. Oh, so right now it seems it's uh, 3.05 p.m. EST. We might <laughs> we might have just missed it by about five minutes, but uh, I see a gem up there. I've seen a few of those in my time. I think gem? if we create a big enough light, we mm. might be able to emulate. That, that's a large word. Uh... It, recreate the uh, oh, that's what he meant. <laughs> the light from the sun in a way that might light our way forward. Does anyone who has the most firepower among us looks to the Cyndaquil? <laughs> Which one of us? Is it you? Hmm. Maybe, nah. maybe, maybe I'm you under could do it. Fire. I'm not very good with light. So I, can I don't know if I can do that. Sin. It's okay. I can try. You can. You literally, you literally have fire on your back. We could hold you up above it if necessary. Yeah, yeah we believe I'll, in I'll, you. I'll, 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 I'll try. I'll try like my, 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 my best. Yeah. Do you need to reach it? Am I able to reach it? How high up in the air is it, Pixie? I would say it's about uh, ten feet in the air, so he might need a little huh. help getting getting boosted up there. Maybe okay, at like this a... point, I'm gonna bring out my hammer and just kind of like motion it to him, say, "Okay, uh, get on the end of it." Yeah. Uh, okay. And I'm gonna step forward and like reach it forward, so he's like right by it. Uh, <laughs> now what do I do here? I, I Shoot some what? flames. <laughs> you got it. Okay. Got this! <laughs> oh god, fire, he's gonna shit himself! <laughs> <laughs> as the fire erupts from Cyndaquil, the light in the gem is shining its brightest. Um, and he, he keeps that up for a while. Um, but still, nothing is happening. But maybe maybe Sin can recall the words that were, were said so to him. It said, so it said at the sun's apex, but... Uh, that's when we sink down below mm. and then it says the treasure sleeps and so we too shall sleep S to escape so... the almighty powerful sun so something's hiding from 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 it we need to sleep or put out the sun uh, <laughs> hey, hey, uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna put you down I'm gonna put you down uh, okay 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 yeah. okay <laughs> that was scary and immediately after that, I'm gonna chuck my hammer on the floor and just lay down on it, like, okay, right, sleep. Yeah, no, you're, oh. you're, not, you're not wrong uh. there. So thanks to the light that Sin provided, the light is still shining pretty bright on the gem, but all of those actions, nothing, nothing still is quite happening. Uh. But uh, maybe we can do a little bit more investigation. <sighs> <laughs> oh, okay. we, got so we got. We just got someone. After okay. we take a long Sing rest, Sin <laughs> curls up on top of uh, on top of uh, Donker's hammer. It's yeah. adorable. Oh. Okay. Okay. Man, I'm looking at the things, so I'm gonna look more at the gem. I like the gem. Also, at the same time, I'm gonna take a little. Gold's gonna take a little bit of a step out and view the situation from a little bit of afar. Maybe we're missing something that we're looking at a little too close for it. That we're both gonna do our own 
check set things. Yeah, I'm no, also going to just the check mind. the ground just to see just like its texture. JP, any, like, give me a nature check and Dan, give me an insight check. Oh, what? Insight. I see. That's an eight. And 21 okay. on my end. Okay. So you can kind of see that, uh, Jakey, you're not really seeing anything too out of the ordinary, like normal desert sand. Um, yeah, feels like solid floor. <laughs> but, uh, Dan, maybe there's some, a little bit more to that uh, fountain and the spire and the the gem. There might be there might be a little bit something more to that. Hmm. Yeah, that's what I'm looking into. What do you see there, Ribbon? I'm trying to I'm trying to rule on this old gem. Roll yeah, investigation. It's a lot like a lot of these things. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, no, I'm, I'm trying to look into a little bit of, of more of like the functionality behind the gem, in terms, especially if it's like magical in nature. It's not so magical I... in nature. It's it's ah. just a normal gem that uh, shines with the light of the sun, and it's very very bright. Um, and I'll, I'll say I'll say the the phrase again: the light of the sun guides us all, and at the sun's apex, the light shines its brightest, and that is when we sink down, down below into the sand. The treasure sleeps, and so we too shall sleep to escape the almighty well, and we're not, powerful sun. We're not sinking into the sand yet, so something, yeah, we must have done I something wrong. That, though. Okay. And while, um, while Sin is sleeping, this sort of ethereal <laughs> voice <laughs> calls out to him in his sleep. And it says something. Ah. Push down. Push down on the spire below. <laughs> oh, he's like rolling in his sleep. Wake up. Oh, you good? You good, buddy? <laughs> okay, get the unconscious thing off you. Okay. Uh, 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 you voice. Okay, uh, you heard a voice? Uh, something, something. Speak uh, to me, kid. Push down. Talk push to me. Down on the spire. Below. Uh, push, push down, down on the spire. I push down I, immediately. I, 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 I don't know what it means, but it's okay. I, I heard someone talking to me. Okay, step out of it. I push down on the gym. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. Yeah. I'm calm. You'll be okay. Uh, You'll be okay. Don't worry. Okay. You'll be okay, buddy. I, I just. I heard a voice. Uh, it didn't feel like I was dreaming. It didn't, it, it's a voice I've never heard before. And I, I've heard that that's something you just... It said to push down on the spire below. Don't worry. Ribbon's doing just that right now. Okay. Okay. You did good. <sighs> All right. <sighs> Give me a strength check, Ribbon. If you're going to... Ribbon, sorry. If you're going to oh, push no. down on the spire. Oh, <laughs> uh, no. All right. Mm. Would it be possible for me to attack the spire to make it go down? No, I need a strength check. All right, well, that's gonna be terrible. Or if you want to give it to someone else who might have more strength to push down on the spire. That's gonna be a six. <laughs> <laughs> that's gonna be a what? That's gonna be a six. Okay, you push down on the spire, but it's not really budging. We're gonna walk you over. A little more manpower. Yeah, I'm gonna walk over to uh, the oh, bonkers. Okay. And, and give give her a little slap with my tail here. Bonkers! <laughs> You're needed. Your muscles like, needed. Like you gold, by the way. Rupert? Gold. Yeah, 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 yeah. Gold, gold. All right. You're up, bonkers. We need you to hit that pillar downwards, not over, but down. Oh, you, you, you got it. And I'm gonna bring my hammer out, and I'm gonna slam Wait, it on top. I need a strength check. Please. Yeah, I'm gonna <laughs> slam it on top. Uh, <laughs> Using my hammer, so strength check. This will be athletics. Well, uh, yeah. eighteen. Yeah. All right. So as uh, the Tinkaton raises this great big hammer over her head, it slams down onto the spire, and you think it would break, but it kind of just sinks a little bit. And all of a sudden, the area of the fountain where the water used to be starts to rumble, and shake. <laughs> Oh god, I made new water it there. It starts uh. slowly 
going downwards, sinking <gasps> down into the sand. That's, uh, that's what like we the, needed. That's like what the thing said. That is what the well, thing down, said. Down below where the, well, the treasure good. sleeps. Good job, yeah. you guys. That's what Maybe we needed. Write it down. Ooh. We did it. Oh, it's an elevator. Okay. On top, so I think I just elevator. fell. Oh. Tranquility, get out of here. Traz is oh, going. Get on, Quill. Get, get him careful about the sand, though. The sand is falling Quill, down as the elevator is going down. Fine. Oh, wait. Uh, okay. Big climb, big climb, big jump. All right. All right. Good Good job solving the mystery, guys. Yippee. <laughs> solving. Yay. Yeah. Mystery solved. Yay. All in a day's oh. work for Gold so go? Lewis. <laughs> All right, so now wow, you guys are so at the cool. <laughs> <laughs> Another mystery cool. solved. <laughs> oh, this is so cool. <laughs> this is a little pose. All right, so now you guys have gotten onto this elevator. Also, my chat, if you see anything like hidden, like don't, don't, don't say anything. Shush, shush, shush. Um, <laughs> but the group has now gotten onto this elevator, and it has slowly descended down, down below. Um, you can see like this hollowed out cave area, the sun peeking in and shining rays of light. Dust particles are floating in the air. Yeah, I know it's a little dusty. <laughs> it's a little dusty down oh, here. that's so sad. I feel bad. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm kind of, like shaking the sin out of my yeah, mouth. Like, uh, sin shakes his little like back like flames. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Bonkers is chewing on sand. <laughs> oh, that's, ew. Does that taste good? That. Can I have it's some? good texture. It's good texture. Uh, you can, can try. No, 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 yeah, thanks. Right. That's no, not bad, you, you know. Oh, I don't knock it till you try it. <laughs> How about you, 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 you all have, have fun. No, thanks. Okay. I, I'll pass. All right. So as you guys are approaching the entryway, you don't see any kind of barriers. It's kind of just an open door. But Rebon can see in similar text compared to the one that was seen on the map. It says on the entryway, Sun Temple. So maybe that indicates that you guys have found what you're looking for. Runes tonight. Runes tonight. Runes tonight. Careful, everybody. This is where uh, things might get dicey. Ooh. You want some sand? Uh, I, sure I'll have a little... the sun temple. Yeah, I mean, I, I'll, I've never would have turned down a new um, experience. <laughs> I have a little bit of is sand. Is there like a oh, is there what? like a specific like uh, symbol oh. or marker <laughs> of the sun temple on it in any way? Prodigy. Uh, Pixie. Oh, say it again. Is there like a specific marker or symbol of the Sun Temple that's on it in any way, like engraved in? No, it's it just like says in the ancient language above it, uh, Sun Temple, and then you can see like a dark, like unblocked path leading into the main hall of the temple. That's all you guys can see right now. All right, we'll all go ahead and float on up, and I'll give the uh the little like ancient language that says sun temple high five so now it's <laughs> once again inscribed into my hand <laughs> <That's awesome. laughs> well <laughs> nowhere left to go but up here all right i'll follow you gold let's do it come on Sam. you can let's see go. that things are well maintained despite it uh it being a old and buried down. Bless you. Um, there's dusty pathways <laughs> leading into the main hall of the temple. There's pillars cracked lining the center of the hall. Uh, a couple stones also cracked here and there. And some of the pictures on the wall have worn away over time, but it's still a pretty well-maintained temple despite hmm. it being hidden so far below the sand. That's what you guys can kind of see right now. And it is extremely dark inside the temple too. Ugh. Uh, understandably so, because it is underground, away from the sun. I can't see shit. Sin, can you I give us a little bit of light? Fine. Uh, can I just, is that a thing I can just you do? You just like flare yeah, your back. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, the yeah, yeah. produced flame cantrip actually does let you do that. Yep. Which you do have. Uh, yeah, okay, I'd, I'd like to produce flame then. Yep. Yay. All right. Do I have to do anything for that? Do I have to like roll anything? Or... Nope. No, 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 no you just, just like, light it up. You can okay. just like describe how you do it. Like, <laughs> there he goes. <laughs> okay, it should be a bit oh, brighter. Oh, your up. Like All a right, chia so plant. Right now, where Sin is, you guys can, you guys can. <laughs> More uh, fire just kind of comes comes out. So go ahead, <laughs> very um, stupid. For right now, that area is just lit up 
based on basically wherever Sin goes is where you guys are going to be able to see. Gotcha. So I thanks to the light on Sin's it. back. Yeah, I do have dark vision. Yeah. 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 Okay. I'm going to say, okay, I also have so we have two people well, with dark vision. Yeah. Oh. So I have it Three well. people. Four okay. people. Okay. <laughs> Dark vision, vision is way too right. <laughs> So you guys basically have a couple areas that you can go. There's like different boxes. So there's like bottom left, bottom right. I don't know. Like I'm looking at it like the way that you guys are in the temple. So like mm. to the right of Rayniculus, to the left of Sin and Ribbon. Or wait, mm-hmm. no, Quill, sorry. I get, because uh, Ribbon's and Espion. Hey. Or, yeah, Ribbon's, yeah, yeah, Ribbon's yeah, yeah, and Sylvia. Yeah. 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 So if you uh, hold um, right click, you can actually have a pointer to help like reference oh yeah yeah okay yeah. so there's like an area here that you guys could go or you can mm-hmm. go here or here or here uh, you know it, there, there's a lot of places to explore but again really mm-hmm. it's only able to be seen thanks to sin's fire yep. and there also are some unlit torches on the wall so if sin goes to an area and lights a fire there then it can remain lit i'll do that <laughs> okay. which area are you going to first you're going be to careful of traps okay. 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 I'm sorry. I just saw an unlit, uh, an unlit torch, and I thought it would help. I've been grabbed by tranquility. There we go. Okay. Hang on one. Hold on one sec. Uh, Darkness is doing weird things. It's playing tricks with my eyes. Oh, Whoa. Oh, this is really a weird temple. Okay. I still can't see. I got the zoomies. So. Uh, <laughs> we need you here. Who? Who? Wait. Let me. Let me look real quick here. I have. I have. Uh, it's a Minecraft shader bug. Okay, so there, there oh, you can see Minecraft. you can see an open open room. Uh, if you guys wanna, oh Amy, uh, yeah. Tinkaton, I need you to do a survival check. Ooh, I am so bad. That's a twelve. Okay. Um, so as Amy, uh, uh, what bonkers quickly runs into this seemingly oh, open room. Uh, be Rupert, the friends call out careful but it's it's too late as bonker steps down um all of a sudden from the ceiling a paralyzing spore falls down and covers bonkers's body oh, and gosh. cover your mouths uh, oh. and, and everybody but bonkers uh is able to avoid this paralyzing spore but now bonkers is covered in it so now for oh, IRL gosh. time, 15 minutes, Amy, I need you to be on the clock. You cannot move by yourself. You are oh, paralyzed. Gosh. You just kind of topple Quick, Okay, so I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to run to the entryway and shoot like a mist into the air to try and like dissolve or uh, what's it called? Dissipate, dissipate some of the some of the powder coming down. Okay, so the powder has been dissipated now because you did that mist, but uh, it's still, you know, taking effect on Bonkers. So Bonkers. Kinda Don't grab her, just- quick heavy weight at this point for 15 minutes. So, so, someone, someone grab her. Quick, someone, someone with arms. Someone with arms grab her. Uh, yeah. j- j- I um, don't have um, the... Uh, t- uh, kind of. <laughs> like little. Onto the back. With a little bit You're of psychic energy. having to drag energy. my hammer as well. Thank you, Ribbon. Um, You're so cool. <laughs> other things. Uh, uh, you're, we're leaving that hammer behind us. You don't have a say in the matter. You're, no. You're an idiot. <laughs> you're, an idiot. <laughs> you're my friend, but you're also really stupid for doing that. Are you sure you want to leave her hammer her behind, outside. or do you want to try and go back in for it? I'll try and, I'll go back try and like, drag it. it. Yeah, we okay. can drag it. Give me a strength I, check. Give us, oh, God, I'm going to fail this. Uh, <laughs> so that's it. I'm just going to explore the strength D20. check first. D20. Uh, a d20, okay. Uh, okay, uh, bu- 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 that's a 16. Uh, I think minus one. So, so 15. So, so, 15, so, 15. Yeah. so you're kind of you're kind of huffing and puffing while dragging the hammer, but you're doing it. There you go, Sin. This thing's oh. really. Yeah, well, we're, 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 we're gonna make it work. We're gonna make it work. Here, 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 let me give you a hand with that. Let me give you a hand. This thing's like you don't have my the size. Hand. All right, let me give you a tail with that. <laughs> Use your head. But between between the two of us, like I don't know how you're dragging it there, Cyndaquil, but like if I'm dragging my it with my with, 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 <laughs> OMC, so you're walking on your fine feet. All right. but, between between the little Cyndaquil and the, and the little Whooper, do you think we can be dragging this hammer perfectly fine for a little bit? 
Wait, say, say that one more time. Between the two of us helping to move this hammer, do you think it'll be fine to... Let it. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, so, yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah. Move on, encumbered. Now it's like back out of, it's oh, back out of that so po paralyzing poison room. So you guys are good. Huh? So whenever uh, Bonkers gets out of the paralyzing effect. Well, I say let's check the northern area and see if I'll check I for. Flames going because my... I can't that, that really that you. It's okay. It's okay. Take a second there. <laughs> take, take a second there, so, champ. Yeah. Take a, take a breather. Okay. There we go. Cool. Take a breather. Okay. Part. So where are you guys gonna where are you guys gonna go now? I'm There's going to, one I'm going to investigate uh up north here with uh with Sin next to me here for a little bit of light. Uh Let's go first on. thing first, before I go in, I just wanna look around the room for any traps or, or various other It's very dark. You cannot dark see I have though, Sin right? I have dark vision and I have Sin next to me. Okay. Mm. Uh let's see. So you guys as you, I'm not going in yet. I'm just sort of like peering. Wait, into me it. and me and uh, Gold both have dark vision as well. So okay. Yeah, yeah. I'm I'm just following behind them, just like. I was gonna say we're lighting it up for tranquility okay. and ribbon. I think. Okay, so as you guys well, are well. approaching, oh, okay. approaching, yeah, approaching this <laughs> approaching this area, and you got the dark vision and you got Sin's fire, you can hear some kind of like skittering sounds. Um, <laughs> Stay back. And then from the darkness, there's three <laughs> scorapi that aren't too happy to have been disturbed. <laughs> get back, get back. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Uh, and with that, I'm oh. going to need to do some initiative rolls. We're going to enter a battle. Oh, my God. Oh. Riddle on yourselves oh, now. Riddle on yourselves. We've had a fight, huh? Riddle on yourselves. There we go. Riddle on. I can't feel my leg. <laughs> <laughs> That's not ideal. It's going to be okay. Just rest your mouth. Uh... <laughs> Paralyzed so folk, critical on is yourself. It, is it the uh um what the is it initiative rolls that D20. I get from everybody? Yep. D twenty. Okay, so I need everybody to roll a D twenty and we're gonna go uh get some turn orders because we are entering a battle here. And Amy, you cannot yeah. join the battle for another Ooh, ten minutes, I believe. Um, I put a timer oh. on if you need. Okay, perfect. Okay. Yeah, yeah. How many Where minutes? Where are left? we putting uh ten. Okay. Where are we putting the uh, initiative? Because I don't believe there's any. Yeah. Oh, you just, just tell me what it is. Just tell yeah. me. I got a 14. Okay. I got a 12. Okay, hang on. F. Uh, this is just going to. Jake, you get a 12. Amy, what did you get? You can, you can roll. Oh, oh uh, I got 15. Okay. Uh, Dan, what'd you get? I got a four. Low roll, low roll. Rip, <laughs> rip. <laughs> and then Pecky, what did you get? Uh, hot 23. Wow. Whoa. Okay, that's awesome. Wait, sorry. Okay. Is there a sorry? Is there a modifier on initiative? My, oh. Yes. Uh, yes. You added your dexterity modifier. Uh, okay. And sorry. Sorry. That is my bad. I forgot to add that. Cool. So. That's okay. So it says ability scores. It says dex plus one. Like. Is, so you have is a, so you add one. Yes. Okay. So it doesn't really okay. make a difference. Okay. Gotcha. Uh, yeah. Okay. And then I'm gonna roll quick for the three score of here. Yep. yep. Uh, one of them is a six. You don't have to tell us if. Oh, okay. Sorry. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We can find out as it goes. I will just type my okay. name for posterity. Yeah. Okay. Okay. It's gonna so take cool. me a little bit just to get everybody in order. No problem. No if you ever want to do like groups of enemies, you could always have like that they all attack at one legion kind of idea. Yeah, so they all have yeah. the same initiative. Oh, okay. I see. I see. Yeah, I thought I had to do them. separate yeah. ones for each one. No, completely up to you. you. I mean, uh, it's you're the DM. Yep. It's your okay. chief. Exactly. I just know it, it is a it is a thing that has helped other people in the past to keep track of things. Plus, it keeps Pokemon turn based if you want to. Yeah. That's what that's what I was thinking. Okay, I think I have everybody in order. Okay, so the Scorpy kind of are got this angry look in their eyes. They've been disturbed from the, their you know normal peaceful existence in this temple, you know, sun intruders. So they kind of they kind of skitter towards you guys. Uh, but Rebon, you are gonna be first up to actually. Is there a way that I can uh, color code these guys real quick? Um, if you click on them and then there's like the. I thought that was a thing. Yeah, because it would be helpful if I could color code them. Yeah. I can. I'm sure. Oh, I, I think. I think sure. this I can make is, it like uh, big, medium, this small. Them without any of the bells and whistles. You could. Yeah. yeah. I'm just going to make it. Or you could medium. also uh, put text on them and then just say one. 
Oh, how do I, oh yeah, 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 that's perfect. Yeah. Okay. One, two, three, etc. Uh, how as you see three, I suppose. How do I add? Oh, two. Okay. There we go. Oh, that's so that's so much easier. Okay. All right. All no. right. So, Reborn, you are up first. First battle of the day. <laughs> hmm. Now I'm gonna level up a conundrum in math ones. Alright. I gotta decide precisely what I want to do. Um. You know what? I'll say. Uh, sure. <laughs> I'll go ahead and just, uh. I will. Oh, I have to grid align myself. Ah, oh, grid align! <laughs> The map is the little me. titan here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is a little crowded in this little right, room. I'll run right up to the two of these dudes. Okay. Um. Hmm. And you know what? Ah, uh, fuck it. Sure. <laughs> um. It is a bit of a waste, but that's okay. We love wasting. Um. <laughs> I will go ahead and um, you'll, you'll see if they've on uh, one of the runes on on their uh, on their back start to shine, particularly one of a of a great uh, frosted mountain. Um, as it kind of uh, glows and you can feel the air freeze around you, and you see uh, their their big old uh, gelatin carapace effectively harden uh, and freeze up as they cast Armor of Agathis on themselves at second level and gain 10 temporary hit points. Ah, oh, so you have plus 10 HP. Awesome. Yes, and plus another 8 from the Arcane Ward. Okay. Right, um, that, uh, other than oh, that... Actually, I should, I should say... Uh, remember that I gotta do this. Peck you is on deck, and then Hayden, mm -hmm. you are on standby. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, wait. I've, I forgot I have to roll initiative. Hmm. Oh. What? All right. I apologize. I'll have to do. I'll have to roll initiative for my familiar after this as well. Oh. oh you're right, okay. right, right, right. Little pet guy. In terms of my bonus action, I have another guy for that one. As um, what ends up happening is um, you see one of the two uh, external brains on on Ribbon's head uh, start to like uh, wiggle around a little bit. Um. And sort of uh, tear itself away as uh, <laughs> one of them kind of popped out and uh, thus spawning in a uh, homunculus servant. Oh, for me. What kind of homunculus action. servant is in Pokemon World? <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> it's like full metal. Double team! <laughs> And now, uh, this thing has a little bit of a, a fun little fly speed, so I will send it... Uh, how high is the ceiling? Mm, I would say it's, uh... This little room is only about 20 feet high, and then this big room is, like, 50 feet high. So the main hallway is a lot bigger, the other rooms are a little smaller. It's like a great entryway right. kind well, of deal. I'll go ahead and send this little dude, um, 20 feet... In uh, straight up. There you go. Whoa. And then he will kind of shift over to the corner here, and he will use, um, with my bonus action, uh, his attack. Uh, a force strike, which is a, I believe, yeah, 30 foot range little thing uh, on Skorupi number one, if that is okay. Okay, on Scorpio number one, and then uh, I know, okay, so all of their armor classes are 12, so do I ask you to roll a d20 to see if it hits or not? Uh, yeah, I have okay. I have to roll to hit plus mm -hmm. my spell attack modifier in this okay. instance. Okay, so roll to see if that hits or not for Scorpio. Um, that is an 18 to hit. That does hit. And that does, um, that will do six force damage. Okay. So if you want, if you want to go ahead and describe the attack, it right. kind of well, you 
you see the little brain uh, as it's kind of like flitting and floating around. Uh, start to turn its, uh, ang- its more angular side towards uh, the first little Skarupi there. As it sort of charges up a little bit and um, fires a small, uh, relatively insubstantial little beam of psychic energy that kind of just te- pokes it in the eye a little bit. Uh, that one was particularly good and gets a little bit messed up by it. Yeah, the scorpion kind of skitters back and it hisses in pain. It's a little claw kind of going up by its eye. It definitely took a, a decent hit of damage from uh, the Reuniculus. So that was that was a very good tech. Good job. And then do you want to do anything else with your turn? Um, that is my action and bonus action, and I don't particularly feel like moving, so that will be All it right. for me. So Hayden, you are up and Amy Hello. is on standby. Um okay, so I'm probably gonna have a decent amount of questions because I That's totally okay. a lot a lot to do as a wizard. Um yeah, don't worry. So is a cantrip just like if I was to use a cantrip right now, would that be like my my main action, right? If it's intended for an action, then yeah, it would be in main action. It okay. should say, uh, I, Peku, do you know if the sheet says if it's a bonus action or action or reaction? As it does, yes. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. wait. Um, when it when I have a resistance to all magic types except fire, that's what I have for this guy. Oh. Um, should I like? It should... All types of magic except what? So that's essentially, a lot of when it's hit. Jesus with a type of magic you will half the damage it takes okay so you yeah had... mm-hmm. okay so you i'm gonna um, uh... though i will say yes if it makes any difference this was not a spell attack this was a uh, okay. attack that did force damage okay I, yep. thank you for clarifying if it resists all, right. all damage except fire then that would apply but if it resists all spell damage except fire it would not I will just leave it then. I just wanted to clarify mm. that. But yeah, spell I, I will say, like, a nice thing a nice thing to keep in mind is, like, I will take Pokemon, like, weaknesses and resistances into effect. And Scorpy is a bug poison type. Oh, hell yeah. Oh. Okay. All right. Okay. Okay. Uh, I think I want to use uh, Firebolt on Scorpy number two. Okay. Mm-hmm. Can you so give me a d20 uh, roll? Uh, is it a d20 or? Yes. Uh, to see if it hits. Oh, okay. Oh, it's okay. Go, go uh, I rolled a two. Ah. Uh, sadly, a little sin. That is not going to hit. So if you want to describe, you missing your little attack. I, uh, I tense up and uh, the the fire on my back starts like pulsing, like pulsing and like glowing brighter and brighter, but um. Since, uh, since, since feeling a little, you know, a little, a little stressed out and, um, slightly worried about bonkers, uh, before firing off, the fireball flinches and, uh, and hits just to the left of the Skorupi. Yeah, so, little Skorupi skitters out of the way, and it kind of glares the fire. It seems to be a little afraid of the fire, it's kind of avoiding it to the side. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Do you want to do any kind of movement or any other extra actions for your turn uh, since your attack missed? Okay, so what extra actions could I do? Like, um, I, I don't, I'm any sure. sort of bonus action cantrip, if you have those. Uh, yeah. Or bonus action spell, if you want to spend it. Is it I think those get does, reset at every long rest, correct? Yeah, yes. they do. Okay. Mm-hmm. How do I know if the spells are bonus action spells? Peku, you use this sheet. How does it work? <laughs> um, where it um correlates to casting time. Uh huh. Um, so like on the uh, spell sheet. Yeah, it will say if it's a bonus action to cast, it will say bonus. I okay. I see. All of them just say like instant or one minute. So I don't think any of these are bonus. Oh, I do not think that was the correct the the thing that I, we were looking at. Okay, so um, I should probably get a better example of this. Okay, I see it is hard to time. get a better. Oh no, no, sorry, sorry. I was lo- yeah, no, no. Yeah, it's casting the time, casting not time duration. Just acting, just act bonus. Yep, uh, yep, yep. Act, act, act. Yeah. Okay. Any cantrip um, that you have that has a bonus action, you can now take. Can I, what, if, what if it's a spell? Can I, that's a bonus. Can I do that? As long uh, as you, you don't can use actually, two yes. like, leveled spells, oh. you can use like two cantrips. 
Or like... But you've already used a cantrip this turn, so the leveled spell. You could fine. use a leveled spell right yep, now. Yep, yep. You can only spend oh. one spell slot a turn. Okay, so I still, I do I? Is it a bonus slot that would uh, be bonus the spell action, that I yeah. use? You use, you can use a slot for your for a bonus action spell. Yes. Yeah, it, okay. spell is but it doesn't have to be a bonus action spell to use it. It uh, does. No, it does. Used your it does. Action. You've used your action to do firebolt. Mm -hmm. um, okay. Now you have a bonus action, and it has to fit within the parameters of that bonus action to use as such. Okay. Uh, I don't think there's anything I can actually do then because uh, the the spells I took with me. Uh, mm. none of them are bonus. Okay. No problem. All right. That is unfortunate. That is unfortunate. You want to move? Yeah. Uh, Anything else you want to do? Nope. Would I Feel be able to, to move questions. over here? Um, you would... Uh, uh let me just see. Uh, oh, uh... You would probably be able to. You'd just be sneaking around me, but you trigger an attack of opportunity. Hated, uh, uh, if they are doing so from that guy. Press, okay. press, either press M or go to the right where it says measure on like the little sidebar. Uh, yeah. And then go at the top of your screen where it says movement. And now when you drag your character, it'll like show. Way. Yeah, it'll show how far you're moving. There you go. Okay, 10 feet. Mm -hmm. It'll give you like a better line. I'd like to, I'd like to move here. Okay. Actually, wait, you're not move leaving its range, so you'd be fine. Yeah. There's yeah. no okay. attack on Totally fine. So wait, is there an attack of opportunity or no? Nope. Uh, uh, there no. would not be. He, okay, he moved into the range, but you have to move out of the range to trigger it. Oh, gotcha. Okay. So uh, or the attack, Scorpies kind of see Hayden scuttle around and take Scorpion, a sorry. different thing. Yeah, so he, they see him, you know, move around and starting to see that they're getting surrounded and they kind of raise their little poison tails. They're kind of getting anxious and scared <laughs> now and upset and angry. They're feeling all kinds of emotions that all these strangers are just in their mm. home, so... With that, uh, just confirming, Hayden, do you want to do anything else, or is that all that you can do? I think that's all I can do. Perfect. All right. We have Amy on deck, and... Guys, uh, why are we fighting? <laughs> <laughs> you kind of hear uh, Bonkers' voice from the other side of the room, and uh, unfortunately, Bonkers is still going to be paralyzed for a turn. Bonkers, just stay put. It's going to be okay. Oh, wow. Gress, just stop talking. <laughs> All right, we have uh, we have the. You rest your muscles. So as the Cyndaquil shouts out to Bonkers to shut up and rest, uh, we have Scorpion <laughs> number three kind of raising its little pincers and its poison tail. It looks like it's getting ready to attack. Jakey, we're gonna have you on standby, and the little Scorpy is going to uh, little Scorpion number three here is kind of gonna. It's gonna. Uh, let's um, see. How do I do the the. Uh, uh, you see the little yeah, measure tool. Do the little triangle. Okay. Yeah. And then at the very top, there's like the walking guy. Okay. Yeah, if you move We're gonna... you can just drag it and shoot and do its... Or the, yeah. We got Scorpy bit. number three. He kind of he kind of can sense that there's a downed character. You know, they can sense that Bonkers is kind of not doing so hot. So they're going to move. How, how often or how much Ooh. can a character move? 30, 30 feet, feet, but okay. that triggers an attack of opportunity from a few of us. From all three, okay. I think. Yep. All yeah. right. Yeah. All of top, us. there's the walking guy instead of the ruler. And if you yeah. use that, move the character. Oh, okay. Yeah, that'll give you oh, an perfect. action. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank yeah. you. Mm -hmm. Okay. But, so, um, Scorpy is going to walk no, don't past worry, let her cook for a second. Ridiculous mm -hmm. and is going to walk past uh, Whooper. Yep. Gold. Okay. And that's all they're going to move because... Uh, they don't want to get three attacks. So, but okay, Rainicus so they and will Booper, get... you do have attacks of opportunity against um, this little Scorpion trying to get so, it for Bonkers, who's down okay. for the count I don't right think now. it would be with Wo I don't think that would be the case with Wooper because it did not move out of his range. Yeah, so oh, okay. just to clarify. He moved yeah. in. Oh, not. okay. Well, then, you know you what? You get I'm here just gonna... without provoking three. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Well, perfect. Then that's where I will go. What? Thank you. Awesome. Mm-hmm. Okay, then I will roll for my attack, All right, which I'll will be this. a fun. Well, I suppose I should like. Uh, oh shit! Ow! <laughs> Eight. Eight. Okay, that does not hit, sadly. Oh, uh, that's terrible. Okay. Rolling for mine, I believe. I forgot it's, it's a an arm that I do not remember how much I had to that for this particular character. Uh, I believe that is going to be a 13 to hit. 
does hit. Does hit. Beautiful. So as it as it walks by, uh, I'm gonna swing out my tail uh, and and catch it as it's running. Uh, how did you? What is the unarmed attack in, uh, oh, there's, uh, unarmed attack, do, 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 1d4 plus 2. Okay, gotcha. so that is so, 6 points. Well, uh, 1d4, so I'm rolling that part. So, oh, 5 oh, damage. Okay. 5 damage, okay, thank you. So, the, the tail of the whooper slam attack, if you will, kind of catches it in its side, and it, it gives a little, little screech <laughs> of pain, but it's still kind of, yeah. it's still up and out of it. So, yeah. it, it was a little bit of damage, but it's still got quite a bit of uh, spunk left in it, and it's still got its eyes, its little beady eyes set on bonkers, mm -hmm. you know? Um, and with that, that's going to be the end of the Scorpy's turn. We have Jakey on deck, and we have uh, the next Scorpy around standby. Dan, you're like the last one to move. So no you get a problem. Bit you no problem. <laughs> okay, so Jakey, you're up. Oh, okay. Uh, sorry, my setup is doing weird stuff. Yeah. Uh, no, it's, like everything, just like everybody, just like attacking and stuff. It's just like, oh, hey, 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 whoa, 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 why, why are we fighting? And so. First thing I'm gonna do is, let's, if I can, I'm gonna, it's gonna let me move. I'm gonna try to get in between the two of these guys, and Sylveon's kind of just like, just like send out its feelers and just like touch both Ribbon and Lewis on both sides. Like, calm down, everybody, and it's gonna create like a, a resa like an effect that goes. 20 feet in a radius so so it'll it'll essentially affect everyone but bonkers except bonkers yeah. except everybody except bonkers as okay. you're gonna try to just calm everybody down so everybody needs to make a charisma saving throw okay. how do i do that nine roll a d20 uh roll a d20 okay. and add your charisma saving throw uh modifier I got a soft 20. I got a nat uh, okay. 20. Ooh. Oh my um, god. On, on like all of them or? Uh, so what's my Christmas saving for? How do I Rolling collectively for them? I'm rolling collectively for them. God. Okay, so then yeah, they all succeed. I think I'm the okay. only one that fails. I got a 19. Yeah, so, yeah. Uh, that means that your ribbon attack of like trying to calm everybody down, these Scorpio are pissed and they're like out yes. for, they're out for like getting rid of these intruders who have invaded. Oh. And I don't think uh, persuasion is going to be enough to get them to stop. You kind of have to use force to subdue them. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Everybody <laughs> calm down. No. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> I don't know about this guy. I'm feeling real tall. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, <laughs> so cool. I'm just going to end my turn there. All right, that sounds good. So then, uh, you know, the 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 ribbons had come out, and there was like an attempt at like being friendly and nice, but Scorpy number two kind of was like, like a, a little a little upset that you were like, you know, trying to end things calmly. So it's gonna come and attack you. Uh, so I, I'm going to roll for an attack move, a little poison sting attack. You know, poison beats a fairy, and I rolled a three, so that is probably not going to hit. <laughs> That's not hit. So the poison stain kind of come out from its little tail, choo, 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 and it attempts to, to smack into the Sylveon's body, but, uh, you know, gracefully, Quill is able to leap away, and the attack misses. And uh, let's see what if I can playing do... that? <laughs> it kind of hisses in, in response. <laughs> I want peace! <laughs> Get stabbed! Um, <laughs> so that was... Uh... Oh, wait... Hang on. So I wanted to do like melee weapon attack. It says plus seven to hit. Um, was I so I rolled a three? Does it? It has to depend on what Jakey's armor class is, right? Yeah, it does. Uh, okay. Yeah, yeah, my yeah, and it's it's very obviously it's not gonna hit at that okay. low. Thing, okay, perfect, so. perfect. Okay, so that Scorpy kind of like you know is still now that its poison sting attack missed but uh dan you're going to be on deck because scorpy number one is going to start moving and then after he's done you'll be okay. ready to go but scorpy number one also is pissed that uh there was an attempt at peaceful resolve so it also is going to kind of scuttle over uh, and it can uh kinda hit are in you the... able to move through me? oh wait no i think you guys have it blocked off never mind uh scorpy Clogged. number one is gonna 
is uh, kind of afraid of the little fire guy here. You know, fire is, you know, a big weakness. Uh -huh. So it's going to turn and face uh, Sin directly. And, like, it's going to growl. And we are going to roll a d20 to see if we can hit with... Um, let's see. I have to get so many tabs open. Hold on one sec. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. So we're going to go for a... Uh, Just a regular uh, poison sting attack as well on it. So let's see what I roll. I rolled a 19. I so would like to own. enact portent. <laughs> that means, okay, so at the start of the day, I get to do two d20 rolls and I foresee the future. I would Ooh. like to change that roll to a two. Ooh. Yeah! <laughs> okay. so, so, you know. <laughs> I can see the future. Sin sees the future and the little scorpy, they can kind of see like, you know, a couple seconds in, they see that a poison sting attack is coming. They can see the tail being like shaking, you know, it's getting ready to attack and it tumble dodges out of the way as poison stings come down and sink into the, the bricks and then dissolve because the attack misses and then the scorpy kind of like hisses in anger because all these people are, they're just not getting hit with their poison stings. Like, <laughs> stay still. <laughs> so that's going to end the scorpy's turn. And then it's we totally, have- That was totally a waste, but I just wanted to use it. Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> okay. no, that's oh, awesome. I forgot. Hayden, you have, you have your kings. Remember you guys have your items, your held items. items so yes. yeah, yeah, every yeah, time yeah. you attack mm -hmm. and hit, Every time you attack and hit, you have to roll your d20 to see if you get a 19 or 20 and flinch. And then they skip a turn uh, as a reminder for Hayden's item. I believe it was sure. just a, if you roll with the attack roll and it gets a nat 19 or 20. Oh, okay. Yes, nat 19 or 20 yep, yep, uh, with yep. uh, King's Rock is a flinch. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. So now we have Dan on deck and Pekyu on standby. I gotta remember I have to add plus three to all my damage because of the uh, Mystic Water I'm holding <laughs> I... there. Uh, oh, there you go. I was gonna say. All right. right. Oh, yeah, so. Okay. I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna step over here and say, now where are you going? And uh, come here, boy. Come here for a second. <laughs> and as as Wooper moves ten feet over or like five feet over, uh, the line of rocks moving south start to rise up as little water jets push up from below them, and Whoa. the bricks start to form around the sides of of our weep, of our Wooper friend as water holds them in place as two giant sets of arms appear, uh, formed of brick and mud and water, uh, as I pop the arms of the astral self on my monk here. Uh, oh yeah, Pekka, you called it. Uh, so, as, when, when I do this, as these, as these bricks and water uh, emerge from the ground, they strike at both of the Skorupi uh, to the north and south here. Um, so that is going to be, I believe, a... Doo -doo 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 -doo. You will be making a dexterity saving throw for number two and three, if you wouldn't mind. Okay, so I uh, I have to... So it says dex eight for this guy, so I have to roll eight or higher. No, so... Uh, I don't roll... know, it's based off of their save DC. Yes, you will have a dexterity or... save specifically as a category on your sheet somewhere. Yeah. Uh, so you roll a d20 it. and add your dexterity save. Correct. And then I have the number that you were trying to beat. You're trying to beat a 16. Okay. So let's see. I rolled a four plus eight minus one is 11. Okay. So those both are going to hit because I'm rolling collectively. Beautiful. Two fails. Uh, so now <laughs> uh, you take two rolls of my martial arts die. That's going to be a three and a two. They both take five damage. All right. So the Scorpy, you know... Uh, the water hands are coming out and they both kind of catch it in the side and they, they take a fair amount of damage so good hit uh scorpion number two is kind of kind of halfway looking to pass out right now gotcha 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 okay well that was my bonus action uh so now i'm gonna take my my main action here um i will i i'm gonna prioritize my, my friend down here so i'm gonna step away from scorpion number two uh if you want they can take a uh, attack of opportunity against me Okay, so I rolled a d20 for that. Yep. Right? Okay. Yep, roll d20. So Scorpion number two, they kind of they kind of see that you're trying to get away. They'll take a swipe at you with the claws. I have rolled an 18. Uh, that will hit me. Okay, and then uh, this is where I would do... Uh, if I'm just doing a slam melee attack with trying to, like, get you with their, with their pinchers, like a scratch attack. Uh, it says 3d8 plus 2. So I roll my D8. Oh my I god! Guess. What the hell? These guys are crazy. That was a scary attack. What the hell? Or maybe wait—is <laughs> oh wait attack? Maybe that's just the regular attack, or what is it? 
How how should attack you, of opportunity you, work? Oof. You make looking. one normal melee attack. If it's doing that much oh, damage, then that's so then the, be the amount you plus, do. Yeah. Plus seven to hit. So that's what yeah. it says I have written right here. So okay. I guess I do seven damage points against you, right? Uh, no, it, that that's like that's what you add to your d20 modifier when you roll to hit. Pretty much what we're saying and is... And then you if, roll the damage after. Which yeah. Is the, you said the damage was 3d8 plus 2, right? That's what I have written down. I kind of copy most okay. some things. Yeah. <laughs> no, that's, um, that I just... Can, like, that, that is a perfectly fine amount of damage to do, but it does completely recontextualize how strong these guys are. Because <laughs> I am then now I will, scared of three will, of them. <laughs> I will, no, I, will, I can adjust. I'll just do 1d8. No, it's, yeah. it's, it's, I, it's I, I'm it's fine to take it. I was going to say, I, yeah, keep, keep going with what you have. It just a means power, we're scary. at a power level, like, we can still handle this. Oh, oh, absolutely. This is not, like, unreason an unreasonable they threat. They don't have a lot of HP. No problem, no problem. Then, yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right, so I've rolled the 18. Okay. I'm just trying to. I'm just trying to gather my thoughts here. So they rolled the 18. Uh, it says plus seven to hit. Uh, so now I roll three d8. Correct. Correct. Okay. 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 Three yep. d8 plus two. Okay. Also, is this a? You said they are like stinging. Is this like an acid kind of attack, like a poison attack? Uh, I was gonna go for like a big slash attack, and maybe it'll. It's gonna get like a critical hit, maybe. Ooh. You know, with, depending on how much damage it does. Uh oh, so. I was hoping to resist that if it was poison damage. All right, play <laughs> <Yeah>. it out. <laughs> they're going. They're going. They're slashing at you with the claws. So we got a seven. We've got a four. That's eleven. And then we got. Uh, I believe. I believe that's a, yeah. That's a six. So. Uh, Seventeen. Seventeen. Okay, I'm it just hits. about halfway dead. Okay, uh, so the, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna call that a critical hit, you know. Oh my God. Are you doubling the dice? So, it, no, she's oh, just no. calling it the, for oh, oh, it oh, okay. No, oh, for, for oh, no, I was like, was oh, a, oh, I'm gonna die. Uh, <laughs> okay, no, okay. No, no, no. Maybe it, I should have saved the portent. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh, we're dying. Yeah, this was a terrible, I should not have moved five feet away from this thing. So the scorpion <laughs> kind of screeches out and it raises its claw. You know, uh, special hidden ability sniper Pokemon have abilities. You know, critical hit, it kind of catches the whooper in his back. Shh, it's gonna hurt. You got some ah! of hit damage. No. Uh, and then the Scorpy kind of settles back and is kind of in his battle stance, ready to nag anybody who tries to walk past it again. Maybe you don't try and do attack of opportunity against these guys because, like I said, they hit hard, but they are yeah. they are a little fragile. So Understood. That, said, um, that is its one attack of opportunity for sure. No, oh, that's one reaction. Yeah. All right. So, Dan, are you done with your turn? No, I have not attacked yet. Uh, oh, okay, perfect. So, uh, no. <laughs> I have done a bonus action. I've moved. Uh, okay. I am going to now go down to number three. I have to take that nasty scrape in the back here. Uh, with my giant brick, watery mud arms, I'm going to pop right into number three there with a nice, strong punch. Uh, All right. And that is going to be, let me roll a 20. Uh, bu 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 I believe that's gonna be a 16. That is gonna hit. Beautiful. Uh, see, I believe I only roll a 1d4 right now. Damage. Okay. Uh, so that is going to be to do five plus the three for eight damage. Eight damage on number three, correct? Eight damage on number three. Okay. So uh, you you said uh, describe what your attack was again. So these two giant stone arms reach up and just pop it right in the head as it's running away from me. Okay, so it goes, doo -doo. got a pretty heavy hit with the stone. You know, bug types aren't really good with the rock typing. Mm -hmm. And it kind of is like staggering around. It's a little over halfway to look like being knocked out right now. So that was a that was a pretty effective move on your end. So good job there, Wooper. Excellent. Um, but it's, it's still got a little bit of life left in it. But right now, um, the, the Scorpi have definitely taken some damage. So oh, that is something to, to keep in mind. I'm gonna so would you like to do anything else? Yes, I'm going to spend a key point. And I'm going to do flurry cool. of blows here. So okay. after the first Ooh. rock hit hits, uh, two more attacks I are going to come in on pain. it. Isn't that a bonus action? It's uh, a bonus action to flurry of blows. use that for the astral <laughs> arms. Ah, I see, I see. Nope, good call. Correct. Uh, so that is movement, action, and bonus action. That is all. All right. Cool. So... That is going to be the end of Dan's turn. We have yep. Peck you on deck and Hayden on standby. All right. These things are fucking terrifying. That's great. Um, hmm. Okay. Well, 
given what I have just witnessed and assessing the overall threat level. Hmm. Yeah, we'll go ahead and and uh, slip on over to individual number one mm -hmm. here. I'll have my little homunculus uh, fly. We'll say right back here, still in 20 feet in the air. And bonus action, I'll attack number two uh, with my little homunculus man. Okay. Ew. Yeah, D20 roll. Um, let me check my modifier. I believe that does not hit, though. That looks like a hot 11. Ooh, I Actually, barely... wait, wait a minute. I'm stupid. It's a 12. Oh, that <laughs> just hits. That just hits. I, d I did not think I had plus 7 to hit. Oops. Oh, wow. Okay, yeah, that just hits. Scorpion number 2. All right. Well, that's going to do a hot 3 damage. Okay, yeah. so... The little, the little guy kind of crashes into the scorpion, and he kind of lets out a little screech of pain. It did, a, it did a little bit of damage, but now he's he he's also kind of looking like scorpion number three. They're kind of wavering a little on their little claws, but they they still got a little bit of fight left in them. But you guys you guys are wearing them down pretty good. All right, and for my action, um, Kribon is going to kind of. Clench that fist that uh, previously he used to inscribe that rune a little bit, and there's going to be a little bit of psychic and a little bit of uh, almost thunderous energy that starts to sort of coagulate within it as he just kind of rolls up to score up number one and fucking swings um, and uses a thunder gauntlet booming blade. Okay. Uh, which will be a 19 to hit. That is gonna hit, yes. Okay. And now I need 2d8. Okay. Uh, alright, that is... Uh, uh, 8 plus... That is 12 points of thunder damage into number 1. Into number 1? Um, okay. Yeah. Wait, I and thought now, you were number two. Oh, no, the little oh, guy no. hit number two. You're hitting number Yeah, the little guy hit number two. I'm hitting number one. All and right. now, uh, just for the sake of, like, uh, noting it, he, is, he doesn't actually have this condition. Uh, now, at this point, if he is to move, um, he will take another 2d8 thunder damage because he's got booming bladed. Mm -hmm. Okay, so he did and 12 lastly, plus 8, or...? I, uh, no. No, I, d I did 12 damage now. Okay. And then if he is to move after this point voluntarily on his turn, he'll take another 2d8 damage. Okay, and perfect. with the Thunder Gauntlets, with the power of the Artificer, um, he will now have disadvantage on attacking any target except me. Ah, that's interesting. All right, wonderful. So and with you... that, I will move another five feet. <laughs> okay. Um, move you, you over. Wait, so I do I have an attack of opportunity if you're moving five feet back? If you want to, sure. But if I do the attack of opportunity, then I have a D eight, right? Or uh, you would it would be a D you you would roll a D twenty to hit. Um, no, it's it's not the booming blade would not activate unless you moved. Okay, well, like you use movement. You know, you kind of gave an, an attack would not do. <laughs> okay, so you kind of gave a heavy hit to the scorpion. He's kind of. On his last leg here, he's got probably a little bit of consciousness left in his little blue eyes. But as uh, the Rainiculus backs away, floats away uh, across the temple floor, it is going to do an attack of opportunity. Oh, it only rolled a five. So it kind of just, in it's like half conscious mind. It kind of tries to fire yet another poison sting out. But it kind of, it got a, uh, was a little weak on the weak side. So it kind of didn't make it all the way to where the Rainiculus is. So it missed. Understood. Well, that will about like... end my turn. That'll end your turn. All right. Hayden, you are on deck. Amy, you are on standby. Hello, I would like to do Firebolt once more. <laughs> mm. oh, I one? will note. Scorpy? I will note. Um, that attack will be at disadvantage on the, the guy that's in front of you. The Firebolt? It is, yeah, because it's within five feet. You do have another cantrip called Green Flame Blade and the Dagger, which would allow you to hit it in melee. Uh, without disadvantage. Because fireball is like basically a ranged attack, so doing it right oh, next to it is yes. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Okay. 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 I'm following. I'm following. Mm. Uh, yeah. 
green flame blade then. Mm -hmm. Go for it. <laughs> Okay. Bro pulls so, out a knife. <laughs> a fire knife. Uh, so what do you have there? No. <laughs> I'm out of spells, but I'm not out yes. of options. <laughs> uh, that is a 13. That just barely hits. Okay. Um, then I and I put what you roll for damage into the thing. So it says on hit, target is affected, plus zero, and then D8. And it then... Is... Oh. And then okay. at, like, at fifth, plus one D8 to initial uh, secondary I believe... damage. I, uh, if you could look at your, your character sheet for a moment. Yeah. Um, if you go to like the front page with like the uh -huh. weapon and spell stuff. Yeah. Uh, I, I I think I put like the dagger plus screen flame blade in there for you. So yeah, and it says like plus to go. six, and then it says one d four plus one d eight plus three. Yep, that'll so be I what roll you roll. So I roll a d four and a d eight. Yep. Okay, okay, okay. In but he is level five. Does that affect it at all? Uh, yeah, it, that's it what works, adds the yeah. d eight to fire oh, damage. Got it. Yeah, yeah, Never mind. All good. Okay, so d four, uh, d eight. That's a d6, oops. Uh, okay, so that is... Mm, that, I can't count, that's 10. 10. Yeah. 10. 10 hit points? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Uh, plus three, sorry, no, plus three. Uh, 13. 13. 13. All yeah. right. Hayden, describe your fire attack, because you are about to barbecue this little, little guy. Okay, so I, into... I, 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 I reach into, uh, I, I, I take my little paw and I reach into the flame on my back and I, I pull, like, I, like I conjure a sword from the flames on my back. Um, and as, as, as I'm holding the sword, I just thrust it straight into the Skaroopy. <laughs> it kind of catches fire as the fire sword pierces through and you can see the light fade from its eyes and it fall. It's uh, no one dies here because it's Pokemon. Nothing ever dies here, but uh, yeah. it is going to fall unconscious. So I'm going to just gonna... <laughs> or, actually can give I it, give it a spin. Oh, yep. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So Scorpion awesome. number one is gone. So now you just have two and three left. Good Let's job. Go. Let's go. The baby committed murder. <laughs> nice job. And Not then I guess unconscious. I would like to move uh, like here. Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah, yeah. I'd like to move uh behind tranquility. Okay. And then will that be the end of your turn? That will be the end of my turn. Perfect. Amy, you are on deck, and Yippee. we'll have the next Scorpy, and then Jakey, you'll be after that Scorpy. But Amy, Bonkers yes. is kind of hearing the the sounds of the battle uh. go on. You know the echoes of of uh, punches being thrown and like he feels the heat of fire being mm. blasted by by sin and uh, the paralysis is finally wearing off after after a little bit of time mm. okay so uh as one question how healthy is this scaroopy looking uh number three like is it looking like it's about to die it's a little over halfway to dying okay so yeah, let's, you know what? Let's find out. I'm gonna run up with this thing and just swinging my like hammer in like my arm. I'm just gonna swing it a couple times and whack this thing into the side <laughs> with a gigaton hammer. Let's go. Wait, so... Which one? Two or three? Three. three? Uh, one three. More. She's next okay. to right now. So this will be a um, ooh, 18 to hit. That does hit. So, with the Gigaton Hammer, it's actually going to be a Divine Smite, which will do um, uh, and 12, um, 16 damage into this thing. All right. I want you to describe how this thing is going to get knocked unconscious. Ooh, hell yeah. Amazing. So, like I said, uh, the hammer is being spun a couple times and it's being whacked into the side and it is being launched into this wall on this side. <laughs> <laughs> that rules. It falls into the sand just outside the temple and its eyes fade. It is like and launched and there's like almost like the Team Rocket little sparkle as it goes. <laughs> <laughs> Blasting off again. Mm -hmm. Amazing. Okay. Okay. So that would be five feet of movement. And you know what? 
I'm gonna run up to this guy and hit this one as well. Let's go. Oh my gosh. All right. Go. So go. this one go will ahead. not be a gigaton hammer because I can only do that once every other turn. And that will be a um, 13 to hit. That barely hits. With 11 damage. <laughs> Mm -hmm. All right. So as the hammer, uh, you, you're just like doing a regular hammer attack on this yes. guy. As the hammer comes swinging down, you know, they see this little pink ball of energy. <laughs> <laughs> yes, exactly, the exactly. the hammer slams right into the scorpion. It kind of takes it to the gut and it's like staggering, toppling on its little claws. <laughs> it is literally on its last Breath. Excellent. Mm -hmm. Barely mm -hmm. survived that one. Is it? Is it? It's, it's turn now. <laughs> uh, it is its turn. Uh, no. Uh, it's Jakey's turn because number three died. So oh, oh the yeah. Deck, and then it would be the, uh, the, the last scorpion, then Dan. So Jakey, you are actually up in the order. All of the right. Game. Seeing seeing this guy get taken out and also the other guy get <laughs> flung into the fire. No longer here. <laughs> Uh, he's gonna look at the scorpion. He's like, didn't want to have to do this, but you need to stay away from our group, and I need to make a wisdom saving throw. Cab. What? Wait. Wait. So I I do that? Yes. Yeah. Yes, you gotta yes, make, make a wisdom, a wisdom oh, saving okay. throw. Yes. So my on uh, my thing, it's like ten. So I have to roll at least a ten. No. Uh, so you, you that's roll that's what you add. add it's a wisdom, wisdom modifier. Yeah. Yes. Uh, that is a twelve. That misses. So does not save. Rather. You're going to take. Ooh, that's pretty good. You're going. It's going to take twelve points of psychic damage. Ooh. I, I guess I should start. Does that? Does that? Is that enough to drain it? Or how do you want to end? This? Hey. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yep. So. So yeah. I just. They just look at it as like, you need to stay away from us and just reaches into their mind to directly attack it and just absolutely just pierce its mind. So. <laughs> All right, then. <laughs> All right. <laughs> and that's how you do it. Yeah. I hate Risto having to resort to force like that, but they did All not right. want to calm down. All that right. was awesome. You guys are great. <laughs> Great job. That was a great first battle, but that yeah, that is the end of the battle. Good job taking up the scorpion. They did hit hard, but they were they were pretty Yippee! frail. They're little yeah. bugs. Yippee! You, you, need you, mind, Lewis? You, you need a little something. Oh, Chris, are you good? Uh, yeah, That's I could use a little bit. I can taste my mouth again. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, me at all. Oh, I can't believe you have arms. Why have I never seen that before? Don't worry. <laughs> I only use them every so often here. When they're needed. We've been together for so long. You know, I I usually I I usually do it while you're, while people are like not looking, uh, but like you know we had our down friend over there. And I, I wasn't letting about to jump on him. Thank you for oh, taking care of him. Cool. By the way. Uh, yeah, it was I awesome. Gotta... I didn't know I could do that. <laughs> what, what do you know? Sure. Yeah, it just. Yeah. I mean, they seem pretty strong with the way they hit you, but uh, that one also kind of exploded when I hit it, so. Yeah, they seem pretty weak once they uh, miss you, but uh, hey, yeah. the scars <laughs> make a mod. You have a fucking hammer. Of course it exploded. <laughs> yeah, I know. I read it. <laughs> so uh, were you, uh, Jakey, were you healing healing me up? Yeah, yeah. I was going to pop up. I was going to give you a healing word, so that's going to be, it's not much, but it's uh, seven points of healing. Much you also have a citrus berry. I know, but I don't want to use it now. Okay. Yeah. okay. Thank you, God. So I appreciate cool. it. <laughs> I want to be like cold one day. <sighs> don't worry, kid. You will. With the way oh, you stabbed wow. that guy up there, I think you're well on your way. You give me it. With my big rock wet mud arm, I give you a little pat on the head. Careful of your fire there. <laughs> wow. <laughs> yeah, you would be great. Pause. It's like super funny to hear Hayden speak like this because he's got like the little blush. He's like, oh, yeah, yeah, so yeah. Cool. I was thinking that. It's so good. He's like, <laughs> got like the perfect. You are like nailing this, Hayden. Like, I love it. I love it so much. I gotta give you props. He's a it's dumb like, little kid. He looks up to this guy. <laughs> he really is looking up. I love it. I love it so much. All right. All right. Now, I guess onwards and upwards here. Motor Explorer. Motor Explorer. On to the next room. Let's just be careful. 
Hopefully there's no more, uh, no more Scorpy lying around. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Is, are, you, are you going in there? Yes, we are. Oh, yeah. Okay, okay. Focus! <laughs> okay, all right. So uh, you're you're entering into this hallway now. Um, yeah. I'm gonna uh, really quickly just light my back up a bit more so that um, <laughs> that tranquility you can see mm -hmm. ahead. Okay. Yeah, I have dark vision, but yeah. Oh wait, who who does oh, dark vision? Oh, Mark is the only one without dark vision. <laughs> Mark, and of course, the one that's running. <laughs> all right. So I'll I'll. I'll oh, hey there. Oh, uh, that's that's it's, 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 that's a statue. That's a statue because I. Uh, ah. Um, <laughs> So, Jesus uh, Christ! You guys, so, I'm where, out of here. Yeah, just let, let, <laughs> where are you guys gonna head next or investigate uh, next? What do you, What do you want to do? You want to go? Over, you want to go in that little corridor there? Well, Bonkers, don't worry, please. Pixie. Paul is just taking the initiative. The rest of us can. <laughs> what? Say it again. Bonkers is already down in the south there. Bonkers. Okay. All right. Well. How bonkers. are you still alive at this point? How did we make it to gold? <laughs> All right, I uh, from the group. I need a decision I, on it. Uh, going down. Go I run with Bonkers. Yeah, we're going down because Bonkers okay. keeps running. All right, yeah, so down. Bonkers, Bonkers, and yeah. uh, Sin, you're gonna go down this little corridor here, yeah. um, yeah. and then are you? Uh, you guys are gonna hang on. I gotta, I gotta find my notes here. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Hang on. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, okay. Uh, How do you die? Let's. Oh, let's see. No, it wasn't page two. <laughs> No, page two is a falling rock. Oh, page three, the, the, okay, the trap so hole. This is just for, for these two. Uh, I'm going to have you guys move down kind of like uh, right around here. Because you guys are... Bonkers is running in and you're just trying to provide light. I'm trying to provide um, light and also make sure that they don't die. Yeah, yeah so um, right now, as of this moment, um, we are going to have... Oh, whoops, I'm probably Whoa. not doing a this right. A black hole! Run! <laughs> no, <laughs> hang on, hang on. <laughs> Whoa, a um, black hole, it's pretty strong. Um, <laughs> yeah. I'm trying to, I'm trying to move it. It's just not working. Hang on. Uh, I can take uh, it. Can I grab. Oh, there we go. Okay. I'm universe buster. So, okay, so as as bonkers and... um, Hang on one sec. I gotta, I gotta do something real quick here. Skitter noises. <laughs> I'm sure we're As very this safe is and fine. Okay, so uh, you run to the you run to the end of the hall, and it is it's a it's a pretty long hallway, so long that you no longer can see the back entryway. <laughs> um, you no longer can see back, and right now you can't hear uh, Whooper, Ranunculus, or Sylveon. Um, oh, you done so fucked us this time. It's, it's just it's just you two, but um, along one of the walls, uh, there is a little bit of uh, writing there. Uh, it's a little bit dusty, so I'm gonna need you both to give me an investigation check. Roll a d20. Oh, for me. you got it. 20? Mm -hmm. Yes, both of you. 10. Also, I'm guessing we don't <laughs> oh, see them 20. at this point. Let's no. go! Let's go! Let's go! Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. That's awesome. Um, so the rest of the, it's oh, right now we're just focusing on these two because they're in a super yeah. long hallway. Um, yeah, no you guys can't hear them. Um, it just looks like they went down a long hallway and haven't come back, but. Uh, when you when you look here, you see a little bit of writing, but behind you, all of a sudden, there's a wall there. Like it's like a small room now. Um, I can't read what. So on this on this little inscription, you can see, "Keep your eye here, and you may escape." So right now, it appears that you're in a room, and there's a wall behind you, kind of right here. I don't know if that Blech. did I. Uh, oh yeah, here. So there's a wall, like a, a wall here. So it looks like you you run down this long hallway for like a minute or two, mm -hmm. approach this dead end. Mm -hmm. Okay. You can see, keep your eye here, and you may escape. They just think you've gone down like this black endless mm -hmm. hallway, and they're kind of just like, okay, well now we're just kind of waiting for you. Uh -huh. There's there's another wall here, so it appears that it appears huh. you've been trapped, but maybe what uh, uh, Sin has read, it, you can share. That maybe wall that'll wasn't be the there before, too. right? Yes, another no, uh, the, I'm just stare at it so it goes away. <laughs> um, Pixie, what did you say? Move. <laughs> okay, so going. on on this wall right here, there was an inscription that only Sin could read. It said, "Keep your eye here, and you may escape." Okay, Move. bonkers. Uh, you, you, first of all, you're an idiot. Uh, no. Second of all, look at the wall. <laughs> Apparently, if we look here, we we can huh? we can get out of here. I can't read this. I, I, I did, you don't need to. I read it. Just look, look at this wall right here. Okay. Okay. 
And as you guys are standing still, nothing happens. And if you if you look behind you, the wall the like the wall blocking you in is still there. So this isn't you... doing anything. Oh, uh, I'm dude. I'm just reading the the, the thing. I, I don't. With... Can I try I, and push I... the wall? <laughs> Uh, I'm gonna try pushing the wall. Okay. Uh, pushing the wall does nothing. So it says, so it said, keep the wall, keep, keep your, what did keep it say? Your, keep your keep, gaze here. Keep your gaze here, and you may escape. But standing uh, still was doing oh, nothing for oh, you guys. So, uh, Bonkers, what if we just, what if we stare at the wall and walk uh -huh. backwards? What if we trip over something? That's, 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 that's skill issue, I guess. <laughs> Uh, okay, okay, I'm gonna watch it. You go. Okay. Uh, In the meantime, I kind of just I, I turned Hayden, to. Hayden, are you uh, are you also looking at this? Yeah, I'm looking back, and, and okay. uh, I'm looking. I'm and, slowly backing up while staring at the okay. wall. Okay. Okay. So as you're slowly backing up, the rest of the group can see you like walking, waddling. You know, ah, there you are. The fire on your back. Uh, you can oh. slowly walking out, and you're back in the main hallway. Where's Bonkers? Oh, wow. Still stuck there. Okay, so Bonkers is an idiot and got us trapped somehow. Uh, okay. Well, you don't look trapped to me. What do you, what do you mean by that? Uh, so, uh, I don't really know how, but the, we went down a hallway and then a wall appeared, but if I looked at a wall, then the wall wasn't there. I, 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 don't, I don't get it, really. We didn't see a wall. Did you see a wall, Lewis? I, I didn't see anything. You have to trust me. It was there. Yeah. I'm going to look down the hallway. Do I actually see Bonkers at the end? No, you uh, don't see. It's like it like oh. fades off into the dark. Uh. So you 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 guys think you guys think it's just like one long endless hallway and they they don't they they didn't see the wall that appeared. Boggers, so I, I, I stare at the wall. Staring, the... staring at like the thing. I'm gonna be like, okay, uh, Dan, I don't think. Where? Why the wall? Where'd you go? Bonkers, so you, yeah. you saw, you stare at the wall things. and then back up. No, he can't. He, bonkers can't hear you. So bonkers, I know, but I'm shouting like, regardless. Uh, <laughs> just like shouting as if it could help. Oh, okay, I don't know. Okay, okay, yeah. <laughs> So bonkers, you. The last thing you saw was uh, little Cyndaquil waddling backwards. Mm -hmm. Um, but you kept your gaze at the wall, and uh, Sin kept their gaze at the wall. Can, so can you Sin could go back in? You could. Okay, I'm gonna go back in. I'm gonna follow. Okay, Sin, Sin, uh, oh, oh, okay. okay. Bo bonkers, just, <laughs> just, 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 oh, just keep so looking cool. at this wall. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna oh, drag you, okay? You go? Gold, help me out here. Just, 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 just keep looking at the wall, Bonkers. We're gonna drag you out. But keep, athletics... just keep looking this way. I need an athletics check. Come on. Athletics check. Athletics check, please. <laughs> hey, just, just be careful, everyone. Okay. How do I do an athletics check? Is that just a D20? Just... D20. D20 plus athletics modifier. Oh, Jesus Christ. Uh, <laughs> fun, that's, that's four <laughs> minus one, so that's a three for me. Okay, so. Bonkers is just like eh, happily staring at the wall, and you're like, eh, uh, eh, uh, you freaking your, your right. hammer so, uh, I just back so up, heavy. back up with me now, Bonkers. Okay. Uh, okay. Okay. Just keep keep looking there. There you go. There you go, uh, champ. I feel oh, like wait. I'm gonna trip over something. Uh, just keep looking. Uh, All right. Just, just, idiot. Uh, uh, you stupid idiot. You're my what friend, but god damn, you're an idiot. What does mean? Yeah, I'm so <laughs> sorry. You know what? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You're right. What are those that language on Brody.com? Uh, Sin, like, crawls up the, um, the hammer and, uh, just <laughs> gives, uh, bonkers poppy dog eyes. Aww. I didn't mean it. I think you're really <laughs> cool. Uh, all right. Uh -huh. Nice job. You guys got, you guys, you guys got through that gold. little puzzle. Good job. Good job. Good job. <laughs> well, we didn't really get uh, anything then, out of it. It was more of a trap guys, than anything. Also, when you guys like walked up here, there wasn't really anything there. So yep. that was just like kind of an empty space there. Well, there is this giant statue over here. Can I turn around? <laughs> yeah, you can turn around now. Don't worry. But, okay. Hi. Wow. And where yeah, did I, I go? <laughs> you, 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 you escaped. Don't worry. We made it out. Please stop running places. You're, sca you're scaring me. Why? Because you're going to die eventually. Why? I, I, you know what? Yeah, let's just go over here. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, over okay. here. Ah, you're grabbing me. You're grabbing me. Let me go. <laughs> I'm sorry. 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 <laughs> I was there. So all, uh, all you guys can see up front face value is just this uh, grand statue. It kind of reminds you of the statue oh. you saw outside. 
Well, it kind of um, reminds me of the statue I saw outside. It does. <laughs> I think the same thing, oddly. Yeah. Take You're a so seat cool. on top of it, and I start looking for runes around. Is that an Espeon? I don't know. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's my cousin. And Lord oh. Lord. oh, you know this one? You're related to them. Uh, well, I don't know the specific one, but like, I, 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 I'm aware oh, of it. Oh, you're so cool, Tranquility. Uh, you know everyone. I don't, I don't know anyone. Do you know what their you're name was? Sociable. What's that over there? Whoa. Over where? No, I'm just emulating. Oh, uh, sitting oh, okay, there. Okay, okay, okay. Do you know the name of this Espion or is it. Uh, I'm not. Ridon, 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 you know? You know? No. No. <laughs> no. Oh, you're no. so smart. <laughs> well. I mean, this plan is Portman of the Santor. Evolves with the sun. We might need to use fire again. I mean, I am going to wonder. Uh, I, I see darkness up <laughs> up north. Uh, I'm, I'm going to explore Not the room cool a little one. bit here while, while they're I'm looking at the statue. I'm looking around well. the statue. Yeah, yeah. Bon, the stays, statue. Stay safe, please. I, I, I'll, watch I'll watch my hair. All right. I investigate Thank the you. darkness. Oh, so, you, so, you, so you, you come up this way and you see two little treasure chests there. Yeah, this is what I'm talking about. I'm gonna flip the first one open Whoa, with reckless abandon. Treasure. All right. Uh, let's see here. You wanna flip that one open? Uh, far left. The far dude, left one. Uh, the team's gonna be so proud of us. This is what it's uh, about. Uh, Find something good uh, over there? Maybe. I don't know. I'm still opening it up. Yeah, <laughs> don't it's, rush it's me. It's a little. It's a little rusted shut with time. It's a delicate procedure, um, tranquilly. Come on. Use my, okay. my yeah. one of my giant like stone arms, like kind of like lifted open, like. I need a, um. Is there? A, is there like actually? Hang on, let me look at my list here. If you're uh, looking to uh, open a chest like delicately or unlock it, it would be a sleight of hand. If you're looking to force it open, it would be athletics. But because. Uh, Buddy has like the uh, astral arms open. He can use wisdom for athletics. Okay. Um, I'm just trying to. I'm trying to think of. I was trying to see if there was like a luck. Try your hand at it. Um, but that's okay. Uh, but... Hmm? Yeah, it's just a gotcha. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it, it basically was a gotcha. Uh, so you you are opening the left one because I already wrote down what's in both. Gotcha. Okay, but you you are doing the left one. Yes, right? I am doing the left one. Okay. So give me a strength, strength check. Okay, I'll use my wisdom because of what I have as my feature for my class. Uh, yeah. Where is my thing here? Uh, okay. And that's going to be, oh, a nice solid natural one. No. Oh, okay. <laughs> you're trying to force, you're trying to force this chest open. But, I would, I, uh, yeah, I would say I'm not trying to force it open just yet. I'm trying to like open it like if it doesn't just move, oh. then okay, I'd probably bring it over to the ground, pick it up, and be like, "Who's going lock picking?" Oh, you you can't pick it up, <laughs> but um, who's going if, lock if, picking? If I put my hand on top of it. Uh, <laughs> if if you were just trying to open it, uh, just with your strength alone, you will find that it it just opens. Um, oh, and inside is uh one hundred gold pieces oh so it's like a little oh, that's so much money some gold for <laughs> gold bell lewis i just grab a bunch of it wow All you're right. so cool <laughs> now i um my so, eyes start glistening <laughs> so as you guys don't worry my eyes are glistening grabbing, too yeah yeah grabbing for the gold um the smell of something burning starts to get in the air uh, Sorry, I that's need, just me. Yes, camera list. I, <laughs> I need Sin and uh, Whooper. I forget your name. I need you guys to make gold. A gold. Okay. I you need forgot Sin my name? Don't worry. It is Gold <laughs> Bell Lewis. I, need I love you guys... the emoji that appears every time. <laughs> <laughs> I need you guys to do survival wisdom check. Because so, uh, would this be like, is this yeah, like a trap or a harmful effect? Yeah, yeah, you guys are. Uh, I'll, I'll explain saving it. Throw. Okay, 18. Oh, saving throw. Okay. Yeah. Well, I just rolled a d20, which uh, 18. Hot, is that a saving throw? Hot 22. 
Okay. So as you guys, yeah, both of those are fine. Don't worry. Um, so you guys, like, uh, as you grab the gold, you can smell like some kind of burning in the air. And if you look above the chests, uh, you see that there's like little little spouts, and like they're starting to spark. Like, Water gun. Ready to shoot flames down Water where gun. the chests are. Okay. I'm gonna back off. You need to take care of that. So, and then a burst of flamethrower comes down and incinerates the chests. Uh, but if you want to water gun it, then it can kind of dissipate it too to save you guys oh, I, from getting burned by the fire oh, taking I, I, uh, fire damage. Yeah, I'm grabbing it. I'm, like I said, I grabbed the gold. I water gun the yep. fire. Okay. <laughs> so the, the trap has been disabled and you guys avoided the fire damage. Good job. Let's you got go! A, you got a little, there we go. You got a little taste so cool. of potential treasure that could be lying in the rest of the temple. I I, I just like mm -hmm. shovel it with like the remainder of my arms and put it into like like a little bag I got. We'll split this back up back in the tavern when we successfully venture through this hunt. Hey Tranquility, did you know he had arms? Uh, <laughs> I don't know. I, don't know if had arms. Maybe, maybe, I might have seen it like like in like passing, but I I, I don't remember that kind of stuff. Sorry. Well, it's more common to <laughs> slim with arms than it's slim without them. It's oh. just you just don't expect the whooper to have arms, you know? I, but it's kind of cool. I try to hide it, but yeah. Well, I this was sorry, 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 I'm sorry, sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I know you're a newer <laughs> member to this venturing team, but don't worry. I, I I used to use them a lot more back in the day, but I've been trying to get by without them. I just look up to all of you guys so much. Don't worry, kid. You're doing good. You're fine. You're good. Okay. As you guys are the first person to catch you kind of see it. Uh, this thing thing to see a light, light coming up, up this this as this Espeon statue. statue. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, 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 and then you hear a voice say, The treasure, the treasure exists to show we existed. Remember us. Yeah, I know. I, I just got it. We were here. The treasure is real. The treasure, the treasure, the treasure is real. real. The, treasure the treasure is real. real. <laughs> <laughs> I want to get the treasure the real. <laughs> Sorry. Um, so near the, the feet. Near the feet of Espeon's statue, you can see, uh, kind of in the similar sense, um, on the statue outside, there's more writing there. Uh, I'll take a look at the writing. All right, can I get an intelligence roll, please? Uh, okay. You're so smart. This straight you? intelligence? Yeah. Okay. I think. Uh, uh, or investigation. Uh -oh. Investigation roll. Invest yeah, sorry, I, I get them mixed up. <laughs> I gotta pull up my sheet. Actually, you know what? If it isn't if it is entirely okay, I'd like to do something a little silly instead. Oh, go for it. I love silly. Um, <laughs> I'll go ahead and um, just run another one of my little wounds. Darn apple. This one is like a broad of my eye. It also looks like an eye. It's not my eye. It's a different eye. And now starts activating. And I cast comprehend languages, and I can read the language. Okay. So as as you now can comprehend language, and um, you guys are still investigating the statue because like the spirit suddenly appeared from it, um, you can see right by where the words are. There's three indents, like something should be there, but they're missing. Okay. And uh, Rebone is able to now comprehend this language, and it. The writing on the statue says, The sun is the giver of life and light. The stars, the moon, the planets all dance around our beloved sun. We bow to her beauty and glory. And in the absolute dark, the light of the sun will always shine a path forward for those deemed worthy. I got no idea so, what this uh, means. Bonkers, so, crush it, so, skull. I didn't either. So, Rebon, Rebon, uh, you don't have to repeat that, but Rebon was like reading what I just said aloud to the whole group. So, um, 
and then you guys can see those three little indents. So make of that what you will. As I mentioned a second ago, I have climbed onto the top of the statue, and as Gold has said, just hit its head. I'm like, okay, I'm just gonna slam my head on the statue's head. Oh, whoa! Whoa! <laughs> okay. Bonkers! Be huh? careful! I was told to do this. Well, that wasn't the I solution, mean, unfortunately. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, hmm. Huh. So, oh? with with the information now in hand of, um, and if you guys need me to read that writing again, any anytime, I certainly can. Um, but it seems like for right now, um, except for a couple of doorways off to the side, like kind of like right over here, there's there's like maybe one here, maybe one here, and there there might be like another one maybe on this side. There's like a couple of doorways maybe leading to other rooms goodbye oh sin. it's other pathways <laughs> um, okay um, sorry sorry i just got um but it seems that it seems that this espion statue and uh, the, the three indents in the writing are going to be pretty important to finding the treasure and you know you guys found gold right here so maybe that could like infer that something it's something like, has to happen it's like zelda <laughs> you're, you're not wrong <laughs> well do you mind if i uh I'll click three of the gold pieces. And I'll see if the slap and delete and all the indent. Wait, wait, can you... That was a little hard to understand. Can you... All right, well, I'll, 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 take, I'll take three gold pieces and see if they slide in the indents. Uh, the, the three gold pieces kind of just lay on the indents, but nothing happens. Well, we have some doorways oh, up and here jam. and two doorways down there. Go ahead, one more time, Sin. I was going to say, can I try and jam Ribbon? into the indents because they're made of like squish, they're like kind of squishy. You could certainly do that, but you know, squ squishy, squishy sound. Uh, nothing happens. Aww. Well, it was worth a shot. It was worth a shot. Before, before we continue, I am going to propose that we take like a two minute bathroom break because I really want to be. And then we can, we can start seeing it. What can, oh shit. Uh, we can start seeing maybe uh, if we can find something that will fit those indents and then you guys will be able to move onward. Or we smash the door down. <laughs> There's no door. Okay, I'm gonna... I'm we gonna don't know that. The, I'm gonna keep the voice call on and the uh -huh. chat can still hear music. Um, so if whoever wants to go take a quick bathroom break or drink break, you guys can. Uh, we'll be back in about two chat. minutes. So entertain my chat while I go. I will also go do a quick bathroom run. I will also go as well. Someone's gotta keep track of the stream. <laughs> Hello, both chats. I am your mediator. How is it going? <laughs> Do anything bad and you can... Hello. <laughs> I am witnessing your words. You better not mess up and say anything yeah, cruel. Don't, don't say anything <laughs> strange and unkind. <laughs> I think I'm a mod in both chats, so I will, I will smite you. Very, very <laughs> insightful. Thank you. <laughs> I gave Someone said anything lighter. cruel, ban them. <laughs> Dark, why am I not surprised? <sighs> hmm. I just want to say, so far, this has been amazing. Thank you. Yeah, yeah it's, it's fun. Been very yeah, fun. I'm liking it. I love I you, a little guy. Bit of a, I got a little bit of a dopamine rush when I looked at chat and someone said they liked my character because I was like, good, because I made him up yesterday. <laughs> I love your little oh guy. God, He's God, great. God, Let's go. Oh, God. That's been there for like two hours. Oh, my God, Dan. <laughs> Daniel. Daniel Failpost. Daniel. Who is this? <laughs> I've never seen these people Sorry in my for life. you. I want to offer a promotion of your channel, viewers, followers, views, <laughs> chatbots, <laughs> etc. The price is lower than any competitor. The quality is Hello. guaranteed to be the best. Flexible and convenient order management panel, chat panel, everything is in your hands. Turn it on, off, customize. Go to notascan.com. I completely forgot about my Uber Eats. Would you like to hear about has, has that been yeah. like two warm? hours? About, I mean, I, I, I did, I might have ordered like a salad kind of deal. So if anything, it's still okay. cold. Uh, but Amazing. like, you know, now the chicken <laughs> isn't, so. <laughs> All right. I'm so sorry. Oh my God, yeah, wow. it, is, it is a little chilly. 
<laughs> Nature's refrigerator. Vermont. <laughs> We're in the desert. I don't know how this has happened. Nature's refrigerator. Yeah, I was gonna say that's not my job. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Just stick it on the cinder for like five minutes. I'm just a little guy. <laughs> That's true. I make my voice not sound like Morty from Rick and Morty. Sometimes <laughs> it goes into that territory. No, you're doing good. I like it. Thank you. Because yeah. my other idea was uh was doing this, and I don't want to keep doing this. So. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's fair enough. Oh yeah. I think it just doesn't sound right. normal. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, little guy. Little guy. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Hello. Yes, Hello. Bordo. <laughs> Please make this into a series. I'm already uh, making head cannons. Well, this is a one shot, so we'll be done today. <laughs> Who knows? No, we might come back for this. Yeah, we might come Unless back. this is massively oh, yeah. successful and we can start a career out of it. Oh my gosh. We are the next critical role. Yeah. <laughs> the voice changer kills me. <laughs> My wonderful live chat. How you guys holding up? I want to talk with you guys for a minute. How you guys doing? We're doing some Dungeons and Dragons. Good. Thank you guys for for enjoying the stream and sticking around a little bit here. Um, to all the puzzles, trials, and tribulations. You got raided early. I missed it. I'm sorry. Also, thank you guys for the support. Um, I will read through that. I was gonna do it now, but I've I've moved my keyboard away. It's a little hard to get to the mouse uh, in order to fit my food. So I will get there. I apologize at the end of the stream. But mm. is there a link to the Pokemon homebrew flavor used? No, I don't believe so. At least the resources are a little scattered. As you can tell, Volpixie is still learning as a DM. I'm still learning as a monk. Um, I do not really play monks often, so I gotta get a sense of what I need to do. Um, yeah, I'm unaware of the resources. Well, I'll check with Volpixie about that later. I, I think for the most part, it is like interpreted live kind of on the fly about like what actually is the thing to do here. Yeah, I was actually thinking about that. I can't believe... So, my whooper is technically a water genasi. I find it very funny that the two times I have played a monk and the two times I have played a water genasi have both been on streams where I played a water genasi monk. I play so many other kinds of characters. And I was like, oh, I want to do a, a whooper with arms. Wouldn't that be kind of funny? Um, and of course, that just means I played another water genasi monk. Anyway, I just had a good, I had a little bit of a laugh from that. Oh, <laughs> oh God, they're going to eat all of them. Um, what software are you playing with? Owlbear. It's a fantastic website. Uh, okay. Uh, that, that's just about what I got here. I'm going to unmute. Uh, hello. 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 Is Pixie Hi. back yet? Yeah, hell yeah. Uh, yes. No. Maybe. <laughs> Damn. All right. I couldn't so, tell. As a, as a small recap, you guys have now um, seen that, the t or heard that the treasure exists. And then at the feet of the SVN statue, there are the three little indents. The gold doesn't work. Stuffing the Rayuniculus in there is not working either. But like I said, there are <laughs> there are a couple doorways that you guys could go through. Doorway. Uh, um, oh, okay. I run I run with Parker's bonkers while <laughs> with my back lit so that bonkers can see at least. Okay. Guys, I found a door up here. Oh god. Okay. Yeah. Yep. Over this um, way, guys. Going. 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 Lower lows, right God, down. you're more childish than I am. I think, <laughs> let me. This might not be the right one. Let me Bonkers is 37 yep, years okay. old. This is this is the right, this is the right one. Want, I am like 12. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, I love Mob Check Psycho. You guys, yeah. you guys shuffle on. You guys can shuffle on in here, and then as you guys get in, um. There's kind of there's a little a little tablet right here, a stone tablet. Can you guys hear me chewing, by the way? <laughs> <laughs> but if you guys go over to it, it is uh, the room itself is like pretty even with Sin in here. It's a pretty small room. I know it looks big, but it's like fairly small, small enough that like Sin's back fire you know, is gonna, gonna, gonna light everything. Up. Um, but the stone tablet, sadly, the sadly uh, the stone tablet, the words have been like faded out over time. Um, and the seemingly bare room like holds nothing to it. <laughs> um, let's see here. 
Okay. So uh, I was thinking Sing uh, was like seven, maybe he's like seven. <laughs> awesome. Sorry, continue. Let me see, let me see. Uh, oh yeah. So as you guys um have walked into the room, I, I forgot to mention. So Sin and the the group are walking in with Sim's little back flame. Uh, Amy or Bonkers kind of ran in, and the room was very very dark. But you could see like little glittering <laughs> glowing stones embedded into the walls. And then as Sin came in, you know the light of those stones kind of faded away. I'm just holding then... Sin up like a torch in like my one giant arm, just like like holding him up to like a wall. <laughs> like what's say <laughs> here? <laughs> <laughs> This is awesome. Venturing so, through the cavern it's like the stars and darkness. Hmm? So if you guys want to, if you guys want to yeah. look around, um, if you guys want to look around, maybe if maybe we just find we it. just might. You know what, Pixie? We just might. I'm gonna roll a perception. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Workers, do not do not run off, please. Let's go together. A perception. Okay. Uh, well, I'm going to look around with my perception-based abilities, oh, and it is a fourteen. Oh, no, no, no. Okay, so you can you can see some of the words on that tablet. I know it's been like faded out over time, but um, uh, with my comprehend, can, would I be able to read it as well? Uh, read probably what's there, not. It's pretty. It's pretty. It's pretty uh, scratched out. I'm just gonna do this. Uh, I'm just doing random little things. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, Mm-hmm. Okay, that's all that's all you can really see. It's not it's not really comprehensible. Um and so far you guys looking around, it, the room is pretty bare. Um so I don't I don't know. There could there could be another way to like ask for help though. What is this thing? <laughs> I see more Almost darkness up there. <laughs> <laughs> I'll go ahead and choose one of my little familiars. Little brother and go up and I'll slip through it. Um, right now, uh, if you look here, there it, it's just um, in the small room. Hang on, I gotta... It's just like a, a little pedestal there. That's that's all that's huh. there right now. Um, Takes a seat on the pedestal. Other than that, it's, pretty, it's, it's still a pretty empty room. <laughs> Sits next to... Uh -huh. to uh, Ribbon. Just two little guys on a pedestal. They're doing like, like this isn't even a guy. Sit. This is like one little brain chunk. <laughs> this is kind of gross, but one fella and one symbiotic brain chunk sitting on a pedestal. <laughs> just like I'm people like, sit. Not touch it it might, uh, uh, yeah. So, yeah. It's final touch. I scoot through it. <laughs> oh. Okay. Huh? I tap it with my foot. <laughs> Thing happens when you touch the pedestal. Hmm. What if we hit it with a hammer? I'm about that. Oh, like try pushing it down. It yeah, yeah, yeah. Push it yeah. down again. Uh -huh. uh, nothing happens when you try and swing a hammer. It's pretty like solid. They're like, huh. and, like bonkers kind of so, like shakes yeah. and vibrates. You said Whoa. there was gems okay. on the wall, right? Could I like investigate the gems and see like if they can be removed or something? Uh, you can go up and investigate. Yeah, give me an investigation check. <gasps> okay. Is that that's a D twenty plus my something, right? Plus your investigation modifier, which if you're proficient would be like a six. Mm -hmm. If you're not, it would be a three. Uh that is a three. So uh b -b 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 math. Seventeen. Okay. So what what, what you can see Wait, wait, so I rolled fourteen. Oh, okay. okay yeah. so I thought you, you rolled a three and got a seventeen. No, no, no. I rolled, I rolled a fourteen. So from what Sid right, can yeah. see, observing the walls, the, the the little sparkling stones are kind of embedded into the walls. They're kind of up closer to the ceiling. Um, there's nothing really down by the floor in this tiny little room. Um, but they're they're just kind of like pretty stones, just embedded in the wall. But there there's there's nothing really significant about them, okay. other than the fact that they're there and they're pretty. Um, I think. I think this. I know oh, it's like. I thought we came up like to that already. Out. What? I know oh. you guys like investigated that, but you can't really read what's on there. But maybe, maybe someone else could know what's on there. A little the world of burst. Yeah. yeah. What about the Espion statue? We might be able to go to another room and come back to see if we can learn anything new. Otherwise, yeah, but, uh, I mean, we or... heard that voice earlier. Remember? Oh. 
then as as soon as Hayden or uh, Sin says that uh, that ethereal wispy form kind of appears over the oh. uh, scratched out panel right here. Oh. No, no, I don't have a token right here, but um, the form uh, kind of appears and she kind of just stares down and like seems to be waiting for you guys to ask a question. What the fuck do we do? Do we do? The soul. Wait, can, can, uh, Peck, you say that again. When is this tablet loose to soul? And then the SBM kind of just blinks and looks over the tablet, and then that beautiful ethereal voice speaks out. They arrive every night, whether invited or not. They can be seen, but not heard or touched. If one falls, the rest keep moving. It sounds like a star. No. Yeah, there's a lot of thinking involved in this dungeon. It. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so yeah, bonkers, hit him with yourself. your hammer. <laughs> no, 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 go ahead. Go ahead. The, 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 <laughs> the spirit repeats the words once more. They arrive every night, whether invited or not. They can be seen, but not heard or touched. If one falls, the rest keep moving. One more time. <laughs> the the, 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 the espion's oh, like, espion, side beam. <laughs> <laughs> so they, they arrive Here, I at can, night. I'll, yeah, I'll put, the, I'll put the text in the Yeah, I was going to say, can you transcribe? Guys. Yes. Yeah. All right. So that is what oh. is being said. So it seems Every night with her the words that she's speaking is probably going to be key here. And they arrive every night, whether invited oh or not. Goes. They can be seen, but not heard or touched. If one falls, the rest keep moving. Oh. It's kind of like a, it's a riddle. So what are they night, talking about here? Whether oh, I thought it was stars, wasn't it? Yeah, I thought it was also stars, yeah. Uh, uh I mean, me, me too, me too. Yeah, yeah, yeah definitely. I, I, I knew it was stars in the beginning. Um, I used What's my a star? brain to think sure. about. Can you that's, catch it? That's that's a great that's a great uh, uh, insight, guys. That's a great insight, guys. But can you, can you uh, eat it? Maybe. So, so you, you figure? So I, I will say you figured uh, out the answer to the riddle. Are you like a star? The answer to the riddle is stars. <laughs> um, they arrive every night, whether they're invited or not. They can be seen, but not heard or touched. Oh, uh, I keep moving. So I get it. Okay, it. okay. Obviously, stars. Yeah, yeah right, right. Yeah. So it, it seems like the answer to this is. Uh, what is the, this? It seems like <laughs> it's the ghost of Espeon, the, the, oh. the, spe the spirit of Espeon. So you guys have inferred that the answer to this riddle is stars. Um, but it's kind of bright in here. You can't really see the stars, can you? <gasps> Damn! The must roof. be another room. <laughs> the roof. No, the roof. The roof. The gems Put on the roof. Out. Can we the break? Gems on the roof. That's the stars. It's good, right? No. Now, sure, the stars. Is that maybe constellate a constellation or or something. We have to read. No, maybe. Uh, okay, we can try and take the gem from the stars. No, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try and reach up and grab one of the gems. You're gonna try and reach and grab the gems, but they're embedded well into the wall. They're just there for decoration and maybe. What if I hit it real hard? I don't think it's gonna work. Oh. <laughs> um, don't worry, guys. So got, I got this. Have we got a good? Have we got a good view of the ceiling right now? Can we see all of the rock, like the yeah. gems on the roof? It, yeah, you guys okay. can see it. They're like they're like not as bright yeah. and shiny because there's a light already in the room. You know. Yeah. So maybe if you could see them better, maybe maybe something will happen. Don't so worry, guys. I, I got this. And I'm going to put my two stone hands together as they fall to the ground, water crumbling. And I'm going to cast uh, the cantrip Mold Whoa. Earth uh, to have the bit of ceiling holding the gems try and eject a couple of the gems from the ceiling. <laughs> oh. That so is not cool. <laughs> I'm molding the earth. Cool. That is very cool, but it's not going to do anything. But it will give what me some I, gems. Yeah, what if you? What if I... Um, so, 
Is this room like well lit up? Is it very bright? Or... It's very bright in here because it's a small room and you are a very bright fire Pokemon and you cannot see the stars very well in this puzzle. It's talking about the star, so. And the stars are on the ceiling, yeah? Yeah. All right, someone throw, <laughs> someone throw me up there. I hold some one second. I, I can try and launch oh. you. Oh. oh, I'm going to before that happens, I suppose. If that's okay. If not, then mm -hmm. I can always walk. Mm -hmm. oh. You kind of like yippee, yeet, uh, uh, yeet, uh, yeet oh, the little Cyndaquil okay. up, uh, yep. and he kind of just mm. flails in the air a little bit. Mm -hmm. uh, and then he comes like back down and gets caught, but again, nothing really happens. So. Mm. Uh, uh, so, so to, re to reiterate, stars are the key here, but with the with the bright well, light, they're kind of they're kind of difficult to see. That you're not really like you know like bonkers. Recall when you mm -hmm. first walked in, it was like very pretty and glittery, and all yeah. that stuff. Uh, but right now, they're, the stones are kind of dim. Yeah, Pekka uh, wanted to do a thing. If, by the way, what if I? Okay. Oh, oh, wait, wait, wait. Sun, sir, I have lunch. I'm going to go behind Sin real quick. I'm going to take my little gel arm. And put it over his entire little back flame so it's put out. Oh, that, that, that's killing me! That's killing me! <laughs> oh, God, that off. Just tell me I can turn that off myself! There's traitors amongst. <laughs> Go ahead. Uh, 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 okay, okay, I'll turn it off, I'll turn it off! Alright, so as the light is turned off, uh, the glittering starlit ceiling. Uh, begins to shine once again and it's like very pretty you know it's very ethereal looking you know uh, excuse me <laughs> um and as the light of the stars shines down um you know bonkers couldn't quite hear this because you know you dun, 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 kind of like charging in to the room but um you know there was that this pillar over here and you know a soft rumbling can be heard as um the, like the top of the pillar you know it kind of like flips over and there is now a like a tiny little uh can I can I do this please? Please, please, please. I can't do this. Hang on. Uh give me give me two seconds. Oh, you DM'd me what the words said. Oh, I just I missed that DM entirely. Oh, that's okay. <laughs> uh get rid of that. Don't need that. <laughs> get rid of make this very uh... very tiny. Very tiny. <laughs> um whoops. <laughs> What's happening? I'm trying to grab. I'm failing as a DM. Okay. <laughs> so now that the starlight has, has shined down, um, and, uh, you know, when Bonkers walked in and, like, Sin walked uh. in and the light came in, like, this had disappeared, you know, the uh. roughness of the room. But now that it's quiet and the starlight is shining, there's a little amulet here with a star on it. <gasps> wait, wait. If we, if we grab this... No, 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 If we, okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna pick this up. I think maybe we put this into the, the Espeon statue. Uh, it just yeah. might work. It's just dumb enough around. to work. I, I sure reach my little tiny. No, please don't. We need this. Okay. I, I, I use my little stubby arms to reach up to the pedestal and grab the, the, the amulet. Okay, and as you grab the amulet, uh, that's Big it. Boulder. Nothing happens. That's okay. probably what you needed to do. <laughs> Maybe so that's that's good. That's good. Good job. Boop, boop. Yeah, you guys, you guys solved the puzzle. That's it. So I, so I didn't get any. Wow. I didn't get any gems or treasure from from that. No, it, that that's just like the decoration. Uh, just for let huh. me let me give me one second here. I just want to make sure I find the right thing. Amulet. Um. Okay. No hammer, please. No hammer, no? Not on the no amulet, hammer. on anything right. else, but amulet will break. Well, then, I, then I can make it so we all have some amulet. <laughs> okay. Wait, she can't. I'm gonna hold put- She's um... cooking, she's cooking. <laughs> Wait, hold Did on. It... I, th I think the writing on the statue- <laughs> Espeon already like said the writing on the statue, right? Like, uh, mm -hmm. On yeah. the little plate, so, yeah. Okay. yeah. So, uh, this was what was read out, so that you guys can see. So, mm -hmm. you know, there's the three indents. Oh, yes. And you can now have a star amulet. Yeah. So, hmm. so uh, Sin, like, like uh, relights his backup so he can... Actually, he's got dark vision, but he relights his backup <laughs> anyway. Uh, and, like, scuttles, like, really quickly back towards the other room. 
Okay. To um, <laughs> back where the Espeon statue was. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. With bonkers in pursuit. Follow. <laughs> I guess. I want to hit oh. the thing. <laughs> no, don't hit it. I want to hit the thing. No, we tried that already. Try put it in the star hole. <laughs> it goes in the square. Ball. Yeah, yeah, it, it just <laughs> might fit. I don't know. <laughs> this one goes in the square hole. <laughs> okay. All right, and so um, yeah. so uh, I, Cyndaquil, uh, Sin, sorry, dashes into the room, very excited, very eager, like you know, because like he he he, he he just wants to make everyone proud. Uh, with the amulet in his little in his little uh, in his like mouth. Uh, wow. and then eagerly tries to shove it into one of the slots in the statue. Uh, at the place where the three indents are, putting the star amulet, it does fit into the first hole. <gasps> Ooh. Huh. We cooked, guys! <laughs> what did we cook? There we go! We did it. We cooked. What did, what did we cook? We cooked? I'll tell you when you're older. <laughs> <laughs> you're younger than me. I know. I know. Yeah. I'm a fully grown adult. <laughs> I pay taxes. You pay taxes. Yeah. I haven't paid well, taxes in more taxes in the Pokemon universe. I am really? constantly yeah, followed by the IRS. You are looking at me. I don't know what you guys no. are talking about, but it no, sounds okay, boring. Yeah. I agree. Let's go to the yeah. other door. Ooh. All right. Right. Uh, I'm sorry, were you saying something about tax taxes? Five Aaron berries a month, what? it's a oh, lot. What about beauty tax? It jokes jokes over. Oh no, I'm sorry. You're, you're fine, you're fine. You're beautiful to me, tranquility. Why did that move? Oh thank you. There? I have no perception of beauty. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I, I guess I knew that. Okay. I'm sure they don't. <laughs> You're beautiful in your own special way, bonkers. You look like a Sylveon. Okay. I'm that a Cyndaquil. Cool. Okay. Uh, so, you look so, like a like a little man. I'm gonna need. I am a little man. No, no. I'm gonna need. A, give me one second here. Uh, you guys keep talking. Sorry, sorry. One, two, draw, guys. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Cynical just falls on his back and like, plays dead. Oh, and this is what oh. can happen at any point in a dungeon. You gotta be careful. Something might come outside and she- oh, hold on, banger! Dodge! <laughs> I'm gonna swing my hammer at you. Ah! <laughs> Good dodge. I, I, I only dodge it because I just like- sh I, I like crouch a little bit like Kirby and Smash Brothers. Yeah. Like, like the entire whooper squishes. Yep. <laughs> I keep like peeking back at you, but I'm still laying on my back. Oh, oh don't worry. I, we'll, we'll get you back up. Here you go. I'll patch you back up. And I you know, grab you by your hand. You're like, <laughs> wow, you're so cool. All right, so you, got, you guys, uh, <laughs> okay, thank you. I'm just trying to figure out how I can do this. Guy. Oh my God. Um, <laughs> we'll you guys this room, as you guys enter this room, you know, it's kind of small, similar to the, the previous room. So the light from Sin's back is enough to shine and illuminate everything. <laughs> and you guys see five different orbs here. Uh, oh. So kind of like last time, I am just gonna, I'm just gonna put that out there. You guys did call upon a little bit of help last time. So if you want to do that again, you're more than welcome to, to I see kind of what's one. up. It looks like there are six orbs. <laughs> There's five. <laughs> What is the sixth There's one? Six <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Why are there six of them? Oh, wait, yeah, why are there? Wait, I'm looking at your screen. Why are there God, six? There why are there God, six orbs? God, you are lying oh, to me. I deleted oh, it. Five orbs, never mind. This is why I am not a cleric. <laughs> All right. So, oh, Lord, there's there's only five. It's okay. All, right. All you guys can see are just five orbs. Sorry. No, there's, there's no writing. There's no nothing. I want the purple one. Okay. Oh, what are you gonna do in. with that? Uh, I can break it so you'll have it. You know what? Fuck it. Sure. Yeah. I'm gonna hit it with my hammer. Uh, it is very, very strong. They are not going to break. You could have seen that this one. This is happen. the strongest <laughs> rock I've seen in my life. My God, this entire dungeon has been reinforced specifically <laughs> right, against hammers. <laughs> okay. So. Ever could have seen that coming. Anyway. I would like so to. As you guys. Go ahead, go ahead. I would like to investigate the orange one. I think this voice has changed a good bit one. since it first started. 
<laughs> wow, your voice has kind of changed a good bit since it started. I don't know what's happening. It's as, now monotone. Go ahead, cook. As Sin gets close to the side of the room, you guys can see that on the other side, the, the, the dark, uh, darkness kind of emerges. And you see a similar pedestal to the one in- There were six! I knew there were six! <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna hit it. You're so guys... smart. Hang on, let me, let, me, let me draw real quick here. I'm sorry I ever doubted you, Gold. How far can we yes and before Volpixie kicks us out of the campaign? <laughs> Wait, there's a thing on it. Okay, so no, get away. You can't. You can't. You can't approach. There's it. seven. Approach. My God. <laughs> They're, They're multiplied. <laughs> There's gonna be eight in a second. <laughs> Anything can happen in a dungeon. I told you, kid. Gold, I'm scared. <laughs> From this point on, where I'm drawing with my lines, you guys so cannot much. approach. But you guys can see. Uh, what looks to be kind of something similar to the other room, there's like a, a disc, like an amulet maybe, on top of another pillar, but you guys cannot pass any further. Um, I'm just gonna what draw like a really us? quick yeah, this. It... Ah! Whoa. I knew it! Oh, whoa. <laughs> oh my god, it's an oval! I can't cross it. Yes. <laughs> okay, I like that, I like that. Okay, so like, uh, as soon as you guys start picking up orbs, like this magic fire comes close and you don't wanna, you don't wanna get close to it. Um, See? What about me? I can, I can probably run through that, right? No, you, you cannot. <laughs> Bonk! <laughs> so Sinbag um, dashes at it head first and bounces off. You run into the magical fire <laughs> and it is a wall. All right. So for the for the sake of this, I, you guys are all going to pick an orb. It'll be okay. <laughs> It'll be okay. You guys are seeing orbs. Orbs. Here, you can take this okay, orb right here. No, no, Sid, you can take this orange one. I'll take the blue one. <laughs> All right, now I'm gonna need you guys to just real quick. Um, yeah. I'm gonna put something into the group chat. If it's a circle, uh -huh. I'm gonna scream. If it's a circle, I'm gonna scream. <laughs> <laughs> it's not. I'm gonna lose my mind. Oh. Ah! <laughs> Amy just posted an O. No, stop! Stop those circle emojis! <laughs> <laughs> so as soon as you guys touch these orbs, you feel a very strange energy wash over all of you. Um, something, something is happening, and um, I would kin it to some kind of like curse being inflicted upon you. Um, That's not and good. you hear the. Oh! Oh, God, oh no! God, God. Oh, I can God. no longer hear my oh, guiding God. voice. <laughs> I accidentally oh. hung up. Now I have to. Now I have to... Put the oars back down. I knew we should have touched these down. things. No, it's the other way. No, no, you're on the other way. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Go ahead. Okay. As you guys pick up these orbs, um, suddenly, like the the characteristics and the way that you speak. Are gonna be are gonna be afflicted. Um, Go on. Oh my God! You Whoa. each you each are gonna be getting Whoa. your own <laughs> curse. I'm gonna share it with you in the DMs. Okay. Um, you, right. The the one thing is like you're unable to like you feel like these strange afflictions coming over you. It's gonna be different for each person. I'm and about this. I'm you're about gonna, this. You guys are gonna find that you are unable to talk about your curses. Talk so something it? is That's gonna fine. be. Something's gonna be afflicting each of you. So let me let me assign colors to people. I gotta I gotta check to see who's what color and then DM everybody. I'm so blue. Completely fine. Okay. We basically I'm, I'm picked matching colors. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, let's see here. So then. Uh, Typing Ooh. something real quick. And are we are, are we aware of what these curses do, or you're not aware of what uh, you are aware of what it's doing to you? Um, you cannot vocalize it. You so cannot vocalize aware. it. Yeah. So Who's we are orange? aware of like what it does. Okay. Something is happening to oh. me that I cannot <laughs> describe. Hang on. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So it, um. Yeah, so the 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 the, I can't the, the, call you. the boon of this is that you guys uh cannot you cannot speak about your own 
like what's going on with you or Guys, um, who's so orange? Good. Who's orange? That's you, Sin. Well, then. Hayden is orange. Sin. Okay, thank you. It's on the crawl. <laughs> Who's blue? That's me. That's me, gold. Gold belt Lewis, dare I say. Who is green? Battle <laughs> blue. Oh. Wait, so Pixie, your... do I like do I know that this happens and, or, and like or like can I become You're... aware of this or I, it, does it just happen regardless? It's gonna happen regardless. Oh, hang on. Let me, let so me do I have to like yeah, learn organically, kind of? You're gonna like, kind of learn mean... organically. I wait. Hang on. Let me let me let me brainstorm here real quick. Uh, yeah. Gotcha. Okay. So I think with this, Whoa. I'm just trying to look at my notes because my notes are a mess. Um. Uh. Buh, 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 buh. Okay. Can so I share my curse taken... with my chat? Yes, you can. Okay, okay, okay. Um, you need to cover your screen. Yeah, yeah, cover my screen for a second. <laughs> so, uh, I'm just, I'm mentally blanking here for just one second. Uh, let's All see good. here. So, you guys have the curses. Okay, so Ready? you are, you are, you're going to learn organically. Um, or actually, it's kind of, um, you, okay, so you guys know what your curses are. Um, and so the curses have now taken hold, and you hear... Uh, you see out of the corner of your eye that wispy form of Espeon just slowly appear. Because there's no writing in the room, but Whoa. you know, she's she's gonna appear to kinda help you out here. And she wow. sees that you guys have all taken hold of your respective orbs here. So you hear her say this. And we know when what's your going affliction on with is target. identified, only then may you pass. When all pass, your treasure will be awarded to you. Uh, ah! Speaking! Oh, oh. Uh. So when ah, your affliction, when your affliction is identified, you can all pass through the barrier. Uh, so uh, everybody knows what their own curse is. You guys have to try and figure out what uh, each other's curses so, do, are. Do we do we know what our own curses are like now? Or do we have to figure out our own now? You kind of you we kinda know get, our own. You know your own now. You're trying to okay. figure out everybody okay. else's without. Ah. It's kind of like it's kind of like charades where you have to figure out what everybody else's mm -hmm. problem okay. is without. Okay them saying what their problem is. Sin! Okay. So if you guys... Sin! So, Some, something's... Something's stopping speech! Huh? Uh, what do you mean? Um, something's stopping speech? Something's stopping speech? See! <laughs> is maybe your thing having oh. to do with... Um, Start asking yes or no that? questions maybe to help you guys figure out... Um, what each affliction is. Something uh, sinister! You can, also, you can also, like, wait. maybe maybe describe... Wait, 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 wait! Yeah. Keep talking! Ow! Uh, sure! Uh, so... Say more words. So, Sin says... I got it, I got it! He can only what? say things that begin with S! C! 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 Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah, yep, yep. Yeah. That, oh, cool. Nice job. Yeah, you figured out the blue orbs curse. You can only speak with words that start with the letter ah. S. Nice job. Oh. Okay, Thank so you. Then, the thing, uh, thank you. Uh, 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 oh, oh. Hmm? Wow, just saying thank you really hurt, hurt Sin there. <laughs> Wait, what's up? Uh, 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 oh, what? Sin, he's, 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 he's getting hurt. He's getting hurt. With what you guys are saying. Don't worry, don't worry, Vault Pixie. Let us cook. Let us cook. Careful, 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 Wait, I do have to ask. Can I... Do I have to keep talking with the letter S? This time, this time I am asking God. Do I have to keep talking with the letter... I'm so... Oh, Vault Pixie! If you put your orb down, um, just as long as you pick it up... Ah, uh, gotcha, 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 then gotcha. You're, then you're okay. Okay, okay, thank you. Um, but now, like, yeah. So each each orb is assigned to a person. So you have to like all eventually find out what your curse is, and then you all walk across <gasps> at the same time. Oh. Um, but so right now you only have blue figured out, but in case it's orange, you gotta figure it out. Understood. So so thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah. All right. Oh. Um, saying, I'm searing, uh, sin. <laughs> Hello. Saying, searing, sin. Uh. So he, Are you okay, Sin? 
Does yeah. Candace hurt the little thing? Uh, what is it that that uh, well, is it? Sin Ow. scared uh Sweden Pause Swee I'll let you swalk to to him. <laughs> I'll ah. let you guys I'll let you guys cook and if you need direct help just say God we need help, okay? Oh. Gotcha, gotcha. Mm. I'll let you guys so cook. What? Sorry! Huh? I... I don't... I don't know. So it seems Does like kindness hurt? hurt? <laughs> if they ask yes or no questions about your curse, you are able to say yes or no. Okay. Does it hurt when we talk to you? Uh, some... sometimes... Uh! uh questions? Only questions. Uh, uh, wait, no, uh, no, 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 no. sentences. <laughs> you guys are killing me. Uh, I'm down. Sin sucks. Hey, that's just mean. Oh, oh sorry. <laughs> Someone say something. Oh. Ah. I don't know what. Oh, you guys really are ah. leaning on poor Sin there. He's he's taking all the hits here. Oh 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 oh! oh, oh. Uh uh. Someone uh silence. <laughs> say anything? Okay. Bizarre silence. <laughs> ah. oh, he seems so to be. Great. He seems to be getting hurt by certain kinds of words, maybe. Or maybe components of words. Certain sentences you guys are saying oh, are not oh, hurting him. Oh, oh, sowls! So. What? Uh, uh, something. Someone. Uh, no, I don't get it. Ooh, does noun hurt? Uh, no. Uh, it's not nouns hurting him. Magic too? Pronoun? What was that? Ow. It's not pronouns. <laughs> Running. No. Sess or so. <laughs> Questions. Uh, please. This, this hurts so, so bad. Certain words that you guys are saying contain something that might be hurting him. It's not vowels. It's not... Sam. Um. Is that didn't hurt him. Maybe, is it uh, let turns? Uh, uh, yeah. May. Short syllables. Uh, 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 C, C, C. Uh. <laughs> Jakey was cooking for a sec. You're getting there. Salad. Hmm. Yummy. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay, okay, okay. Letter U. Uh, no. Uh, uh, uh. Subble B. setters. B. Oh. Ah. <laughs> C. Jakey, go on. C. No. D. No. E. No. F. No. G. <laughs> No. A. No. Got no. a long chat. No. J. No. A. No. L. No. M. No. M. No. 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 Tizu hurt Hayden. That's the curse of the orange orb. It, say any word with the letter T in it, and he's ah, he hurts. Also, <laughs> I, I think I think just for for clarification's sake, if you're not holding on to your orb, um, you're not afflicted by it. So Dan, if you you don't have to speak in the S syllable anymore, it's only when you're like holding on to it and passing through or trying to like figure out the curse. Nah, I'm still holding it. Okay, okay, <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. I just want to make sure. So Hayden, if you want to put your orb down, so you're not 
screaming in pain with oh. more tea. Oh, I, I would love I'm to. So ah! scary, so <laughs> All right, oh, so blue, blue kind of so, uh, In the process of that, I took 26 hit points of damage. Oh! oh. And now how many HP points do you have left? Uh, 10. All right, I'm gonna, so. I, I'm gonna give you oh, a I'm healing in a rough word shape. as I'm walking around you. <sighs> that was rough. I thought I was a goner. Do you need healing? Yes. I'm also giving healing, so. I'm gonna lay on hands. Mm. Whispering. <laughs> oh wow! Yeah, look on. Whispering. Yeah. Yes. 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 Uh, yeah. Honestly, 15 pay points. You have healed 15. And Thank I'll you. give you 6 as well. So that's uh, 21. Okay, so mm -hmm. I'm, I'm uh, 31 health. Out of 36. All right, good. good. Damn, Hayden. Took one for the team. Good job, Sin. Everybody <laughs> clap for Sin. <laughs> <laughs> I'm eating salad, but yeah. Let's go. So we're trying to figure out Ribbon and... Okay, so uh, what's your deal, huh? Tranquility, yeah. Yes. Yeah, so what's happening with you guys? That's a great question. Yeah. It is. Sask questions. Uh, careful, care, careful how close y'all get, you know. Uh, yeah. Wait, Jackie, let me look at yours again. Uh, let's see. Um. Oh. Okay. Is oh, it yeah, yeah, okay. Is it what's hurting you? Uh, Jinky, no, Jinky. I'm not getting hurt by anything, but like, uh, just uh, hey, 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 bonkers, bonkers space. Jackie, what color are you? I'm uh, red. You're red, okay. Here. Wait, okay. can you Go not ahead. get close to anyone? No, I, 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 I no, it's not that. It, it's just, 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 just get careful. Social anxiety. It's, it's, it's like lagging really bad. Oh, what? Uh, like, I, I see you trying to move on my screen. I see you moving, like, clearly on Dan's screen, but, like, I, it's like oh. jerking over here. Are you in, are you, okay, uh, sorry, you, Sin, Sugal, Scrobe? Yeah, I am in Google Chrome. Uh oh, it's a different browser. Okay, hang on. That's All what right. I did. Oh. That's your All time. Right. I'm gonna <laughs> pause, pause every time. Yeah, I'm yeah. Yeah, the world bad. is just, the world is gone. God, that was awesome. <laughs> I was just, I was just screaming for like <laughs> five minutes. Do you guys like the curses that I gave you? I hope they were. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was great. I find it was obvious. Yeah, I find it very okay. funny that like Dan, Dan's was like the most obvious. Yeah. And yeah. they just, they just spent five minutes wailing on me. <laughs> oh. Hang on, I gotta sign Think. it again. Oh, mother trucker. Sign it. Ah! Up. Ah! Tree. Spirit! Learning <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah, dude. Oh, there we go, there we go. Okay, now, now we're good. Spirit! I just had to roll with, okay. I just had to roll with on, C as much as I could. <laughs> She's like, I see! Ah, ah, ah. Salud! Salud! <laughs> Salud! <laughs> Need to add a new window. What language are you speaking? <laughs> right. Spanish. And give me one second. Let me, let me do the overlay. Oh <laughs> I'm like, mine was solved too quick. I gotta roll with this for, for some more. I'm having fun. <laughs> I'm glad. I'm glad you are. <laughs> you can just say Spanish. Yeah, yeah. Like, like there's some yeah. words that just I can say. It's very fun when they work out. <laughs> uh, can I just say, it's actually yes. been a lot of fun so far. Just oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It. It's, been, it's been very silly. I'm glad. Okay, I got it all set up. Now I can see, and now we're now we're good to go. Okay, we can continue. Whoa. Jakey, go ahead. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Pecky, we gotta figure out your curses. Yeah, we gotta huh? figure out Ribbon. So, like, let's. Hmm. Oh, you guys are holding yeah, like, oh, you anxious. Is yeah, that, yeah, is yeah. That we can attach it to ourselves. So. Sylveon yeah, like, seeks fun. space. I can hold my work for yeah. real now. What? Uh, so kind of. I mean, I'm gonna take the orb. <laughs> Tranquility. Yep. What's happened to you? Well, someone's trying to take the orb Wait, right what now. Happens, oh. What happens if the orb's taken? Or... You won't be able to find out what the curse is. I yoinked the orb. So nothing Did... happens because your curse was you were assigned to a different orb. So that it's one uh, person per orb. Okay. So it's, it's like. Because I wasn't taking the orb. 
Yeah, yeah. Just <laughs> let me hold on to it. So, Steal. Like, why are you moving? Stop moving. <laughs> yeah, stand still. Stand still. Just, just talk to us. Tranquility. Stop. Can I call you Quill? I've never asked you that. Well, fuck me, I you guess. You can only talk when you're moving. Silence. Silence. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yep. I thought you just hated me. That's so <laughs> <strong>. <laughs> Yeah, Jakey can only talk when he moves. Beautiful, or beautiful. She, or she's, wait, sorry, sorry. Wait. Can you hear me? One second. Uh, what are your pronouns? <laughs> yes, I, had, I, had a, I had a complete mind fuck blank uh, pronouns, please. I'm so sorry. <laughs> She's or she. <laughs> that doesn't solve anything. <laughs> she <sh> sure. <laughs> okay. So can I call you Quill? Yeah, yeah, that's that's fine. That's totally fine. What's your fucking deal? Yeah, what's up with you? I'm not, I'm not hold I don't on know, but just... what? Hmm? I don't know, but. Speak sup. Jakey, can you check DMs real quick? What? I just want to. I feel bad. I'm so sorry. Okay. Uh, what is talk. what is you? Uh, say something. Say words. Something. More mm. words. I'm trying to. But you can't. I don't know. It's mm. like a, I don't know. It's it's like love and time. Short I'm... sentences. I have, I have to go in the corner and think about this. I feel, mm. I feel like that. Shush. Shush. No. Sorry. No. Okay. Repeat after mm. me. Okay. <laughs> yeah. I like saying words a lot. I don't know to say. You can say three words. Yes, that's correct. Yeah! You can only speak in a sentence that is three words. Success! Like anything longer, they have to stop. Wow, you did something good, Bonkers. You actually used your brain. Oh. I'm actually kind of shocked. <laughs> You're all about that. Yeah. I mean, are we? Uh, I'm not wrong there, lot. right? That is kind of shocking. Doesn't happen a lot. Yeah. Uh, so I'm you proud guys of you. have all figured out your orbs curses, and <laughs> once, like uh, Espeon yeah. said, maybe Espeon can repeat what was said before. Hey, hey, Gold, <laughs> can I grab that real quick? Uh, sure. <laughs> this is awesome. So, <laughs> okay, you can have it back. <laughs> the spirit of Espeon, now that you guys have figured out your curses, the spirit of Espeon appears once again. And she says, as when your affliction is identified, only then may you pass. When all hey. pass, your treasure will be awarded to you. Affliction identified, pass. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. So, yeah, what is, what all right. is the thing? Hmm. All right. Salsa. Yes, and now that you guys have all. Well, wait, wait, I, I got four of you. So the aim that's kind of stuck there. What? Okay, there we go. Now that all five of you are across the barrier. You can see on the pedestal, it is an amulet with planets on it. I grab it with my little stubby, Circles. My stubby arms. And uh, good job. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep this safe before Bonkers hits it with a hammer. All right, you're gonna, you're gonna go I back to the other never. one? I don't... You know yeah, you don't have to yeah, hold yeah. that anymore, right? Oh, no, are you gonna put it down? Oh, okay, there we go. Yeah. Oh my god, wow. <laughs> yeah, the fire's gone now. The fire's gone. Uh -huh. Because you, 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 both it the you can put it, put it down. Oh, finally. Mm, yeah. Mm. Shit. Lord creature of the dark sun who wrote the song. You know what? I'm, gonna, I'm just going to go to the Espeon statue. I'll catch you all in a second. Same. <laughs> I'm stuck in it. <laughs> yeah, sure. Something went wrong. Yeah, just refresh. Okay. Uh. <laughs> I'm already by the statue. Worlds. I walked out while you guys were talking. Mm. All right. All right. Here comes little Sin with the little I amulet fucking, in his mouth. I fucking like dive at the uh, Espeon statue, <laughs> slide on my belly, and uh, and I just slow down enough to slot in the amulet into one of the the slots here. Skirt. Skirt. 
<laughs> Why is it not filling? Wait, hang on. Oh, I gotta. I, I know what I did wrong. More of them. Uh, there, there's a second orb. Or not the orb, second, uh, second amulet. Orb. Okay, so now you have two or three oh, amulets, you guys. Wow. Wow, that's pretty cool. Go! Ooh. Uh, All right. uh, bonkers! Bonkers! Uh, yeah. Actually, said, you know, can, I, can I do something funny? Because uh, Bonkers like right next to me. Can I just try to like throw out my feelers and just grab Bonkers <laughs> before they leave? Like kind of do like a grapple check. Uh, thank <laughs> you. Wait, have you done? Did you? Did it? Was it successful? It's a grapple check, so it's maybe roll against each other. That would be a contested uh, athletics or acrobatics. Yeah, I'm I'm gonna roll athletics on this. Okay. Yeah. I'm also rolling. Uh, acrobatics. Uh, oh no, you have to roll athletics, JK. Oh, You're fuck. the grappler. Yeah. Oh All no, right. you, you, you know my weakness. <laughs> so now that you guys have two of the three amulets, oh. I'm gonna offer the opportunity in this open room back here. Whoops, mm -hmm. yeah, that's the wrong thing. Uh, this is what I mean. In this kind of open room back here. Wow. <laughs> um, I'm gonna offer the opportunity to take five minutes for a short rest. I, I think a short rest like replenishes everything, or is that a long rest? Uh, that's long a long rest. rest. Long, long rest, rest replenishes okay. everything. everything. Good amount, though. I mean, all right. If you, you if you want, you could always just say that the short rest replenishes everything. <laughs> okay. Why don't we take if you? Because I want to offer like five minutes of like banter between you guys. So if you guys want to take a short five minute rest in this little room before you continue <laughs> and try and find that last amulet. That is, like, this uh -huh. would be the time to do so. And gotcha, I gotcha. I that you do it. I like the That's idea so... that I'm trying to run off into the room and then being stopped so we can sit for a minute. <laughs> hey, Amy, what did you roll on the, uh... uh, tw on the... uh 23. <laughs> Four. <laughs> so I, I think you just stop. me up Shit. and I just fall flat on my face. Like, hey, hey, <laughs> falls, falls back asleep. <laughs> <sighs> <laughs> Bonkers! What? You need to be careful. Why? I put the rap and start moving now. The camera is dragging. <laughs> All right, a quick rest and back at it. Does your voice always sound like that? I think so. Wait, it might not have. Uh, something like this. There we go. A little, little bit lower pitch. Whoa. Yeah, oh, I know. <laughs> Thank you. Strikes That's an admittedly yeah. horrifying thing that you can do with your voice. I don't. Oh, whoa, what the hell was that? Whoa. whoa, whoa. Sorry. Sorry to raise my voice for a second. <laughs> I mean. I hope my voice sounds like that one day. It, it just might. Uh, I, I hope it doesn't. Yeah, I, I am 175 years old, so it's it's oh, a, wow. it's mainly the age. Seven. Oh, yeah, you'll get there. Don't worry. <laughs> Don't worry. Oh God. I okay. think it's the chin smoking gold. <laughs> no, the gum is smoke. The gum is smoke. <laughs> uh, I wasn't the beginning. Uh, I smoke gum is. Uh, I can smoke my back. Look, watch. Oh, there you go. <laughs> Wow, oh, that that's pretty bright. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, I thought you'd be used to no, it by I, now. I know. Um, are you? No, I, are you dying no, of old age? No, I'm, I'm just coughing because I'll smoke. Don't worry, I'm I'm oh. I'm perfectly fine oh, for my oh, age. <laughs> well, that but, but what smoke. It just didn't even. Wow. Huh. Oh. Wait, yeah, that's the right cable. That's the right cable. I, we haven't okay. seen you use wow. your funky little arms in a while, huh? Turn on. Yeah, wait. Uh, we, turn on what? Uh, 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 I think camera. Oh, oh, okay. <laughs> I cannot just turn on my... No, no. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, we haven't had a good opportunity to find you something in a minute. You expect that out of him. Huh. Yeah. This is the great gold belt Lewis you're talking to. Oh. Okay. Well, he, he, his arms seem pretty damn strong. They do, but they they only come out when the moment is right. Yeah, yeah. They only. Arm wrestle you. Uh, yeah, the moment's right. Fuck it. Uh, <laughs> so, Whoa. So yeah, same thing as before. The stones pop up and they are held together with mud and water. Uh. And I, I I I put them down on like a little bit of rock over here. Uh. Mm -hmm. All right. Arm wrestle. I'm gonna like put down Ooh. my hammer so I can stand on it to reach it. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, 
All right. <laughs> On the oh, count. Little rock so and roll for like a <laughs> All right. On the count of three. Uh -huh. One, two, three. Uh, right. I'm gonna roll a I love that this is how this team <laughs> spends their off time. <laughs> Want to just have like a have, have like a contested roll here? Uh, athletics, I would assume. Uh, I can use my actually, I can use my wisdom modifier while I have this out. Uh, uh, yeah, I would say use your wisdom for this since that's its whole deal. Yeah. yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. all right, contested roll. Mm -hmm. Uh, all right, I got a seventeen. I got an 18. Oh! Uh, it's like a real oh. I... See? Oh, You're bloody strong oh. yourself, Missy. Yeah, you, you are pretty damn strong. I was close. Damn. Bunkers, you're so cool. Yeah. D daps up the Tinkaton. <laughs> mm -hmm. cool. Good shit. Uh, that's pretty damp. Ugh. You damped me up. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Let me damp you up. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that was so cool. You guys, hey. ever heard of runes? What was that? What? You guys, ever heard of runes? Runes? Ah. No. Runes. Like the funny little drawings ah. in the wall? Ah. I feel like I've gotten uh, louder. <laughs> like the funny little drawings <laughs> in the wall. <laughs> I, 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 I. Ah, tell me more about them. Hmm. This is this one sometime. I don't know. What do they do? Huh. There are all kinds of things that make my body freeze. And I want to understand this stuff. Oh, that's how you did that before. Ah. That's awesome. Oh, yeah, you draw on it. Yeah. While you guys have this little campfire, you can still see the mm. dead body of the unconscious scorpion <laughs> in the back. <laughs> oh, we want to eat some food? No, <laughs> I didn't suggest that. <laughs> toast it, toast it. Uh, they're non-sentient Pokemon, so uh -huh. they're it's it's morally fine to eat them. <laughs> we we eating good tonight. Well, I mean, you you said I looked pretty strong. How about you? I want to arm wrestle you now. Wow. The little Cyndaquil. Oh me? Oh me? Uh, I'm but I've never arm wrestled anyone before. <laughs> You like, need yes, to try it. Can, Come I on, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Okay. All right, Sid. Let's see your chance. Let's try arm wrestling move first. So this will be an it? athletics roll from you. Well, arm wrestle everybody in here. Then we'll go like round is robin it, uh, style. Is it a, uh, a round robin? Strength is it modifier. A uh, yes, d20. Okay. Mm -hmm. D20 plus your strength modifier, yes. And athletics, like proficiency. Okay. Uh, where is my? Oh my! Oh my! my. <laughs> That's a good sound. <laughs> oh, oh shoot! All right, go to so strength proficiency. Yeah? So yeah. like, would that be athletics or? Athletics, yes. Okay, so eighteen. Uh oh, sixteen. There you oh go! My God. Yeah. What the I grab I grab your little hand with my giant one like winner <laughs> like, like lift you up on your toes a little bit yeah <laughs> I want to now okay, after we're done here I want to fight you because holy shit all right sin <laughs> versus ribbon I got you I got you sin uh, okay. well what's right. what's gonna happen here is that you're gonna see like him start jiggling around the little the little the suit a little bit and his little his tiny little jelly bean body is going to pop out of, of the gel oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> two little funny arms two little nublet arms just grab at each other yeah, right. so he has his little niblet arm right, yeah. let's, let's do it Rivon. all right three two one draw i don't like that roll all right <laughs> I, yeah. I rolled a four, I rolled a fourteen. I also rolled a fourteen. <laughs> Do it again. Keep going. Hi right, guys, this is Space Taffer. Whoa, whoa, whoa! What are you all doing? All right. Whoa, whoa! A, whoa. a battle of strength. Is it another roll? Yeah, roll again. Yeah, roll. roll again. I guess it's something you do while you're. But okay. You want uh, in? Uh, this this time's a six. Uh, nah, uh, nah. I rolled a thirteen. Oh! Winner! 
Oh, man. Huh? Okay, Quill hasn't done it yet. Uh, Quill hasn't done it yet. Okay, here we yeah, all good yeah, to go? Yeah. 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 I don't okay. think I have. One more. All right. I think we should go. I do explore more. I'm, I'm not. Me and Quill? Right. Me and Quill? Is that what you're saying? I, I, I say, I mean, rib on one, so. Okay, rib on, rib on, yeah. I, 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 I yeah. say. I'm gonna go rib on one. No, 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 no thanks, no thanks. You no, sure? No, you look great. Yeah, Those ribbons yeah, look yeah, strong. Okay. I'm gonna put down my hammer. I don't make myself unconscious. I kind of have my, uh, can like, no muscle. I, <laughs> I, 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 I can uh, make you unconscious pretty damn quick. <laughs> <laughs> I call up on uh, Bonker's hammer again. Yeah. All right, well, you guys take a quick nap. I'll keep watch up for a second. I'll backflip back into the shell. <laughs> <sighs> so can you just, like, do that or, like... Like... Oh, no, that was very painful. Oh! Oh, God. Well, I mean, the, the pain was worth the no, victory. No the... pain, no gain, they say. Yeah, uh, my, my skin, uh, it starts to, um, dehydrate and decompose when it's out uh, oh. of the gel. Oh my fucking god! Um, <laughs> wow! Yeah, stay in there. If you want a little bit more water, I can give you some. Alright, no, that's okay. I thought, I thought you could relate with Ooh. your, with your mud stuff. Yeah, I mean, no? yeah. Don't, I... Uh, don't you salamander types get dry pretty quick. I get dry, but uh, luckily, uh, being able to produce some of my own water helps uh, a good bit. But, I mean, overall, yeah, it's, the same thing. Uh, it's definitely not my preferred area. Sorry, what was that one more time? I, I, can't, I, can't, I can't hear the you. Same thing. <laughs> it's the old, that's what the gel is. You, you want some gel? Yeah, you know what? I, I could use a little bit of gel just to see uh, how it feels. All sure, right. sure. Then. Ribbon will take their big old hand and put it on top of yours, and you will feel, a, or their their hand, put it on your head. Yeah, yeah. You'll feel a little bit, bit of suction as you're Whoa. Whoop, uh, okay. right inside of the Whoop. arm. <laughs> oh, no, oh, I forgot I can breathe. How's the flow? Honestly, <laughs> pretty nice. This it, is it, this is good. <laughs> Damn, you swim around like this all the time. I should do. The, I should get the. Did you get this gel yourself, or is this like? Well, I'm, I was the crudest. Damn, mm. it's good secretion. All right, so cool. With you ah. guys, with this rest, you guys are like uh, bonding further as an exploration team. <laughs> Everything, uh, as far as HP and magic, has been healed and reset uh, wow. just to prepare for the last leg of your journey through this very large and foreboding and mm. somewhat dangerous temple. And as you guys uh, start to stir and rouse from your little rest and get ready to finish out the journey, uh, the ethereal spirit starts to manifest itself before you guys once more. What year is it? Oh, the ethereal spirit does not have an Oreo in her mouth. Um. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, what's an Oreo? Oreos didn't exist you in the sure about world. Can I have one? You sure They're up in heaven, Beware. brother. Oh. Beware of the guardian. Oh, she's still chewing it. It sleeps with the treasure. Silence. Oh, okay, sorry. It sleeps with the treasure, eternally protecting our legacy. What was that? I, I, I zoned out. Once she's done chewing in the afterlife. I just uh, woke up. You know, suddenly, I, ho I have a lot less reverence and respect for that Osplam. I don't know why. Silence. <laughs> Shut up. Beware the guardian. It sleeps with the treasure, eternally Whoa. protecting our legacy. Whoa. Beware the guardian. Yeah. Well, I, I mean, I, I I have to say, I think Sin is kind of a treasure, and I slept next to him, so therefore I am the guardian. Well, oh, that's wow. the nicest thing you've ever said to that's me. It does not yeah. sound like adequate logic, but I will agree with you so that you do not argue with me. I am the guardian. <laughs> <laughs> if anything, you're our guardian, bonkers. You are! Uh, well, uh -huh. I mean, I'm gonna guess that uh, it might be through the next door. Doorway! Oh, Doorway, yes. yeah! If you guys want to go through the next door, okay. Wait, wait, guys, wait up! Yeah, wait up, everybody. This doorway looks uh, pretty strong. Yeah. Wait, I gotta, I gotta fix something real quick. I just realized yeah. I have... 
Oh no, I don't have to fix any squares. Oh. <laughs> All right, this room is a little bit larger than the last one. Ooh, I keep going to grab Melody, and I have to like course correct myself. <laughs> Wrong. <laughs> Wrong guy. <laughs> Hey, what the, what the fuck am I doing here? <laughs> wow, kill. <laughs> oh? Hey, what the fuck? <laughs> oh. That guy. Oh, so, so it's a pretty pretty dark, but now that Sin is here, you can kind of see um, there's like some darker areas of the room. So if you want to... Sin, you want to you wanna do your thing? <laughs> Sorry, right. I just woke oh up. my god! <laughs> oh, so with the light, you can kind of see nothing's over here. bunker has got the zoomies. Oh, lovely. <laughs> going up this way, there's nothing quite oh, that way. Oh, yeah. Um, but I, as you guys are like stomping going around and making to preemptively a big old do a ruckus. thing. Uh, sorry, uh, I want to preemptively activate a wild shape oh, related yeah. thing. Uh, go ahead, oh, continue. What? All right. Oh, uh, wild. Wait, what? So, so, so. Wild shape. Seeing, seeing the uh. The fact that yeah, this room's getting very empty very quickly, and we know that there's a guardian nearby. Uh, Gold's uh, little little skeletal like, what are they, what are they called? Uh, the things that like his ears up and that not ears, the axolotl ear uh, things. Little, um, antenna, uh, antenna, uh, the, I the believe they're spines. Yeah, yeah, the yes. little crossbow. They they start kind of like glowing a lit a little bit purple. Uh, I'm gonna activate a circle of spores related thing. Uh, Ooh. <laughs> The spores. You're a druid? I'm, I'm part what, druid. What, what, are you, what, are you, uh, yeah, what are you trying to do? So, so I apologize. This is a preemptive buff of myself. So in case we get into combat, I have it already activated. All right. yeah, Actually, speaking, speaking, speaking around, of which, uh, speaking of which, but I will way, say uh, that uh, just as a reminder of what the Espion said, that the Guardian is with the treasure. So this, the, it, it could, it could be the Guardian, but perhaps. There is more. I forgot that we were trying to unlock a statue. Continue. Perhaps yeah, I will not do that as action. As Never are, mind. As you guys, uh, yeah, you can save that. But as you guys Man, are walking around and trying to explore well, the well, that was so room. stupid of you. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Morty. Uh, okay. Uh, uh, hold on. What's up, Ribbon? There's no. Oh. Unlike. Unlike. Oh, sorry. Go, go Ribbon. Go. Oh, I, I was just going to ask uh, just because. Just for posterity's sake. Uh, the armor of Agath is that I asked that I cast before. Is that still live? Is that still going? What's the uh, duration of it? Um, it's an about hour. an hour. Has it been an hour I... since the first combat, Pixie? <laughs> I think so, yes. Oh, fuck. Okay. Oh, fuck. <laughs> you slept. Yeah, you no. spell slots back. <laughs> yeah. I can't. That was a short rest. She said all the magic is back. Yeah, all magic okay. stuff. Doing if the magic stuff. stuff is back, then I will recast our armor again. <laughs> cool. All right. Well, as you guys are uh, exploring the seemingly empty room, you can notice that there's no pillar like the last time that would potentially spawn an amulet. But as little Sin kind of just lights up the area more and more, uh, uh, hang on, where's the thing? A Copagrigus and a Yamask oh, suddenly appear oh, out of the dark. Okay, I do use the thing then. <laughs> okay. We're gonna, we are gonna enter into our second battle. Okay, okay. Whoa. You're gonna want it yourselves. I need everybody to roll an initiative check for me. All right. Let's go. Yay. The mummy oh appears. Oh my god. <laughs> the mummy. Well, yeah. Oh, natural later. one. Okay, okay. Oh, Dan, you've sucked with me. I've had a two and a uh, one on these yeah. initiatives. <laughs> buh, 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 buh. Is it just plus one for me? Probably. Uh, okay, so Dan, you have just a one, right? I have a three. So I, I have a, I have three. eighteen. Wow, Hayden, good job. Okay. Uh, let me know, everybody else, what your rolls are. Twelve. Twelve. Okay. Jakey. One. Twenty-one. I also put it in the chat for memory. Thank you. Uh, Peck you. Twenty-three yet again. Wow. Damn. Okay. Yeah, that quick claw is helping. <laughs> All right, yeah, we got cool. one. Uh, we're going to have the Yamask be at 17. Ugh. And then my second roll is a 15. So that is the Cofagrigus. Okay. All right. So, wait, is that? 
What? Oh, yeah, oh. I, did, I, did, I did roll 15. No, I'm fine. I, I, I just can't read. I'm blind as fuck. Uh. Okay. So, with these two, all of a sudden from the darkness, you see these ghost type Pokemon appear, and their red eyes are just. Gl- One of them's kind of like crying, you know, a little baby Yamas, but the Copagrigus looks absolutely pissed. Um, but you can uh, hear from inside the Copagrigus, there seems to be maybe like a rattling sound. Um, so, you guys could maybe infer that maybe defeating the Copagrigus could yield something pretty important that you guys are looking for. So, with that being said, we're going to go ahead and get started. I need Peck you to go first, and then Jakey, you are on standby. I already know what I'm doing. Uh, we're going to run all the way up 30 feet, right in front of these two little, little sons of bitches here. Mm-hmm. Uh, get nice up and up and up close personal in range. And I'm gonna smack the shit out of that cough grease. Hell yeah, brother! Okay. With a, uh, I am winding back with that psychic infused punch. All right. For a you need a twenty for a rolling hit, please. Hey, chat. I'm last in initiative. We're here for a while. How you guys doing? <laughs> that is a dirty twenty to hit. Wow, that does hit. All right. Damage. You can barely hear the narrator. Really? How's the audio balancing? I thought I, I thought the audio balancing was, was fine. I will double check that. It's a full stop. Okay. Uh, oh my god, I'm rolling bad on this damage. Goodness. Um, that is a... Uh, six. Ten points of uh, thunder damage into Buddy. Okay. Um, and once again, he is nice and uh, booming bladed, and also um, an ol- uh, uh, or he can't only attack me, but uh, he will have disadvantage on attack rolls on everyone other than me for the remainder of the turn. Ooh. Okay. So that was 10 points will... of damage? 10 points of thunder damage, yes. Okay, perfect. So your thunder damage comes loose and it kind of just crashes into the yaw mask and he, he kind of staggers. Oh, it was the copper oops, 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 oops. My bad, my bad. I thought it was the yaw mask. I don't know. Oh, I am out of range of the yaw mask. Okay, perfect. Okay, so Copagrius takes 10 hit points of damage. Ooh, he kind of shrugs it off and his, his little black arms are kind of waving around. He's still got plenty of energy, but he did take a, a good hit there. So that was a great damage roll by the Ribon mm. Rio Nicholas. Good job. All right. I'll go ahead and back up five feet. Okay. And Which then would be trigger the an turn. attack of opportunity. If oh, okay. On the copper grease. Okay. Uh, yeah, it would burn your reaction, but you could if you wanted to. What do you mean burn? Re- Say that again with burn reaction. Sorry. You only have burn one your reaction, reaction to use yeah. a uh, a attack of opportunity, so you could use throughout it the now whole battle. Him. Uh, uh, for, 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 until your next for turn. this turn. Oh, yeah, okay. Your then turn yes, I will go ahead. Copper grease. Yeah. Sees the Rayunica, uh, you know, slightly retreat, and it's gonna reach out with one of its long arms to try and do a shadow ball with a fourteen. Oh, that I rolled. Not hit. That does not hit. And Actually, wait. Just, did you just roll the fourteen? I rolled a fourteen. Oh, what, uh, uh, what, what wait. Modifiers? What modifier do I add? Dexterity. Uh, what is your plus to hit? Uh, on that uh, like all all the things that you control have a, a plus to hit. Yeah. It says plus to hit. Oh, I might have. Oops, I might have accidentally deleted that. Um, let's see. I'm just gonna go. You're right. Where would it say plus? It, to... it would make no sense for it to hit us. <laughs> where would it say? Pl- where would it say plus to hit normally? Uh, uh, at the start of the attack. Hang on. Give me, give me like five seconds here. I'm mm-hmm. just gonna look. One. No, go ahead. Get down. I mean, don't get me wrong. If it's a plus zero to hit, I'll take it. Yeah, I mean. <laughs> it, it's a coffin. Why is it gonna? Uh, the coffins can't hit me. Yeah, exactly. It's a, oh, are you not hit points? Not armor. Two flat. hits on on the shadow ball. Yeah, the shadow ball is what you're looking for. Oh wait, hold on. Uh. Oh, plus five to hit. Oh, yes. There we go. So that would be a 19 to hit, which would hit. Okay, which I will so, allow to hit. okay, so right now the shadow ball. Um, 
I need to roll a 2d6 plus 3. So let me get my d6. This guy's weaker than the scorpions. We're fine. <laughs> uh, might be weaker, but it's a... Right, is, we all. It's a... Yeah. <laughs> um, so let's see. Two. So that is going to be a 3 and a 3, 3. So 9 hits of damage. The Shadow Ball comes crashing into the Ray Uniculus and does quite a quite a little bit of a hit on the Psychic type Pokemon. And he kind of... Oh, he's God. like waving his arms like, oh, I got you kind of thing. <laughs> 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 All right, and as that happens, um, the uh, sort of freezing, mm. cold, frozen energy uh, from around Cleborn also starts to creep back into the hand that Tophagrigus used to do that attack of opportunity, as it takes 10 points of cold damage from Armor of Agathis. Ooh, okay, so you t now hit 20 points of damage on this Tophagrigus, right? Yep, and for okay. my bonus action, I will pop out my little homunculus man have him make his little attack okay. as he hops uh, like probably three feet back and then like 20 feet in the air let me just actually put him in there also I'm hearing myself echo a little bit I don't know if that's anybody else a talk again personally uh, yeah. yeah talk again talk loudly uh hello like huh? a little bit longer no I'm not hearing it yeah, I'm not, oh, I, mean, I did it. hear it, but it's, yeah. yeah. Oh, well, if it's it. gone now, it's gone. But I will do an, uh, my little bonus action attack with my little man <laughs> um, into the, the Cofagrigus. Okay. It's a natural one, so it's not going to hit. It's not going <laughs> to hit. So he kind of just boing, <laughs> bounces off, and the Cofagrigus, like, brushes off with one of his hands, like, Oof. that's the best you got, kind of a, kind of a mm -hmm. face on him. All, All right. right. Well, that's perfectly okay, and that will end my turn. All right. So we have Jakey up and Fire's on standby. Hayden. Hayden All right. <laughs> so, so you said the Cofagrigus has something inside of it that it's protecting. You can hear kind of a rattling going on as it is like moving around. Okay. I'm gonna try something, and feel free to stop me if this is like, if this is gonna like absolutely like break everything. But uh, well, first off, I'm gonna turn to a to a goal and be like hey you you kind of kind of had a bit of a hard time last time let me let me help you out with that and i'm gonna give you an inspiration d8 oh all right i'll make good use and of this gonna, thank you i'm gonna turn back to the uh coffee what'd you say hidden? i said whoa oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> whoa. hey repeat ah. that whoa, <laughs> <laughs> whoa. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> all right get that on the soundboard the uh, the uh, Cofagrigus, and then I'm just gonna like look look at it's like, hey, how about you give us the thing that you're protecting, and I'm gonna kind of charm it, but like suggest it to do something. So if you could make a Wisdom saving throw mm. for the Cofagrigus. Ooh, that is a nat one. <laughs> okay. It has 12, okay. 12 wisdom plus one, so that was 14 total. Wait, what? For I the think, right? Oh, wait. So D D20 plus the... You rolled a nat one, and it's plus one, so that's two. Yeah. Oh, yeah, so okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. So, so, yeah, so it failed. So, uh, it well, this would be up to you, Pixie, but it would... Pursue the course of action that I described to the best of its ability. So it's up to you as to like perhaps re it's... re say what you asked it. Yeah, yeah, I mainly asked it to. Let me try to make sure I get the got the wording right. To give us what it's protecting. And why should I give you what's inside? What have you done to earn it? Because you failed the wisdom kinda... saving throw. <laughs> yeah. that, that's why you should do it. <laughs> oh, okay. Kind okay. Of yeah. 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 All right. Well, okay, again, um, again. the Cofagrius kind of like rubs its like little hand behind the back of its head and is like, it's it's kind of it's kind of feeling something that's hard, you know, with with Sylvie on there, you know, speaking words to it. So, um, I'm gonna allow it. The from from the coffin, out pops a little amulet and it has uh the moon on it i just gotta draw it first huh. okay. give me one sec no uh, problem uh, we'll do, uh, huh. i was gonna say i don't think, I don't think that even 
this combat's still happening, right? It just spat yeah, out. Combat's still happening. It's just, yeah, yeah, so it's, it's, yeah. It's spat it out. But yeah, so now combat it's like still available happening. for us to take. Yeah. Yep. So if you guys want to stay in battle, or if you want to leave, whatever you guys want. Whoa, 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 yeah, we can on, still on, fight let me, if we're. Let me make sure I'm aware of the conditions. Just, just cause. So, um, Roleplay combat. So I mean, yeah, I guess this would kind of be like to the other people' knowledge about D and D, but like, because I know this only lasts. Oh wait, no, hold up. Yeah, it only lasts a turn, I think. For a suggestion. Well, it dropped it. <laughs> yeah, I dropped it. I just because I don't know if it's gonna be. It lasts until it complete. It lasts until it completes this course of action. It's still hostile to us. It's just gonna do the thing you ask. Right. Okay. 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 So then yeah. uh, I'm gonna. So where's where's the amulet? At? Amulet or... is right here. Perhaps it might be angry that we tricked it with magic. You know. Oh, yeah. To, to continue. So it's still gonna be hostile. Well, we can worry about that later. Yes. So uh, I'm just gonna. Pretty clearly, uh, Quill's just gonna grab it and just. Uh, actually, you know what? Let's see how far I can get. So if I, if I just go up here, just grab it, and then again, how much movement do I have? Twenty-five left. Right. Right. Probably. Yep. Yep. And then we're just gonna kind of just walk away with it. <laughs> and my coin. You took it. <laughs> <laughs> and All then, right. Uh, yeah. That's my turn. All right, so we have Hayden up on deck, and then we have the Yamask and Kava Grigas on standby. Amy, you gotta wait a couple turns. That's until... fine. Okay, okay. So, go up. Go ahead, Hayden. So, if I was to do something that uh, operates in a cone, would I hit Amy right now? You could aim it. To not like Depends okay. how you aim it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You could like. Uh, you, would you could also move to like position yourself too. So. Yeah. I'm assuming so you're thinking of burning. Yeah, it would be like right. this. Yeah. So you right. would like Whoa. aim it however you want. Wait, so how do I get that? Uh, I, I can move it for you, but uh, how big yeah, you is would it? Have to what, have what is the it thing you're using? Foot. Yeah, 15 so, foot down, so Hang on, wait. So, one, two, probably about that, I think, right? Yeah, that's about it. So you'd be able to do this. Originating from you, there you go. yes. So you'd just yeah, be able okay. to get that one. All right, cool, yeah. Unless uh, you I move wanna... closer and then you can cool. get both. I you could like cast... stand here and get both. Yeah, uh, wait, sorry, stand where? If you stand like here, you can probably get both of them. If you're looking at one more tile down. Yeah, okay, uh, so, so Sin uh, mo moves closer so that, um, so that they're both in range. So like, how do I move myself? Uh, the walkie guy up top. Yeah. And then. Then, there you go. Okay, and then I cast Burning Hands. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yippee! All right. So, Dexterity uh, saving uh, throw to both of them. So that's, okay. uh, remind me what a Dexterity save, wow, to them, okay. You don't have to do yeah, anything. To them. Yeah. Yep, yep. You roll your damage, you and win. then if they fail, they take <laughs> full damage. So I, I, I roll my damage, damage now. I don't do a d20, I just do the three d6. Yeah, you just roll your right. damage. Yes. Pixie, you and need Pixie to just roll the deck saves. Okay. So when you say, because I see my monster as like dexterity plus So yeah, two. you roll your d20 and add your dexterity, either uh, uh, either bonus or your saving throw if it mentions it. Okay, I've, uh, I've rolled damage. So right now I have a dexterity of 15 plus two. That's what I'm that so plus two is you all you have to roll. You have to roll uh, okay. saving. Okay. What does uh, overpower yeah. mean, by the way, when it says it? Uh... All right. I rolled a 14, uh... 12 plus two. Does overpower. Uh... Uh, it, it... I'm a little uh, unaware of what be. That is upcasting the spell. You're you using it as a. One state, uh, yeah, with a level, level two spell slot. Yes. Okay, okay. Um, I don't want to do that. So. I rolled a uh, 12 for damage. And what is your spell save? A yeah. DC. My, my spell save? Uh, but, 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 but where do I see? Well, that's 15. That I was thinking you noted down before. Spells. Yeah, yeah. It's on the top of the spell. On the top of the spell sheet? Yes. It, uh, it should say DC. Oh, 14. A number. Yeah. 14. Oh, they just save. So okay. they yeah, take yeah, half yeah. damage. You rolled a 14. Mm -hmm. Okay, so six. Mm -hmm. Okay, so they, they take, take six, six damage. Okay, they so six damage, yeah. All right, 
So this triangle of fire comes out from this little Cyndaquil, uh, you know, waddling along, and they're quite surprised that something so powerful can come from such a little guy, a little fella. Uh, but they both definitely take a little bit of that fire damage, and they're both Rah! they kind of squeak <laughs> out in in pain. So very good hit on them. So now they're they're both hurting a little bit, but they're still raring to go. They're still ready to fight. Um, there's no, there's nothing I can do, uh, since I'm not, I don't have any bonus action spells, I can't really do anything apart from move now, right? Yes. Yep. And yeah. it doesn't have an opportunity, I don't think, so you could leave freely. Yeah. Yep. Uh, okay, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna back off after... See, so yeah, you have, like, 25 feet of movement left, mm -hmm. so... Uh, okay. You can go within 25 feet of wherever. So if I were to go this way, would it would it have opportunity? Nope. Um, no, 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 it already used, used its it. opportunity on Peku. Yep. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna run over here. I'm gonna scuttle past Peku so that I'm like yeah. between uh, <laughs> Hell so I'm yeah. between Quill and uh, the Cofagrigus. Yep. Yep. Nice. All right. And then will that be your turn? And that will be my turn. Next. All right, Amy. I'm gonna do two attacks with the Pokemon, Yippee! and then you'll be on standby. So. After having taken a little bit of fire damage, you know, they're kind of shaking off the little bit of ashes that are left on their their gold plates of uh, the parts of their bodies. And the Yaw Mask, let's see, I gotta look at the map. The Yaw Mask kind of looks to the, the person that's closest. Let's see, who can we, who, actually, we're gonna, we're gonna make a straight beeline. Um, hmm? We're gonna do, uh, where's the moving thing? It's, it's this one, yeah, okay, let me see. Yes. Sorry, and we have walkie guy up top. Sorry to interrupt. Oh, go ahead. Like, um, yeah. So I can. Do I have eight charges for my spells overall? Is that like the number? And I just use one. Uh, oh, you, you use one first spell level slots. spell slot. Oh, yeah. okay. You okay, have yeah, four yeah, first yeah, level. So I have four level yeah. one spell slots. Okay. Yes. Okay, four yeah. level yeah. ones, three level twos, two level threes. Yeah, yeah, and I just use one, so I have three level one slots left. Okay, gotcha. Yes. Exactly. exactly. All right. All right. Thank you. Yeah. So little yaw mask here kind of looks like straight ahead at who's right in front of it. And on the same tile right here, Wooper is kind of just sitting there, you know, bouncing in place, kind of watching everything happen. He's going to come right here. So there won't be an attack of opportunity, sadly, but uh, I will not take it. Yeah, we're going to launch a shadow ball directly uh, at the Wooper. Okay, so okay. I need uh, let's roll a D. I rolled a 13. That does not hit. And the shadow ball just barely misses the whooper. He kind of does a backflip maybe hey, what the fuck? to avoid as it as it hits the, the ground and he kinda he kinda waves his arms in frustration. Uh the melody let's came see out. What he can do. He can do <laughs> anything else. <laughs> uh, no, that will That will be it. It'll it'll just try to fire a shadow ball okay. and it won't do much of anything. But as soon as he finishes his attack, the Kafagrigus slowly, eerily turns toward the Tinkatung that is right next to it. And it, uh, it's gonna also get ready a really big shadow ball to directly aim right at Tinkatun. And so it's a disadvantage. Rolled... Don't forget. Disadvantage? Yeah, because if you yes. attack anything other than Peku. The booming blade. That, uh, oh yeah, well that's, not, a, that's yeah, okay. It was, it's, it was it was the thunder gun. Yeah, that's happened. okay. Yeah. That's okay. Yeah. All right. So rolling, I rolled a twelve, but that's probably not going to hit anyway because it's disadvantage. That does not. Okay. So I, once again, wait, uh, wait, 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 unless that's with did your. Did you to add hit. the plus to hit modifiers? Plus to hit would be. It was like the plus, plus five. Four. Oh, that so would yeah. hit me. Seven, seventeen. I rolled seventeen, then, so twelve plus five is seventeen. Yes. Okay. Did, you, Did roll you roll with disadvantage? disadvantage? What do you mean roll disadvantage? So roll a second <laughs> one, and if it's lower, you okay. use that one instead. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, no, that I rolled a sixteen this time. Oh, so then, I... yeah, you hit okay. me. You hit me. Yeah, Good job. Okay. You All right. So the shadow ball gets it puts its palms kind of out in front of its body, and this big black shadowy blob kind of formulates out of nothing, and it shoves, it thrusts its hands forward, and this huge shadow ball comes flying yeah. over, and it knocks into into bonkers, and it kind of hits square dead on in the body, and uh, we are going to do. Let's see. Your funky little damage. Let's see. Let's see. Uh, I'm gonna roll two d six plus three. I gotta find my six dice real quick. Oh, it's just a regular dice. Doi. That is a one and a six plus three is ten points of damage. The shadow ball has done ten points. 
All good. Got it. All, All right. right, and then the Cophagrigus is just going to stand still, its little tentacled arms kind of waving in the air. Its turn is going to be done. Amy is on deck, and we have Dan, I believe, on standby. Let's go! Yes. So, being hit by this, I am going to glare at this thing, and I am going to activate a Thunderous Smite, which I'm going to say is Sword Dance, which buffs up my next attack. And with that, I'm going to take a swing at this guy, which will right. be... A fucking eleven to hit on the Copagrius. That is not yeah. going to hit. It's kind of just gonna phase out of existence. Okay, being the ghost type Pokemon that it is, and then one phase second, back. Double check how thunderous might works. Is that okay? And then I will make one more attack as a second attempt. Okay, go ahead. That will be <laughs> 12. That is not going to hit. It's going to phase out of existence again and go, ho, ho, ho. Awesome. I fucking kinda, miss you know, both kinda, of them. Kind of laugh at the Tinkaton's futile attempt to attack right back. Would you like awesome. to do anything else with your turn? That's the bonus action and the action. Uh, Methinks mm -hmm. you're done. <laughs> Methinks that's it. Okay. All right. That's all good. Happens. Yeah, that that be D and D man. So Dan on deck, peck you on standby. Oh, you want to take a shot at me? I just like whoop, 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 little whooper walk. Well, check out these guns. Bam! <laughs> Plunge them right in right in the face. I believe I get advantage because I'm being I'm flanking them with uh with our friend Ribbon behind. Uh, oh, are we God. playing with flanking rules? We're playing with the if that we're is your close, choice. then it's great. Okay, yeah. Pixie, if if we have an enemy surrounded, what some rules would say that I have a better chance to hit the target. Are we playing with that today? We'll allow it. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. All right. So good, because that first one was a two. Uh, <laughs> it might not be that much better. Uh, believe that's gonna be a twelve. Today. Twelve to hit. That it. The let's see for On the, the yaw mask. Yeah, on the yaw mask. That, uh, his, uh, is it, if it lands it on 12? it, it does hit? Yes, it's means 12. it beats it. Okay. Yes. All right, so it, it does actually oh, go I like through. that. Uh, also, it it. the D8 you gave me, uh, when does that get expended? Or is, uh, it's been a minute since I played with the bard, right? So I, I can use yeah, that when so I like. Yeah, you can use that whenever you like. Uh, you can use it on an ability check, a tackle, or saving throw. Okay, excellent. Thank you. Uh, well, it hit, so I will keep on attacking. Uh, so I believe that's going to be a 1d4 plus uh, 5. So, grab my little dice. Uh, that's going to be 6 damage. All right. And now I'm going to use the key point and do Flurry of Blows. <laughs> All right. <laughs> And do two more additional attacks with these guns. Uh, All right. Wow, this whooper's kind of wailing on the Yamas. He's kind of taking taking the punches. That's why he's crying down there. Yeah, 14 on the dice. Uh, so definitely hits. Um, Because that would be like a total of like yeah, 22-ish. Uh, mm -hmm. So rolling that damage. Wait, to Sorry? Oh. Uh, yeah, yeah, no, go ahead. Go ahead. Uh, yeah, you said the AC was 12 and I rolled a 14. So even without oh. adding any numbers, I'm like, I think I beat it. Uh, oh, yeah, so that's yeah. gonna be another six damage. All right. I I, I I punch it in the mask, like stagger it for a second. I go for one more hit. All right. It's gonna be another fourteen on the dice, as I go for yep. one more one more blow, uh, to probably right like up, up, upside the head. I smack it upside the head here for seven damage. Wow, the whooper is just kind of walloping this yaw mask with hit after hit after blow after blow. Ooh, 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 jeez. <laughs> You've like, it, you have probably whittled its, whittled its strength now to about a third of what it was just a little bit ago. It's kind of staggering, swaying while it's levitating midair. It's it's not looking too hot right now. So good job on the whooper for really wearing and tearing down that yaw mask. Beautiful. All right. And that's gonna be my movement, my bonus action, and my oops, and my action. So in turn. All right. Peck you on deck, Jakey on standby. All right. Um. Hmm. <laughs> well, the booming blade is, I believe, gone now. Because 
it has come back around to my turn, and mm -hmm. Cofagregus is not moved. Um, from here, I will once again, I think, probably just entrench myself right in between these two. Um, and then go ahead and make an attack against the Cofagregus. Uh, once again, the booming bladed. Time. Oh, natural 19. Wow, um, that is good to hit. Okay. For sure. Alright, so another 2d8 will come out. Which will be... Uh, less bad this time, thankfully. That is, uh, 14 points of thunder damage. Wow. As you are once again, uh, proper bladed up and such. Yeah, uh, so, so that... Oh, go ahead, go ahead, sorry. So, you'll once again be sort of surrounded by that mm. psychic energy and a little bit more inclined to attack uh, Fribon specifically when compared to uh, others on the field. And then, um, I suppose... Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll attack with this little man again. <laughs> the little guy. Let's go, little dude! <laughs> the mini-me. Uh, uh, which I will do into the yaw mask. And that is going to be a... Um, 14 to hit. That is going to hit. Wonderful. Uh, he will take a tiny little bit of damage from my little man. As a little bit of psychic energy comes out and barely scratches you, that is three damage. <laughs> All right, so the the Cofagrigus has kind of been hit pretty heavily by uh, what was that like? How many points of damage did you, you did a big fucking number on the Yam on the um, Cofagrigus, Sorry, uh, so he's kind of uh, fourteen damage into Cofagrigus with that round. Yeah, so Cofagrigus has kind of taken some heavy hits, but he still looks like he has a little bit of fight left in him. Yaw mask, it looks like it's like a hair's breadth away from just, you know, toppling over and phasing out of existence, evaporating into dust. It's barely hanging on, even with the little bit of damage that it just took. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. uh, Rebon just did a great number of uh, damage against the enemy, so good job on that. Would you like to do anything else on your turn? I'll back up again to okay. potentially trigger an attack if you are inclined. Are you going to back up? Uh, oh, back you... up five feet out of out of the Cofagrigus's range. Okay, uh, we'll we'll just leave it at that, right, and then yeah. we're gonna have Jakey on deck and Hayden on standby. All right, so so what were you saying? So the Yaw mask looks like almost dead, and yeah. the the other one's uh... Cofagrigus got a little bit of fight left in him, but Yaw mask is looking pretty rough right now. Okay, uh, so I'm oh punch them when it's your turn. That's the plan. Don't worry. Gold Belt Lewis has a plan. Them help, and I'm also Maybe. going to give you a uh, D8 inspiration die. Maybe. And then I'm just going to turn to the Kafa Grigas and just say, and kind of say in a menacing voice, just like, I can't believe you would all try to ambush us from the shadows. Oh. You really suck. Yeah. As I viciously yeah. mock this, uh, <laughs> the vicious market. So, uh, That's awesome. You're the one who came into our home. It kind of rumbles. We, we have a mission to accomplish. Uh, yeah. So, uh, it's, yeah, it's yeah, yeah get him. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Tell him. yeah. Uh, so it uh, do a for the uh, Cofagrigus do a wisdom saving throw. So uh -huh. he has a wisdom of twelve plus one. So, so plus, plus one. one. Oh, okay. Yeah, the rule of thumb is that the modifier is what is oh. modifying your dice. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. Okay, I, I will slowly glare this. I rolled a fifteen plus no one, problem. so sixteen total. Yay. Meets so it beats I it. Yep, yep, that meets the DC. So uh, you are not affected. Yeah. You take no damage. Yippee. You take no damage. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, He's kind of just like, growling ah, at you. Well, that didn't work. Uh, and then I'm just gonna keep moving. Uh, try to move closer to the uh, to the uh, to where the statue is. So that's what I mean. And uh, that's All my turn. Right. Right. Sounds good. Hayden, you are up. And then Amy, after my turn, you will be on standby. Mm. Okay. So I wanna 
Uh, so you said the uh, the Cofagrigus has got like a little bit of fight left in it. Yeah, he's he's still looking pretty pretty okay. So I, I want to run up to this Cofagrigus and um, I want to summon Green Flame Blade. Oh hell Ooh. yeah! Stab it. Okay. Yeah, go for it. <laughs> so, uh, Green Flame Blade does need to be next to it. So, yeah, he's running up. Yeah, there. He, he, he ran up to it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Hell yeah. Um, so that is uh, one. Is it just one d8? Is that what it is? Uh, no, you, you would, get a roll you would d20 have to roll first the hit to see first. if it hits. Yes. So roll oh, d20. Okay. Yeah, Frisk. If you want to message me about that, either in probably Discord or like at, probably better at me on on Twitter. I'd be interested in that. Thank you. Hey, we're all learning. And what's the what's the uh, spell hit modifier? Where, uh, where do I see spell that? Spell attack modifier. That might be somewhere. Like so oh, in New York, so plus six. That'll yes. be a plus six. Yeah, that would be plus six for you. Okay, let me roll the d20. Oh, 19. Let's so go. All right. That's also what? gonna flinch it. Oh, oh that's all right. That's beca yeah, because my king's Kate... is the, yeah, my king's rock's gonna proc. Yep. <laughs> okay. King proc and a rock. <laughs> <laughs> so because for, for clarification for the audience Hayden is holding a King's Rock which is an item that will allow a Pokemon to flinch if he rolls a nat 19 or nat 20 mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so because he rolled that nat 19 Coppagrius cannot move the next turn yep yep oh beautiful get him that was really good alright now I have to roll for damage yeah yes <laughs> So, blah, 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 blah. so what do I roll? Just 1d8 for... Uh... Uh, 1d8, I believe, yes. Just for 1d8 uh, plus button. your weapon damage, which was... A also, while he's rolling damage, if you're wondering who's playing who, the, the text is really hard to read, but there is uh, words on who is who. Uh, uh, down... God, what is my, 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 my perception? Down there. <laughs> yeah, all, 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 the, all the things have little words below them, so you can at least see who, who their names are. Uh, yes, I believe, na namely... Volpixi and Fyrus Hayden are the most notable of, of the streamers, but we I do believe have I don't believe if Peku and JK stream, but Ainiumi also streams. Yeah, yeah, okay. 14 oh, damage. Yeah. I, I did 14 damage. Oh, yeah. Ooh, nice. Mm -hmm. Very nice. And by the by, uh Pixie. Alright. So uh, would you oh sorry. Oh, Pardon. go ahead. Would you consider the Cofagrigus and the Yamask next to each other? Or within yes. five feet of one another. Mm. Yes. All right. Um, roll another D8. Also deals uh, one D8 yep, plus yep. three. You have I splash see. damage. All right. so, yeah. Yeah, that's a great play. Maybe this is good for us. So another that D8 is, another for hitting six, the that is six damage to the, uh, to the yeah, Yamask. Yamask. Yeah. All right. Yep. So, so uh, Hayden, do you, if you want to describe your attack a little bit. <laughs> All right. So... Uh, uh, it's it's not quite dead, but... Yeah. I, re I remember how I handled the score, the whatever, Scroopy, is that what it was called? Yeah, Scroopy, yep. And I was like, because that was the first time uh, Sin had ever, you know, tried to do something like that. He, uh, he conjures up this blade of pure green flame from, uh, from behind him and, uh, takes a deep breath, because, you know, he's a fucking baby, and, uh, and, uh, strikes the Cofagrigus, like, just straight through the center. Oh! <laughs> Stabs yeah, it. With that, with that hit, the Cofagrigus has suffered egregious damage. It is now wavering and and uh, you know not really steady. You know, levitating on the ground. It's it's starting to get a weak look in its eyes and its arms aren't quite flapping as much. You did a great deal of damage on it, and then the splashing effect of that flame kind of got onto the Yamask. <laughs> Ooh, he's kind of, he's kind of, he's kind of literally on his last leg. So he, he's barely hanging on, and Kafagrigus ain't far behind. So Hayden did amazingly with that attack. So good job on that. Uh, and that, that's my, that's my turn, right? Because I used, I've already moved to, into place, and then I did my attack, right? Move in action. Yes, yep. exactly. Yep. yep. All right. Cool. So that's my turn. All right. And with that, I, uh, I'm. Cofagrigus cannot move this turn, so it's kind of just like oh, yeah. it's kind of stunned with the, the as Isn't you hit now? it with the green blade, the King's Rock kind of dinged it, and it kind of got this like blue shimmer all over it, and it's like literally paralyzed. How it cannot move? How bad is it looking? It's uh, it probably will need one or two more hits. Probably one okay. more hit. Both Ooh. probably only need one more hit. Yamask for sure. <laughs> um, but the Yamask, even though it's like on the brink of being unconscious and knocked out in battle, it slowly will uh, look towards the whooper once again and try to to, to take it out i don't so, think so when something starts within when something starts its turn within its range of me because of the uh druid thing i have i can do damage to it oh okay 
So, so what I, do I roll? So this is a damage roll for me. Uh, okay. Or actually, uh, or is it? Let me let me double check something here. So, funny little thing with Circle of Spores Druid is I have a thing called Halo of Spores. Yeah. So you must uh, do a Constitution saving throw. Pardon. So please roll a D twenty for me. I rolled a 12 plus 2, 14. That is not enough. So I get to do 2d4 points of damage to it. Uh, I'll just I'll just save you the trouble. Uh, how do you want to finish off the Yamask? Beautiful. Draw! And I just spit a poison sting <laughs> right at it. Uh, and just like how I put out the cigarette before, it too goes out. Whoa. <laughs> and drops down. <laughs> Next! <laughs> All right. Yamask is down and uh, unable to do anything because it's flinched. The, the Kofagrigus watch as its companion just topples over uh, at the damage mm -hmm. from the poison sting. Uh, it's kind of got a sad look in its eyes. It's like my brethren. No. Don't no worry. They're it. not it dead. Literally, but. I literally can't do anything. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So Amy is on deck and Dan, you're on standby. Cool. So, real determined, I'm going to hit it this time <laughs> with an 18 to hit. That is going to hit. So, that'll be, um, let me check, yep, uh, 13 damage onto this thing. How do you want to wrap this up? Yeah! So, as I said, I'm like, real determined after like whiffing twice with this thing, I'm going to just spin it in my hand, like, hold the hammer in one hand and just strike it upwards, almost like an uppercut, as it's launched into the ceiling. All right, so the Kofagrigus is, ooh, it takes that uppercut from the hammer right into its its lower part of its uh, sarcophagus, and it slams up into the low ceiling, and cracks just spread all over, and dust trickles down. Ooh. And then it collapses onto the floor, arm still, its red eyes shut, the Yamask is down. I haven't moved it upside down to show it's dead, <laughs> but... <laughs> it's, it's it, it, both both Pokemon are done, and that is the end of this combat experience, guys. Yeah. Yay. Oh, that wasn't that bad. Oh, that there we go. Oh, we got the nice amulet. That's job. right. Let's move. You guys got the amulet from inside the coffin. Oh, yeah, there's a point to this. Y yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes. The bigger battle is still ahead. Let's go. Let's go. Quill's got the amulet. Oh, Really Did I just hear that? that? Yeah, that's me. <laughs> oh, no, that's yeah. right. I, I, I no, love that. The, what? No, no I, I love you that. You just heard something? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that was just the door opening. There you go. <laughs> All right. Let's see here. Good job, guys. That was really fun. That was great. Yeah. But I got to use the circle sports thing. <laughs> I was like, oh, <laughs> yeah. I don't know if I have a good opportunity for this one. All right. So who's got who's got the amulet? Uh, I do. Uh, Quill. Quill does. All right. Yeah. What would you like to do, Quill? I'd like to just set it down gently in the uh, last spot open. Whoops. <laughs> Whoa, that's it's growing! <laughs> Whoa! Whoa. Guys, get back! <laughs> you want to do anything you can do. Quill. This amulet looks pretty strong. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa. What? I just want to move it. It won't let me... I got you. Uh, you got to switch to the hand icon on the right. I can't see. I can't see. Switch to the hand icon on the right. There you go. Oh, it. oh yeah. Derpy, derpy. Okay, thank you. No, but all right. So, my exploration team, you guys have found all three amulets. And as you place that last amulet into the uh, into its spot. Hang on one second. <laughs> Scorpio are back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, where, 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 A battle where, again. Where? Where? I was crawling back and I whack it back out. <laughs> yeah, 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 whack them all. Hear... I know you guys have read it before, but the ethereal voice of Espeon has suddenly, uh, she like takes form before you guys and says aloud uh, the last part, or she like speaks the words again because you guys have you guys have put the amulets in, but nothing quite has happened just yet. So you hear her speak out. <clears throat> the sun is the giver of life and light. The stars, the moon, the planets all dance around our beloved sun. We bow to her beauty and glory. In the absolute dark, the light of the sun will always shine a path forward for those deemed worthy. I believe we got to turn out the light now. Yeah, that's what I was thinking too. One more time. 
How do we turn on the light? Suppress it, Sin. Uh, I will say, if you turn off the light, nothing is gonna happen. Okay. What? Damn! So you can you can turn the light back on. <laughs> Nothing is gonna happen if you turn off the light. Well, bonkers, crush its skull. No, <laughs> okay, no. If you need I'm to, out you, of can ideas. Ask, you can always ask the spirit of Espeon to speak the the words again from the tablet. Maybe you're missing something. Gonna hit the ghost. I believe they said to her beauty oh, no, and glory. In the absolute dark, the light of the sun will always shine a path forward for those deemed worthy. Do we, have, do we have to bow down? I don't think we're worthy. We gotta go. What? What? I, what would happen if I were to go into the dark in the hallway again? Uh, come back. Oh. Huh? Oh. Uh. Oh, yeah, oh. Nothing's, nothing's quite happening. Face yet, but the wall and walk backwards. Oh. Somebody, somebody did say something. Someone was cooking there. We bow to her beauty and glory. I suppose no. we'll have to show reverence. I don't want to. Sin hits his head on the ground trying to bow <laughs> down. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, well, Bebon will sort of stand up inside of his little gelatin form and like a conductor after a little serenade. He'll give like one of those those big um, sort of well-respected bows with like a little flare of his arm. Mm -hmm. Okay. I, I, what the rest of the party like I, to do? I will attempt to. I will attempt to do the same, but very oh. ineloquently with my giant, like <laughs> ten foot arms. I will try and bow down as well, but I'm just standing on all fours. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Drake reality is kind of kind of do like a what, what's the like a like a Curtsy? downward dog kind of move. Oh, okay. And just I see. Just like stick their feelers like to the side of them, just like. Okay. So mm. okay. It hasn't impressed me yet. It hasn't earned my bow. Bonkers. I'm going to use mage hands and force <laughs> working a ton of time. Uh, roll, roll, roll a save. Oh, I was going to say, if you want to roll a saving throw, you can. I'll roll like... an athletics on it to see what happens. <laughs> just the, just the uh, <laughs> his head too hard that's on the ground. Um, yeah, I'm going to say that's like a 10. I will guide myself on this. As well. <laughs> okay. Well, with, with with that ten, you're gonna you're gonna be guided down to an into a bad position. That's fine. I'm absolutely fine with that. <laughs> oh my god! I rolled a natural fucking twenty. Damn. Yeah. You are in the ground good. right now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right. And as you guys uh, bow down, all of a sudden you hear like this deep rumbling, kind of dust is falling from the ceiling, and oh. the statue the statue of Espeon is slowly. Um, is slowly sliding back into like a recess in the wall behind it oh. and a set of stairs has suddenly appeared whoa that's uh. so cool that's pretty cool uh, i have a headache still in the bowing <laughs> position i will start <laughs> floating <again. laughs> <laughs> <laughs> you know what ribbon tilted don't horizontally you. get, uh, oh, get yeah. flipped idiot just watch where you're going don't don't trip Oh, no. oh, I don't trip. I don't, I don't walk. I don't oh, trip. Never mind. There he goes. I don't even walk. All right. So you guys have approached into a room now that is already lit with like these uh, magic glowing stones, and there's four treasure chests in here. Oh, you guys are really big. I'll get you sit, don't worry. Um, but here, here's here's the thing. This room Thank is like probably out of all the rooms that you guys have been in for the temple, this oh, is the so smallest. Okay. This is the smallest room, and there's four there's four treasure chests here. Should we be bigger just, or smaller? Just, just, just. Um, you guys what? like honest? You could be whatever you want. I don't care. It's fine. <laughs> just, 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 just. <laughs> <laughs> My turn. <laughs> oh, yeah. Mini, mini, money, more. I want this one. I want this one. I want this one. This one. All right. Um, let's see. I'll look at my notes here. Quill doesn't get a chest. For everybody, uh -huh. I need, I, I need, I need sleight of hand to see how easily you can open these chests. Understood. What is that? Ten. I'll try and do that's, the that's last that's one with say, mage hand. Uh, that's all right. It's an ability. You have it dex based. Uh, so do, what do oh, I roll? D twenty. D twenty plus. My uh, modifier, right? Yes. of hand check. Yeah, yeah it's light of hand. Plus, yeah. yes, light of hand. So 16. It would be... Alright. Uh, Alright. Oh, 
right. Ooh, 18. Okay. So you open these chests. Um, which one? Which one is Sin going to be taking? This bottom chest right here. All right. All you find in there is uh, a one gold coin. Let's go! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> yeah. All right. And Let's then uh, Reborn. I. What you said you wanted to use Mage Hand. Oh uh, yes, I attempted to use Mage Hand to open it. Okay. Me Out of an abundance of caution. A, a D twenty roll. Okay. And would it be possible to guide myself as well, or would that be too much? You don't really need that. Okay. <laughs> well, I roll the 19. Okay. Oh, you you can open the chest. Yeah. Crack that shit open. You find, <laughs> you find five copper pieces. <gasps> Whoa. Hey, they look, it's more uh, pieces. Is there anything uh, in particular inscribed upon them? Are they old? They're just like, copper? it's like Poke Dollar, Poke Coin. You know, they, <laughs> the, this this world has had the same currency for thousands and thousands of years somehow, but. Um, uh, yeah. Or no, like this. The, okay, it, scratch that, scratch that. This is like the currency of like the ancient times, so like it can be sold for Poke Dollars because it's like artifact. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's, it's, right, well, it's like copper pieces. It's nothing really grand in these chests so far. I still stamp one into my gel. Me next, me next, me next. Uh, ten. <laughs> All right, you can you can open the chest. Okay. Yeah. What's in it? <laughs> What's in uh, it? You get uh, <laughs> you get one copper piece. I'm gonna eat it. <laughs> <laughs> well, I rolled right. I rolled a and sixteen then... for the for the final right. one here. Go ahead, go ahead. Go ahead. Uh, oh, sorry. Uh, yeah, you open the chest. There's nothing. Another oh, win oh, for, for gold. gold. You came up short, huh? Gold D. Lewis. Another win for Gold D. Lewis. <laughs> so don't worry. I already <laughs> took the gold before you saw it. <laughs> you I eat it. Uh, uh, um, bro. Lacking. Huh. Huh. <laughs> Can I climb inside the chest? <laughs> Let me. I'm gonna do that. I try and pick the chest up. <laughs> Whoa! The little guy in. <laughs> All right. So you're in a chest. I now I'm holding a chest. Is there anything in said chest? We have chest, a mount. Pixie? I, I, I think our DM is. Oh. Oh no! I was I was uh, looking at something. Okay. Uh, can you say that again one more time for me, please? I said I got into the chest. Uh, is oh, there anything did... in here? Nope, there's nothing in there. Sorry, I was looking at uh, grabbing a piece of music real quick, but I... no, there is nothing in there. I then pick up the chest with <laughs> him in it. So I just ride around in this chest. Yeah. Yeah, you're just kind of <laughs> riding around. I put on. It is shoulder. kind of lackluster. All of that work. And yeah, this is all like there is. And the treasure is ours. <laughs> yeah. Let's <okay>. go. <laughs> We did it, guys! Well, uh, there was some sleeping guardian that we had to worry about, but I guess it was never a problem! I guess I it was just I thought we established I was the guardian. That's right, you oh. were the guardian! I'm the guardian. We're fine, then. And I eated it. I'm going to take a look around to see if there's any writing or inscriptions around the area. In the absolute dark, the light of the sun will always open the way. Ah, what there are torches! What there. if we snuff out the torches? Oh. My I god. Made Shannon I think you have an torch. idea. Well, these are like magic stones, so you, you I, uh, if you guys want to give me some strength I'm checks. I'm with my hammer. <laughs> all right, roll a strength check for me. They're bonkers. Uh, that's a whole ten. Uh, it kind of knocks one a little loose. That's so that, this is D twenty again, right? Sorry, nope. I keep asking. Yes, just yes. Sure no, that's right. okay. Don't don't apologize for asking. Yeah, so you're you're going for this one. It kind of like half knocks it loose. No, uh, no. I suppose. In... All right. Uh, if you guys want to oh, also cool. roll. Five. Five. Wait, All right, wait, wait, you, you kind of barely did way. anything there. Sorry, little sin. Uh, uh, I'll, I'll do my uh, thing after you guys do your thing at the top right there. We got this one. This is like half knocked. This is still pretty in place. There's still light coming from all of them. Look like something could be like pried off or... Are they gems you yeah, said? Maybe like 
maybe like crushed or destroyed, maybe, or removed. Oh, I'm not, not a good dad. <laughs> you, you, sorry, you specified that they were gems, yeah? Yeah, they are ma somehow like magic gems. And this whole temple, uh, as a reminder, like the whole place has been dark except for like Sin's Light. And then this place in particular is the only place that has been pre lit in the temple. Hmm. Well, it did work Can before! Oh, go, no, 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 go, go, go. Minor illusion to uh, sort of place a little box over the light and snuff it out like that. Would that work? Hmm. Uh, roll a d20 for me. Okay. Cool. That is a nine. I don't... Hmm. Eh, that, that doesn't really work. You, you try, but nice try. I'm, <laughs> uh, I'm, not entire, I'm not entirely sure what I rolled for. But... Oh, um, like, uh, to see... Oh, sorry. Maybe I should... <laughs> Because uh, you were trying to put like a magic box over it and just like sit, rolling to see how effective it would be, I guess. I was just kind of going okay, off yeah. It. No, that that's fair. I just I, just, I was just a bit confused on it. Yeah. Well, my bad. it didn't work before. We're gonna try again. I'm gonna slap the stone hands together and they kind of like fall down a bit, but then reform. And I'm gonna use mold earth on the wall here <laughs> uh, to get it to try and spit out the gem uh, just right onto the floor. I, right. I, I manipulate the earth using my magical ability. Okay, let's see. Using my Pokemon ability. Yes. I manipulate the earth. <laughs> can I'm we get a... <laughs> can we get an intelligence throw? Or what? intelligence roll? I believe I can make that into a wisdom because I have the arms out. So. Okay, yeah, that's fine. Yup. Uh... Uh, that's gonna be a 16. Oh, okay. Yeah, so you're, you're, you're using your magic to kind of snuff out all of them at once, you said? Nope. <laughs> I, I, am, I am simply getting this gem out of the wall and leaving the others to my friends. They got it, okay. don't worry. All right, so this this area has now like slightly darkened. Well, um, okay. did the gem pop out? Uh, no, the gem, the gem kind of like, uh, you were just trying to remove it, right? I was trying to you remove said? it from the wall. Okay, yeah, it did pop out. So Let's now go! it's like popped out and it's not causing light to light I, up anymore. I take, oh, you have the treasure. Go. I can't see. I, I, and, I take the treasure and I put it in my bag, baby. Okay. Let's go. So maybe, you, maybe well, Sin, Sin kind of has the light. Sin has the, the light on his back, so maybe, maybe you should yeah. diminish that. I already did, but I'll do okay, it again. Okay, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. How do I turn it off twice? Okay, strength. That's a natural 19. All right, that that gem is completely knocked out of its place, and boom, it's dark in here now. Oh, I can't fucking see. I, I can't move myself. I, I'll just stay within the darkness. I'll go ahead and try and lose some earth of my familiars to sort of... One's trying to prod it out, and one's trying to lift it up. Okay, go ahead. Okay, how do I do this? <laughs> uh, that would be give me uh, for you. Let's do wisdom or intelligence, whatever's stronger. Okay. Because you're using your magic to try and lift it out. Uh, fifty. That is gonna slowly but surely wedge that gem free, and we'll bam darkness, and then there's mm. one left. Ah. Okay, I guess. I have to try this. I kind of just reach up my feelers toward the gem and just try to <laughs> wrench it free. And I'm going to inspire myself on this one. Okay. So, uh, does that a... Uh, what was the check for that? Or You can give me a strength or wisdom or intelligence check. Whichever one oh, you oh, prefer. Oh, I'm going to probably do better on those. Okay. Hmm. Um, oh, okay. Uh... Just a like a straight wisdom check. Yeah. Um, that is a thirteen. All right. And then do you have any modifiers? That that was. Oh, all just that. that. Okay. Just all right. Yeah. Right. So with a little bit of grunting and heaving and effort, you are also able oh. to wedge that gem free. And all of a sudden, uh, hang on one sec. Everybody is encased in the darkness. Uh, ah! I'm a scared of the dark. Get in the chest. It's okay, buddy. Yeah. <laughs> Will you keep me safe, Gold? We'll keep you safe. Don't worry. Oh. So as you guys, you. as you guys are like in the dark, 
and all of that. Um, off to the side in the back of the room, all of a sudden you guys see a little like arch up here. It's like glowing softly. Uh, I don't know if you guys can. Oh, there's a light. Let me. There's a light over there. Oh, tripped on the chest. Hit my head again. <laughs> Let's keep going this I way. Bonkers, I, I hear you doing some stupid shit over there. I hit my head. <laughs> Why can't I move this? It's not letting me move it. We're getting chickens. Okay, whatever. I'm just gonna pretend that you guys can't see. We're gonna get rid of this. You Don't guys worry, can't we, see. we cannot see. <laughs> okay, but because because basically because you guys like snuffed out the light in the darkness, the the light will always shine for those who are worthy. And yay! Now there's like a archway that you guys can go through, and it, it has magically appeared. Yay! <laughs> I carry the chest with with Sin riding within it forward Ow. into the archway. Whee! I stick my tongue out like a dog. <laughs> <laughs> oh, lovely. No. Uh, what? <gasps> wow! Whoa! Oh, there's so Whoa. much treasure. This room is like in like a different dimension. Yes. <laughs> that means like... that the bad thing is nearby. <laughs> they remember what they said. Some might be oh, sleeping. Long guardian, treasure! <laughs> Yippee! Uh, bonkers, <laughs> I need you. Please be careful. <laughs> we don't know what's in it. I jump in it. It feels like my perspective has somehow been broadened. <laughs> <laughs> the power of money. So you guys, you guys have made it to the grand treasure room, and you guys can see that natural light um, somehow, or maybe magic light, is like spilling in, and it's just glimmering with gold and statues and jewels. There's rubies, sapphires, emeralds, like literally anything that you guys could imagine is there. Um, in particular, <laughs> there is um, in Pokemon lore and just like background for everybody, and you guys kind of know this too, but like the desert spirit. <laughs> Of a of Pokemon is said to be called Flygon, this like great big Pokemon um, with kind of like uh, ruby eyes. Let me give me one second here. Um, the let me, let me Guys, this is awesome and all, but we gotta be careful. Oh, oh, oh no, like sorry. That. that was really big. That, that was really big. <laughs> wow, so you guys can you see know? in the middle of this treasure room, there is like this huge stone Flygon statue with this like the most gorgeous. Ruby red oh, eyes, it's just a like okay. huge, huge, <laughs> big bejeweled eyes. Like these, like the most expensive kind of jewel you could ever think of. Like these are probably more expensive than that. Um, okay, a good perspective thing going on right so, now. So, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, so that statue is there along with some other like simple stone statues. None of them are kind of like as grandly carved as this one. But this this statue is kind of standing over the treasure and looking out over everything. Um, and yeah, there's just treasure all around. And as you guys are like starting to look around and explore a little bit, you hear, uh, you hear a soft whisper on the wind, and you feel the ethereal presence of the spirit Espeon suddenly appear before you guys. And... Explorers, well done on making your way to our greatest gathering of history and treasure. This treasure, this temple is proof that we existed. The sands of time eroded us away, but you, you found us again. After so long in the dark, we finally see that the light w once more. Please, hear my wish. All I want is for us to be remembered. Tell of our story. Don't let us be forgotten. Can I ask you of this? Oh, don't worry. I won't be forgetting this gold anytime soon. <laughs> I'm just shoveling You're it into my bag. <laughs> um, yes. <laughs> with all due respect for my, my comrades. Uh, yes, we will. We will do our best to remember you and the legacy of your people. Thank we'll you honor so your much name. for guiding us all the way here to this wonderful treasure. And I kind of just also do the same bow as before to the ghost. <laughs> I'll go ahead and show her my uh, little, uh, the, the symbol or, that I have that I really love. Uh, the, the, uh, what do I call it? The, 
Yeah, symbol. From outside of the temple. With the, the, the little, uh, the, the signified the sub temple. I'll tell her that I already have. Oh. What about uh, bonker, bonkers over there? I don't know what you're doing. I love gold! I Don't worry, it was clear as she'll remember this for her life. Who will remember your legacy? <laughs> I hope so. Hearing I don't know. you all promise that, I think, I think I can finally pass on in peace. Please, don't forget. And as don't you hear her forget. speak that last word, her body disintegrates into light and floats up towards the ceiling. Bye, you guys your alone. Pokemon. That's kind of sad. Wait, where did the Espeon go? She passed oh. on. You guys are gonna remember her. Huh? Oh! <laughs> you, you, you're fine, you, you can join the gold. You, you're good. You're good. Oh. That was nice. Yeah. All right. So, if you guys want to look around the treasure room and see what you find, uh, you know, maybe investigate the statue if you want to, or if you want to. Be careful with that statue. Um, I mean, I'm not. I'm not regarding this. I'm investigating the statue. <laughs> <laughs> With a little bit of ice still upon my floor. <sighs> I look up at it. I sort of. Yeah, so this is like the final RP moment with you guys. So if you want to look around and explore. Right. I'll my hands across its handle rack. I'll put the thumb. I'm just sitting mm. solemnly, just stands in the corner and sheds <laughs> one tear. <laughs> and doesn't Here. really say anything. Use this to wipe your tears and I hand you a gold coin. <laughs> 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 then I then I open up I open up the treasure chest that we took from before and I say, mm -hmm. Wanna hop in it? It's just filled with gold. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. This will make yeah, you feel better. Too. <laughs> Hop in the treasure <laughs> chest of gold. Hopped in. <laughs> yeah. Just like Slider the kind of... looks pretty strong. Yeah, it's those eyes look deep. like they could be very expensive. You know, <laughs> a lot of money. I'm gonna hit more. it in the head. <laughs> <laughs> Give me a strength throw. <laughs> Fucking six. Oh, that doesn't do anything. But the but the eyes kind of shake a little bit. It looks like they can be removed. Uh, just out of curiosity, ooh. can I look? Is it, is it all just gold, or or is, or is it like jewelry? Oh, it's or... like everything you could imagine. Okay, <laughs> I'm just gonna like pick up some like jewelry, and put it on myself, and just maybe find like a gold encrusted mirror nearby, just like admire myself in the mirror. Hey, you look good. <laughs> there you go. Oh, thanks. I'll begin taking out my little journal. I start trying to draw a little bit of the fly down in the room. And especially all the runes and writing that I see. And uh, I, I try and honor the, that little memory, I suppose. Well, I've got my fair share of gold. I see a couple of rubies up there in the side. I'm not sure if we're looking to tamper with the god. Because uh, it was the like. Guardian. I can certainly try. Um, are there any runes on it? Any, any like, particular. It only says that ideas? it's. It's just the guardian of the desert flag on. That's it. That's all you can read. I thought I was the guardian. Well, you're on top well, of it. You're, you're our guardian, but this is the guardian. I of the have desert. conquered it. You've conquered the guardian. Yeah. That means I get the jewel and I yoink it out. <laughs> <laughs> as soon as you yoink that jewel out, the <laughs> statue shudders and oh, no. the stone <laughs> melts away. And this enraged looking flygon all of a sudden spreads its wings and it roars, echoing through the dungeon room. And this is your opportunity to fight or flight right now. 
Well, I really said it's a big, fun. it's a big guy. I kind of want to fight. <laughs> I said we no, fight. I'm I'm fight. In the bang. <laughs> you guys, you guys do have the option to. This is like an optional boss fight. I wanted to see if you guys would mess with the eyes. <laughs> oh, of course. Yes. Uh, and we do have, we do have time yeah, for a fight. I have about yes. an hour left before I have to Oh, you kidding me? So if you guys want to okay. do a fight, we can, we can do a fight. What is the pretty from a fight? But All beforehand, right. can I cast a second level bless on everyone else? Yeah. Yippee! We haven't had a proper right. final boss fight yet. Why are we leaving now? Yeah, yeah exactly. Uh -huh. Yeah, you guys can what, take what is, our, what is our mystery team called? The uh, Mystic Marshals. Mystic Marshals. Black God <laughs> Killer! It's been it the whole time <laughs> <laughs> with perfect narrative buildup. <laughs> the Mystic Marshals never run from a fight. Yeah. All right. So the with, on killers, I mean. <laughs> with that declaration, I'm going to need everybody to make an initiative check. Okay. Oh, yay. All right. Ooh, it seems uh -oh. my initiative luck has Amazingly, run out. Amazingly, <laughs> I have rolled another natural one. I rolled hey, a wait, two, a wait, one, and a one. Uh, by all means, if you want to I use think inspiration. I can make you re-roll that with my, like, um, uh, halfling shit. Oh my god, so you, you roll a natural one, I roll a nat 20. Let's go! <laughs> alright, alright, I'm gonna, I'm gonna re-roll that Let's natural go. one. Alright, yes. we guess who also natural rolled a natural two. one. I got That's a two, a one, a one, and a two! <laughs> Bro, Dan, like, you, you have all one of those. those. What? <laughs> shit. Holy I got a natural shit. three. Oh my god! Yeah, you you, are you guys regretting? 20s. Are you regretting this? No, no. I mean, turn order doesn't matter. No, no, anyway. yeah, okay, okay. Turn order does not shake. I, I forget what's my init my uh, initiative mo uh, so modifier. So it should be your dex modifier. Oh, plus one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So cool. Hayden rolled a twenty-one. Uh, Dan is a two. A uh, four. And then Amy was a three. A four. Amy, what was yours? Three. All right, uh, Jakey, what's yours? Uh, fourteen. All right, Pecky, what's yours? Uh, sick. Oh boy. All right. All right. And then oh for my our God, we are lovely huge. Uh, you guys can shrink down a little bit. This guy's a little bigger. He's a he's a he's a hefty boss. I'm gonna move myself down to one foot tall here. All right. Hang on one sec. <laughs> the face. Make sure like... make sure that everything is is <laughs> good here. Uh, I will say this is it's probably gonna it's this is probably gonna hurt. <laughs> um. <laughs> Whoops, that fell out of my thing. Well, hard to get the All right, I have uh, I have rolled a uh, 16 on my guy. So I will be going after Hayden will go first and then I will go after and then okay. Jake here on standby. So Hayden, this flygon, it just is staggering down from its pedestal. It's flapping its wings and causing some of the gold coins to just flap around and it roars. It shakes the whole room and it glares down at you guys for having disturbed its slumber. What will you do first? Well, bro, I thought we should have broken up. I thought okay, so. I have a question here. <laughs> yes. So, what what determines if my attack will um will flinch something? Uh, you your attack roll, roll whether it lands a nineteen or a twenty. But does like does every attack I do have an attack roll? No, uh, not every. I, unless it makes it do a saving throw, probably. Yes. It but outside uh, how, of how things I, like, how can I tell if um if uh, it has an attack roll? So if it's a spell, it will just save roll an attack roll or roll a d20 or roll. It will save roll an attack. Um, it's okay. only the things that specify they will roll a saving throw are the things that you cannot trigger that with. So scorching ray uh is something that you would be able to do an attack roll with. Okay. Well, uh, what about? What about fireball? Fireball will not be a fireball would not do that. That okay, is a okay, dexterity I'll, okay. saving. All right, I want, I want, I want to, um, I want to, I want to cast scorching ray then. Oh, oh hell yeah! That's three different hits. So you guys are gonna you need have three it. chances to uh, to flinch it. So yeah. I um, this is the final boss. I'm gonna change the music up a little bit. Yippee. Okay, so do I? What do I roll for this? Um, roll a d20 to try and hit it. Yep, first things first. Okay, and um... With like the, one of the blasts, and you'll repeat the, this three times. So, okay, okay, gotcha. Right, d20. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, first one is a four, but I'm okay, going but to plus your enact... spell... Oh. 
I'm gonna enact Porton and change that to a 19. Hey! Yep, yep, so you yeah. flinch it. Yep, gonna so, flinch. I flinch it. so I flinch it. All right. Oh. Beautiful. Nice job, buddy. Okay, okay. So that is both of my portent rolls. <laughs> yep, 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 yep. Uh, okay, okay, okay. So that's so my. This roll. is my first ray. So I, yeah. uh, I roll. Roll whatever uh, damage Scorching Ray does. Two. So that's two d six. Okay. Yep. Yes. Roll that. Okay. Okay. You're gonna loop this action so three is... times. <laughs> two. I roll two ones back to back. Uh, that's fine. You get a bunch of them. All right. And you okay, now, I, now I need to do, do another d20, right? Yes. Uh, yes. So mm -hmm. two damage on the first one, Pixie. Wait, say it one more time. Sorry. Two damage on so the first one. Damage damage. First. Oh, okay. He's doing so three attacks. for that one. Okay. Yep. Got it. Uh, so now I do another two d6s. Oh, yeah. Uh, okay, Wait, what so did you roll? Six. Wait, what did Wait, you roll? Uh, 18. Uh, we're, we're 18. Oh. Okay. So it was 18, 18 plus yeah, anything? Sick. Or was it just 18 uh, on the die? Well, I, either way, it hits. Okay, okay. It's gonna hit. It's yeah, gonna yeah, hit yeah. either way. So that's 11 points of damage there too. So that's our overall. 13. Okay. 13 so far. Yes. Uh, do I? Uh, and then you get one. Last one. Um, I no, I don't, don't okay. believe so. Okay. One no, more no, no, scorching one more right. attack. Yeah, yeah. All right, one mm -hmm. more uh, d20. Yes. That one's a 12. So you've so, done 25 points of damage on him. No, 13. Okay, that well, when that, that wasn't, the, that wasn't the damage. Hit. That was the damage. Oh, okay, sorry, sorry. <laughs> so and you it's... add your spell attack modifier. Okay, it was 12 on the die. Okay, that's so this is... 18, uh, so that's 18 plus the 1d4. Which I think hits. The 18 anyway. hits. Okay, I 18 believe, hits, so. and then I do two d6s again. Yes. Mm -hmm. And yep. that is uh, seven points of damage. Yippee! A total 20 points, if yes. I have my mouth. There we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Total of 20 points, and uh, Flygon is flinched. All right. Beautiful. So if you Doing want to good. describe your attack in full for me, that would be awesome. I'd love okay, to so, uh, so, uh, the, the sin, find, like, feeling, like, feeling the emotions of es the Espeon that has just passed on, uh, that led us this, uh, you know, led us to this point. That uh, you know, cause us to bond and have this incredible journey. Summons three large plumes of fire from its back, uh, and one by one, uh, with the most determination that this little Cinder has ever had, just hurls them straight at the uh, the Flygon's face. Ooh. And all of them hit square. One, two, three. It staggers back, and it roars in pain. It's done a great deal of damage to it. And because of the King's Rock effect, it is now frozen in place, stunned, unable to move. And because of that, we now have Jakey on deck and Pecky on standby. Mm -hmm. Let's go. Just looking at something. All right. Um, uh, so, hmm. <laughs> thing that, thing that we now are dealing with, a massive creature of size, uh... First things first, I'm going to just like, let's see, we're starting to, oh, never mind. Uh, so just kind of just get a little bit closer, but then uh, just like, I don't know how this. Just kind of like speak to it in a soft tone, just be like, I can't believe you're attacking us. We were simply just curious and I'm going to use a little ability called unsettling words where you next uh the next saving throw that the flygon has to make it has to subtract a d8 from that oh very nice so i'm gonna need you to remember that for me yep no worries no worries uh so that's my bonus action and then i don't know if it's the right time to pull it out you know what nah um and you know what? That's going to have a doubling effect. Uh... Damn, that banging. It's a very good song. He's having a great time. <laughs> I'm glad you like my music choice. <laughs> yeah. Um, so that's also going to... Sorry about that chat. <laughs> damage to it. So uh, Emotional make... damage. Oh. Absolutely. Uh, so uh, Flygon needs to make a wisdom saving throw. Which it has to take a D eight away from. All right, so right now I'm gonna oh, do. Nice. Uh, 
Oh, that's gonna be six total. It's gonna be negative. <laughs> oh, yeah. let's go. Amazing. It's just gonna be zero. It's gonna be zero. You know what? Let's also upcast that to uh, fucking third level. <laughs> so, all right. So, oh boy. So that's going to be 5d6 of psychic damage. So. Uh, 15 points of psychic damage. Oh, and nice. it also must immediately use its reaction to move as far as its speed can move away from it. Oh. From you. Okay. Yes. So that means that. On its turn. Yeah, on its so. turn, it must do that. Oh, okay. No, on its like reaction. Oh, on oh, its oh, reaction. Yeah. Oh, yeah, oh, oh, oh. I also so do want to. Oh. Yeah, the yeah, map is a little small. Can... The map yeah. is a little small. I'll just say <laughs> it, it's going to go very far into the corner over here. I, okay. I do want to trigger ask... an attack of opportunity for me. I believe all of us. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, quick question. Pardon me. Uh, I know it's stunned. Did it have its turn yet? It, yes. Oh, it oh. Did. So uh, the stun condition is gone. Oh, uh, yeah. About that. First of all, the stun is gone. Second of all, it started its turn in my range. I think that is uh, that is uh, poison sting territory. Uh, all right, go ahead. Yeah. You guys are wailing on this thing. Uh, oh, yeah. So I need Good. a we Constitution saving throw from you, real quick. All right. 16. 16, I believe that's a meets it beats it. Let me just double check. Uh, meets it beats it. Okay, so never mind. No damage is taken. Yeah, yeah, continue on. All right. So Wait, Flygon yeah, right kind of is like forced to forced to move away. Um, oh, oh, right. But because so you moved away. Like opportunities for must? Yeah. It would, yes. This and this and was uh, specifically would. Uh, uh, All right. Jeez. Attack of opportunity, right? Yep. I'll push that button. Yes. I've already used my reaction <laughs> for the uh, poison sting, so uh, you guys go take your swings. Ooh, I'll make my goal. No. Okay. Um, oh, does a uh, 20 something hit? Yes. Okay. Then I will go ahead and roll my damage, which will not be terribly much, but that is okay. Um, yep, that is seven points of damage into it, and it now has the uh, disadvantage effect uh, on any target but me. Okay. So wait, how many how many um, damage again? Sorry, I was doing something. That was seven points of thunder damage. Okay. Uh, it does have lightning resistance because it's a ground type, so it's not going to do uh, quite is it much. Thunder? Is it lightning or thunder? Because those are two it's different. It's lightning damage. absorption that I have and shock susceptibility. Oh, uh, wait. Lightning absorption. Wait, why is it? Wait, hold on. Is lightning and thunder going to be two different things, you know? Okay. Yeah. yeah. What one are you? Okay, so he, he resists lightning because it's a ground type. Yeah, That's thunder is more like sound damage, uh, if that okay. makes sense. Yes, yes. Yeah. Okay, so he still takes seven points of damage. Yeah. Okay, let me do my math here real quick. Thunder is such a weird damage type, man. I'm sorry. No, you finally don't have worry the Pokemon sound <laughs> type, you know? <laughs> Sound time, yeah, for sure. Okay, so it's kind of getting hit by that thunder damage, and it, it kind of shakes it off. It's kind of annoyed that it's getting pummeled to the ground, and uh, Flygon is going to use a legendary move right here, and it's going to kind of sneak in a sneak in an attack that's no longer flinched. And so what it's going to do? It's going to start whipping its wings up, and it's going to uh, immediately charge to. Uh, back towards this uh, Reuniculus to, uh, to right. peck you here. It's moving around I'll, I'll us. I'll put it. Yeah, he's going to have a reaction anymore. <laughs> oh, is that a might be able to put it there. Yeah. You're going to ball. There yeah, I'm going to put it right there. OK, so he, he kind of moves right up next to it, and um, it's going to slam its tail down right next to it and try and land an earthquake on it. Oh, OK. And I need everybody to, uh, since it's earthquake, what I'm going to do is like a special little thing. If sure. You either, uh, everybody except Peck you, I need you to roll me a d20, 10 or higher, or 11 or higher, you don't get hit, 10 or lower, you are going to take uh, three points of damage. I'm about it. This is a dexterity save? Yes. Okay. Yeah, I'm fine. I'm safe. 
Okay. Uh, that was a natural uh, one. Oh, ouch. Uh, Reroll that. I, wait, I hit a, oh, I hit really? a eleven. Oh, right. uh, so then you're safe. Wait. wait. <laughs> Let me double check that isn't. Wait, no. Yeah. I use that. Never mind. Wait. Uh, no worries. No worries. So, yeah, no, so I got yeah, an eleven. Uh, on the just on the die. So you're safe, Hayden. Okay. And then okay. I think uh, Dan is safe, and then Amy's yeah, safe. Yeah, I I rolled a mm. I rolled a four, and then okay. I got to add a three because of the bless with my dexterity okay. that makes it a twelve. And then you are safe. Oof. I'm the only one who uh, failed. Mm -hmm. Okay, so Jakey, you take three minus three to your HP right now. So you kind of uh, as I and then uh, Peck you, I'm gonna need you to roll a. Or actually, wait, I need to roll to see if I even I hit Peck you. No matter what, I'll still hit all you guys, but let's see if we... Uh, that yeah. is a 13. That will not hit me. Okay, so the earthquake tries to slam down, but the body kind of just jiggle jiggles, you know, it folds. <laughs> <laughs> um, but the effects of the earthquake are still felt by some of the other party members that kind of either jumping away from getting hit by the, the power of the earthquake through the cracks in the ground, mm -hmm. uh, except for Jakey kind of taking a little bit of damage. So, with that, then, uh, I can do, uh, I think that oh, is all. Um, we'll, oh. well, okay, I, I, is, is the earthquake kind of just like a, like a thing you're doing? It's or? just, it's just like, it would have been like, I, I have like bite attack and it would have been like, it says plus seven to hit. That's what okay, I'm, I'm just, yeah, I was just checking to see if me, if it knocked me prone or not. Just, oh, no, no, no. Yeah. Okay. It's just a regular. Oh, it's just wow, a regular like attack. Trevor, yeah, yeah. 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 Wait, how does how does that work? Uh, you have to make you prone. There is a spell <laughs> specifically designed for making people prone that he was getting confused. Or sorry, she was getting confused with. Mm hmm. Okay. All right. So yeah, uh, we'll for right now we'll just go with the earthquake and then. Um, we're gonna come up with uh we're gonna do a follow-up attack actually against this radio since they dodged okay. the earthquake so i'm gonna roll for a dragon claw it's gonna it failed the earthquake let's try and go for the dragon claw mm. and that is a five so that is probably gonna miss again <laughs> so this, uh, this flag much, on is just oh, how I, much I, else I, does it have to hit uh it get, yeah, plus yeah, seven, yeah i think you too, said right? so like 12. oh so yeah 12. all right that still does not hit unfortunately Okay, yeah, so try to hit with the Dragon Claw, and both attacks kind of didn't work, and it kind of just roars out in anger. Grrr! And that's going to be the end of the Flygon's legendary turn. And I think, just correct me if I'm wrong, um, Flygon is able, like, I can take that legendary turn again and again and again because it's a boss Pokemon, right? Yeah, I think you have three of them total. You have three, oh, three of them total. per round. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Uh, three per round. Oh, okay. Just, I'm only going to do it once per round. <laughs> just to make so sure I go, you... Sorry, sorry, what's the turn order right now? So right now I I have it be Jakey's like he's wrapping up the turn. Yeah. Right, 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 right. Well, yeah, my yeah my turn ended. So. Who is on deck? Okay. Pecky is on deck. Amy's on standby okay. after my legendary. Wait. So the order order of attack right here. I'll put the I'll put the order of attack. Here. Peku is going. I'm next. Amy, what's your yes. what's your initiative? I like three. I got four. Hey. Oh. Hey. Oh. Hey. Wait. Hey. Wait. <laughs> I'm gonna yeah, fix you're it. Next. I was pr I it. I made a mental note of yay I'm not last let's go but I was not about to have that stolen <laughs> yeah, right, from me on. okay there yeah, I, fi no. I fixed it in the chat that's gonna be how I want yes. every turn to go I'll have flag on go twice cool. each turn gotcha. so I'm I'm a little bit more yeah. I don't want to do it ever I don't want to do like three yeah turns yeah you're good no four. awesome yeah okay cool, 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 so cool. peck you on deck Dan on standby gotcha all right hmm. what could I do in this instance? Let me check my spells. See what I have access to. Nothing that would be particularly helpful in this moment. That's great. Um, alright. I'm going to go ahead. And, uh, I suppose, uh, once again pop a booming blade, uh, into this, into this poor son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, that twitch. <laughs> oh my oh, fuck god, it. that was oh. a terrible roll. All right. Um, that is going to be a 12 to hit. That is not going to hit. Yeah, no, that was a natural did two. You add bless? That was real bad. Yeah, he really I did add bless. Okay. Yes. That was a natural two. All right, Oof. got it. Mm -hmm. Oof. Yeah. Uh... All right. But. 
Mm. You know what? Sure. I'll go ahead and, and real quick use a first level spell slot. Okay. Uh, as um, Buddy kind of uh, sends out a little, a little effectively, like a, a a psychic wave that sort of centralizes onto um, bonkers here. Uh, hmm. As actually, that's probably a terrible idea. I'm sorry. <laughs> I should... <laughs> What is it uh, on? Never mind, I'm killing you. What am I doing? <laughs> Do it. Oh, yeah, break no. my concentration on that bless you got. Go ahead. Yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> the better I'm idea sick of them. I'm sick of them. to um mm. Man, it's gonna be tough either way. You know what? I'll go ahead and use sanctuary. Uh, mm-hmm. on, uh, on, uh, Tranquility here. Oh. So now, uh, if you attempt to attack Tranquility up there, you will have to roll a wisdom saving throw, uh, at least until she attacks you. Okay. Um. Right. Basically, you're not a problem to it. Yep. Last thing I'll do, uh, oh my god. Okay. Thank you for adding those like extra little ribbons, guys. It's Moving helpful. is a massive pain, but I will go ahead and attempt to move out of its attempt of opportunity range once mm. again. Oh, hang on, one sec, guys. I gotta hold on. Nah. Question: How do you add the ribbons and like the the cone and stuff? That uh, you guys it's did? ones that you like download and then you can place in. Uh, just like how you put it in your character yeah. token, they just happen to have ones already. Like downloaded ahead of time. Oh, right. Yeah, there's okay, like okay. packs you download essentially. Gotcha. Yeah. That makes sense. What does being yeah. charm do? My chat asks. Uh, could you re-explain what the charm was there? So that charm isn't actually charm. It's just a marker. Okay. To Sorry have. about that. Yeah. Um, saying that effectively the Sylveon is not a problem to the Flygon and gotcha. until it does something. It is affected by Sanctuary, so the Flygon would have to roll a Wisdom saving throw if it ever wanted to hit that Sylveon before the Sylveon hit it. Yep. Yep. Mm-hmm. Cool. Yep. But right. I, I do use my movement to get out of its uh, opportunity attack range. Can I move myself and not just the blade? There we go. Yeah. To move out of its attack of opportunity range and give it a chance to. Alright, so it, cannot, it, is... it can't opportunity attack, right? It could. Uh, it can if it, it wants to. Okay, yeah. I'm going to go ahead and try, and try for that. It's going to try and fire a dragon breath at you. Uh, I rolled a... 17, uh, wait, so se- I do, uh, 17 plus 7, so that's, like, over 2. Yeah, that, that, that'll, that'll, that'll do. Hit. That'll okay, hit. all right, so I'm gonna roll 3 d10s of damage right here. <laughs> okay. Don't give these creatures opportunity attacks, I'm learning quickly. Like, <laughs> their normal yeah, attacks target. are very normal. <laughs> Just don't ever run. Run. Oh, yeah, key? I was gonna say, didn't you die to the Skaroopy nearly from the attack of opportunity? Yeah, it's like a hot yeah, 17 before. Good lord. I, mean, I gotta find my. I mean, it is a boss Pokemon. Y'all the one. Oh, absolutely. Poked, poked the sleeping bear, as it were. <laughs> uh, wait, is it, if I roll a 0, is that a 10? Is it, I'm not looking at my right dice. Yeah, so 0, zero is a 10. 10. Yes. Oh, oh, okay, yeah. I do have my D10. Okay, so. 3 D10s okay. on the board. Bam! Uh, there we go. Good. On the bingo board. Good. One less dice. Right. Oh, actually, well, I, I forgot to say dice. because um, mm-hmm. Sanctuary is an abjuration spell, uh, yeah. I also recover two hit points. That's all right. Yeah. Oh. My, my that. thing. My Good arcane board. Yeah. The room. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she dropped and has disappeared. Where? Oh, no. Where'd she go? Dude, so this, I have this a is... little bit of extra bolt. This attack roll was costly. <laughs> just roll, oh, just roll no. a d10 again. No, that's the dice that fell. I don't know where it went. Oh, do you only have one? Oh. Okay, that'll do it. Uh, well, I can roll it for you if you need right now. Okay. Should I just roll the three d10 for you? Actually, guys, pause super super fast. I gotta, I gotta yep. meet myself. Okay. <laughs> So we're gonna like cook this thing alive, right? 
Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 I am no, like, no, listen, I'm dog. Already, I'm, I've already got my uh, next like time planned out. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm already hitting it with a fucking quad effective place. Oh, 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 oh. Dude, dude, dude. I, I got something planned for my attack. I want to add some flavor to this. Armor uh, again this time. You have blast as well on all your heads. Oh so yeah. I, yeah. I got, I got something real fun cooked up. By the way, thank you for the bless. Cooking for next turn. That, that bless I just need to know how it works. That bless goes I'm crazy. Gonna end up negating the uh, sanctuary mm. though, probably. Sorry, back. Yeah, be fun. Oh, um, do you want to know? That is fine. I mean, I recovered a bit of health anyway. It's Hayden, do you want to know how it works ahead of time so we can give you some preemptive instruction? Okay, so I, I'm uh, yeah, fire. How like would yep. I be able to do fireball from where I am? Yep. All right. Fire so okay. I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but um, I have to. We have to make this battle go a little bit faster than it normally oh. would. Um, okay. Because I thought I had an extra hour, but it turns out my thing starts sooner than that. So um, I got I'm some plan. Do... Yes. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. Uh, so for Pekyu, we have. Uh, I'm just gonna roll again. A plus six is 14 points of damage on you. Uh, okay. So you well. also take 10 points of cold damage in response. Okay. Perfect. All right. So right now, uh, the boss is at about half health right now. I should sure. probably do like five or ten more minutes. All right, all we'll right. Let's see yeah, if I can't right. reduce that health a little bit. My turn? Fuck yep. it up. Finally, I've taken damage to my actual HP. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I thought I had ten more time. I don't mean to like seem oh, okay. Okay. No, no, Pixie, Pixie, yeah. I have one question yeah. for you. Is it my turn? It is your turn. That's yes, all I I'm wanted done. to hear. No. Uh, <laughs> this thing is quad weak to ice, right? Oh, sure, yeah. So. Because uh, I, I just hit it with a bunch of cold damage. Yeah, cold damage just came at it. But here's the other part it, of this. Yeah, it just got hit with 10 points. So my arm is mostly composed of water, right? As of, as gold is running forward here, I'm going to, like, pardon me, I'm going to borrow a bit of this. I'm going to rake it through the cold, icy goo of <laughs> of our friend uh, Ribbon here. Um, and as I do so, I'm going to sweep the arm through Ribbon and jam it right into the gut of Flygon for an ice punch. Uh, oh my goodness. Uh, give that a fun That's a really brutal. brutal. That is a, okay, okay. Gold means business. Let's see how this works out, right? Cause that's a three on the dice, but I roll a four because of bless to make that a seven. Uh, I then have, uh, I believe that's going to be seven plus card in. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. Does a 15 hit it? Really? It does hit it. It does hit Ooh. it. Ice punch yes. hits it square in the chest here. Uh, that is going to be uh, four, ba -ba -ba -ba. nine damage. Uh, nine, nine ice type damage to it. I'm going to double that damage. So Hell with yeah. the with the cold damage, I'm going to actually take away 20 points. And then uh, sure. so now we have gone to 18 points of damage. 18 points of damage. Sure. So, uh, Floria so blows. I'm, I'm spending yeah. another one here. Oh, Floria blows. OK. Oh, I'm not done. I'm taking another, oh, okay. another, another ice punch. Natural 20. Oh, After rolling a two, a one, a one, a two. One more All ice right. punch comes right in there. It's Gold's turn. <laughs> All right, but it, uh, <laughs> it's Gold's time to finish. All right. Bang, bang. So that's going to be uh, six, 11 points of damage on that punch. Uh, All right. So that's going to be 22 because I'm doubling it. So yep, right yep. now that Flygon is like, that Flygon is just so hurt right now. It's I'm ready it's, to it's, fuck it. And I it's get, already... as part of Flurry of Blows, I get two attacks on it. So I take one more oh. swing. I don't get to participate. Let's go. Let's do it. That is going to be uh, 18 on the dice for like, I don't know, infinity. Like 26 or something. Uh, gold, how would you like to finish this? As gold hits this three piece, the first hit, he says, go. And then the second hit, he says, bail. And the final hit, Lewis. And he, up, and he uppercuts the Flygon, sending it into the air. And if anyone else wants to do a finishing shot on it, it is can now... I get, yeah. just, can I have a turn to hit it? Yep, yep, it's lingering. No, you know what I'm going to do? It's lingering in the air. I, I shoot it upwards, grab it by the tail, mm. and throw it down towards you. Hell yeah. Hit it, bonkers! 
So, bonus action Slender of Smite, I'm getting some extra damage on this. Um, let's see, does this hit? Hit it the um, sin! With a, um, like a, hang on. Uh, that is 14, uh, 19 to hit. It does hit, yeah. Cool. So, with all this damage, let's Ooh. get, uh, that one rerolls. Uh, awesome. So, that is, um, uh, 9, 14, 20, 23 damage into this thing as I slam it into the ground. Uh, it's, it's on, it's on its last leg. It, anyone it, it's else just, want a shot? Yeah, yeah, anybody else want a shot? Fireball. Go, there you go. Go ahead. So I whack it over fireball. to you. <laughs> fireball! Fireball, right. we all get hit! Do it! <laughs> <laughs> So do you have to do a dexterity save for this or yeah. no? Yep, we all do. And Hayden, mm. you are going to be the one to round this out. So describe that fireball I will. Okay, and wrap right. this up. Will, everyone do a dexterity save. Yeah, I'm oh. fine. I'm fine. Let me show you. Oh, I'm fine. Okay, well, but... okay, so do I have to, damage. Do I have to uh, roll a d20 for this as well? Uh, no, it's just we okay. save. You would not, but you okay, might so have eight, to roll a dex eight, save eight, too, because you're, you're in it. You're also in it. <laughs> oh, true. Is that that's a d20, right? Yeah, yeah. Yes. Okay, okay. Plus your dexterity. Plus your dexterity. Too. All right, that's, that's a fine. 15, and then my dexterity is like. <laughs> uh, is it acrobatics? It is. De it's it is. A, there's a saving. Oh, throw. saving throw. Okay, so that's yeah. 17. So am I safe? Uh, you take half you damage. Safe. Half damage. You take half damage. Okay, okay. All right, yeah. now. All right, now I'm gonna roll. <laughs> now I'm gonna roll for damage. Eight d six. Eight d sixes. Okay, so here we go. Ooh. We do one. That's uh, that's five. All right, that's another five. This is Xenoblade Ooh. Chronicles three that's, overkill. That's, three, that's thirteen. Ooh. All right, that's eighteen. Hayden, wrap Ooh. this up. Twenty-two. Ooh. Holy shit. Twenty-six <laughs> points of damage. So Sin leaps into the air. Fucking shonen style, he just puts his hands above his head. Yep, yep. Makes the biggest fucking fireball of all time. And just and just launches it down. Oh on fuck. The, uh, <laughs> on, the <t> ah! <laughs> on the twitching corpse. Uh, actually, I'll absorb of, uh, elements of that. So on I the have twitching change. corpse of uh, this flygon with all more. of his friends in the way. <laughs> right, and with with that, the flygon spirit has been crushed. It disintegrates. Um, and all around now, um, uh, <laughs> some of those, there's some fire burning in the, in the, in the treasure area. You're, you're burning history here, buddy. Um, <laughs> but with that, the, the final boss has been, has been defeated and, and you guys, you guys have done a, a pretty, pretty damn good job. Hell Yay! Yeah. So you guys chat you. defeated damn there, explosion dude. Has Yeah! yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, Wooper has damn, so I'm actually perfectly fine with the explosion. Incredible. <laughs> so I, I run up to Gold and just dap him up after. Yeah! <laughs> boom, boom, bap, bap! Let's go! Yay, you right. killed the guardian spirit for doing its job. <laughs> and and now guys, we take all the gold. To the treasure. Yeah. <laughs> and with and that. Now we go home. The treasure of the temple adventure has now come to an official end. Yeah. Everybody clap! Yay! Yay! You guys, made it Yay. You guys did it! Yippee! Hell yeah! Yippee. Good oh. stuff, Pixie! That was fun! I hope love you your stories. That so That's fun. great! Yeah. One shot, one shot. Yeah, mm -hmm. a mix of did puzzles we and battles. Kill the fly on in one turn. Yes. Oh yeah, you sure uh, did. Yeah. I mean, it, it definitely had like more HP, but I kind of cut the HP. Oh, down. don't worry, it would not have mattered. We were it going probably, to kill it. Honestly, we it, do it, it, anyway. it probably wouldn't have even mattered. You guys were like wailing on that thing. Holy yeah. shit! Yeah, no, oh, yeah. We, we, I think we were saving resources before that. I think the Scorpy battle was like the hardest one. Yeah. <laughs> the Scorpy was the, the hardest one. See, here's Pixie. All when right. you when you said this is gonna be a hard battle, all of a sudden the four like brain dead D&D players just sat forward. Like, oh, yeah. so oh. now we can try. <laughs> Excuse <laughs> me. I think it's time. Yeah. All right. Noted. <laughs> well, that's going to be the end of everything for me. I'm going to mute and say goodbye to my chat and round it okay, out. Yeah. And uh, I'll right. talk with you guys for like a couple minutes after just to de debrief and whatnot. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, thank you for joining me. I'm going to mute and I will see you guys in a little bit. I'll talk to my Bye. chat as well. Be right back. My wonderful live chat, and that was the show. How did you like it? How did how do you how did you like this 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 funny little broadcast? That was fun. That was great, dude. I gotta DM sometime. I I, I might do 
I might take a page of Pixie's book and do a Pokemon DMing thing. Because the thing with D&D I really love is that character creation is so good. But, like, I also understand from a content perspective that, like, it's a little hard to get attached to, like, elf number three. I love the idea of having personified, <laughs> of having personified like, Pokemon. Um, so, I really like that. I loved her puzzles. That, that was fantastic. Um, I want to make it back to, to talk to Pixie briefly. But thank you so much for support, everybody. Alana D. Nubinator a few times over. Uh, Shag's, uh, Shag's Thirthian wife, uh, Citra, uh, Emerald Fluffy, Emerald Fluffy again, Nubinator, and I know what you are. Dude, I was so, I was so happy to get the, um, the, the final kill. Cause when I got the three piece on another uh, guy before that, I was, I, I, I thought about like, oh, when I get the three piece, I can say gold D or, uh, gold bell Lewis. And I'm like, nah, I'll save it just in case. And I'm glad, I'm glad I was able to land that at the final moment there. Oh, I love D&D. d, &D. d, &D it's so much fun. I've played so much D&D &D over the last few days. Um, I really, 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 really love this game. Uh, and I'll be real. Thank you guys for turning up. I was a little hesitant on streaming this one because I know that like, you know, I know that the goal of streaming is a little bit more catered broadcast sometimes and, you know, making sure it's like a show. Um, but damn, this worked. I, I had a great time with this. Thank you all for watching, everybody. Um, how's your voice? Honestly, held up pretty well. Held up pretty well. Um, not all that said. Yeah, I would love to see that sort of thing. I will say, I'm going to be real. Let me know on Twitter if you want to see more of this. Like, hit me up. Give, give me give me some, like, uh, I just, I like hearing positive, like, damn, I really enjoyed that broadcast. Because that means, in my head, it fires off the little dopamine hits. That's like, oh, I should do that again. They, they, they like that. Anyway, everybody, I got to wrap it up because Pixie on me. Thank you for watching. See you around, everybody. Uh, no raid today, but go into the world. Be at peace. And remember. You're all golden mass. Or something like that. All right, bye!